But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Enough palaver. Dad, dad, dad. Is that ever a word anyone used? Back in the day, yes. Does it just mean like babble or enough of this tomfoolery? Rap? Well, a lot of people ask mean? what what uh, that's from, by the way. It's from a little DVD called Mondo Topless. Oh, really? One of those Russ Meyer films. He was very big in the 70s, wasn't he? One of my favorite DVDs of all time. Super Vixens. Well, Mondo yeah. Topless was just ridiculous. A bunch of uh, well-endowed girls. Mondo Topless. Uh, in San Francisco. Yeah. Just talking about their boobs and how they... How they are a turn on to men and him just narrating. Doesn't he kind of just blurt garbage out like enough of this palaver during the whole thing? Yeah, you know what we got to do? Maybe next week I'll, uh, I will bring in the, the movie and maybe we could get some clips from it because yeah. it's hilarious. Like your DVD library? Huh? From your DVD library? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, scanning the library through all of the intelligent movies for that one. I don't really have a lot of porn in my DVD uh, library. I got One Night in Paris. I got Mondo Topless, which was more like a like a hard R. Do you it was before those... porno, basically, the, the Russ Meyer films. Well, that was when you used to have to go to the movie theater to see uh, porno. You, you, you would actually have to get go with your friends, because if you went alone, it was really creepy. Because uh, I remember there was a, a theater in Bayshore, and uh, after work, I used to work at a place called Deutsch Relays. We made relays for airplanes or something. And uh, after work, on a Friday, someone suggested, hey, let's all go to the Bayshore uh, movie theater and go catch a porno. And you'd sit there in a movie theater and watch hardcore pornography up oh on God. the screen in a theater full of men. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds sexy, I know. Wow. The good old days. This is just, I mean, just before video. Because once video came out, there's no reason to hang out in a room Ever. full of men uh, a room watching full of perverts. Yeah, that you don't know right. uh, watching smut. But it was kind of uh, cool because you know you had the guys that you work with are there, so you're joking about what's going on on the screen. But then you look around and see, you know, there's one guy over there just kind of sitting there, really getting into it, and <laughs> maybe two guys in the back. God knows what's going on over there. I sure don't want to know. But uh, yeah, you'd have to go to the movies for that. See some guy all the way down front. Is he having an epileptic seizure? He seems to be shaking down there. Yeah, he's shaking. Someone better uh, call a doctor. <laughs> uh, but then, uh, yeah, when video came out, that kind of ended right there. And there was something about going to a porn theater, though. You know, because we did the same thing in high school. You just, it just, yeah, it just added to the filth of the whole thing. It, it was just like cloth just, seats. They had to have been vinyl. It, it just, was just, just like a regular movie theater because uh, at one point it was. Bayshore was like it, it's it's a town, uh, South Shore, of Long Island, and the whole like town center was pretty broken down. But you could tell at one point it was a vibrant Long Island little town, you know, maybe with a healthy fishing industry or something. And I and, would say that's the final nail in the coffin. Uh, the, yeah, when the local movie theater goes from showing like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to just, you know, well, <laughs> poo on Winnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie's poo. <laughs> hey, someone has a definition for palaver. Uh, let's say hi to Tim in New York City. Tim, what's up today? A lot of people get it wrong, too. They don't know what it is. Palaver. What's going on, guys? First off, I'd like to say welcome back. It's been a while since I heard you. I'm glad to hear you. Oh, uh, thanks, Tim. So are we. Yeah, right. Uh, it's uh, shenanigans. It's like shenanigans? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that makes no. sense. Fan is saying no. That makes sense, though, if you watch Mondo Topless, because basically Mondo Topless starts off where they're talking about San Francisco. Yeah. And all the uh, the tourist attractions. San Francisco. They talk about the Golden Gate Bridge and this and that. And then all of a sudden he goes, ah, enough of this palaver. Let's get the show get on the, the road. the show on the road. Women, dames, broads right. with hooters. <laughs> the opening scene is this blonde. You know, she's right out of like an Austin Powers movie. You know, yeah. right. one of the fembots. You ever yep. see Mondo Topless, Tim? No, I haven't seen it. It's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's it's silly fun. 
So um, she's she's topless with just perfect boobs, way before implants and stuff. They just found uh, the girls that just oh they were all on. natural. And she's uh, she's just driving down one of the craziest hills in San Francisco and just wiggling back and forth as she's driving her car. That's how the movie starts. <laughs> <laughs> they were, uh, but there's something so erotic about that. You know, I don't know what it is. Like, you know, the porns today. I don't know. They, I need, they leave nothing to the imagination. You're saying I, that, and I'll and, tell you, one is just as good or as bad as the other. They're all the same. It's the like you, you know what the problem is. They get naked too quick. So like, whatever the theme is. It's out the window within like 90 seconds yeah, into the porno. Just They'll be gone. like naughty nurses, and the girl right. comes walking in. She's dressed like a nurse, and within two seconds, the whole outfit is off, and they're on that same couch. And they get right not bad away. though. It's sometimes. Sometimes buy, that isn't bad. Fellas, uh, what? It only serves one purpose. Uh, usually that takes the first 10 seconds of the movie, so... Yeah, uh, first 10 seconds, it's done. And that's the purpose those movies serve. If you want to get right to the action, that's fine. If you want something like a goofy storyline, then you need to go to the older film uh, versions. I actually got a laugh at one of the uh, porno theaters. Shut up, I'm talking. Oh, my God, Tim. Shut up, Tim, I'm talking. Before Than tells you that you're wrong on palaver, I will talk. Thank you, Tim. Uh, in, in, the, <laughs> in the Bayshore Theater, and um, yeah, there's a scene going on, and it's, uh, uh, you know, we're on FM radio here, so it's a little harder to describe, but let's just say a woman is um, uh, taking care of a guy, and during this process, she would not be able to read from a book. <laughs> Or, uh, you know, recite uh, uh, any historical quotes or anything in that fashion. Let's just put it that way. And uh, when that scene finishes uh, and uh, that gentleman is um, completely satisfied, uh, the work up to it was really good. Like she was very, she was very proficient at what she was doing. And uh, the crowd was silent, really quiet. And um, she's going at it and then it, it finishes and uh, very quiet. Everybody's watching the screen. And I just had to yell out, yeah, but can she cook? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be a comedian at a porn theater. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's the reaction I got. <laughs> I, I thought it was that hysterical. Name of, I love that name of the theater, the Bayshore Theater. That sounds like a, like a serial killer nickname. <laughs> the Bayshore Bay Stalker <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, they used to play regular movies, I guess. When you went into Bayshore back in the day when I was in high school, you just knew you were up to no good. It was no good. It was all about underage drinking and going to see porno movies. Yep. and just You went there just to do things you weren't supposed to do at that age. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Than, what is palaver? Yeah. It's just a uh, discussion. Talking. It's talking. You can hold palaver or palaver, however it's palaver. Said. It's like it used to be talks between like groups that needed to talk about issues to be settled. Oh, yeah. Felix in New York saying the same thing. Palaver means chatter or long, endless talk. Very oh. good. So palaver. Which pronunciation? Palaver. Function noun. Portuguese from the word palavre, word speech from late Latin parabola. <laughs> A long parlay, usually between persons of different cultures or levels of sophistication. So it would be like me and you talking, fam. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's go to Jimmy, Massachusetts. Jim, what's up? Uh, yeah, on that same thing with the palaver, uh, Mark Twain uses that a lot. Uh, Huck Finn talking to like different people, so well, that probably fits right <laughs> in with what this. <laughs> uh, you, you just like faded out at the end of your sentence. He lost all confidence. Ma, Mark Twain used to use it. It was something that he said. All right. Time. Thank you, Jim. It kind of okay. seems like it's a little condescending. Yeah, doesn't it? Parlay between persons of a different cultures or levels of sophistication. Yeah. Star was just uh, uh, having a little palaver on his show <laughs> when he called her those awful uh, <laughs> epithets for Asian women. <laughs> All right. I thought he had a twinkle in his eye as he was saying it. Did you, did you hear a little sarcasm no. in his voice? We got the star apology. We'll get into that in a few minutes. What a doodly. Apologize. He's already apologizing because he's seeing the millions go flying It doesn't out the, work. Out the old window. When you do the racist stuff, you barely ever come back again. What do you Just mean, grease the man? Grease man. <laughs> well, you remember a few years ago I said, no wonder they drag them behind trucks there. Eh? Talking about, uh, what was that broad's <laughs> name? What was that negress's name? Uh, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Racist whore. 
You but know, I said, no one, I played a little clip of her uh, uh, a song. And uh, all of a sudden I said, no wonder they drag them behind trucks. But I was just kidding. And it kidded me out of a job till, uh, what year is it? 2006. I'm still unemployed there. Not really. Did he get a gig? Yeah, well, he's got a, a gig on a small station. Bone in the, dry. In the yeah. D.C. area, and he has to sell his own commercials. I go out. It's like an infomercial. I go out and uh, I uh, sell my own commercial time. So I'll be talking about a subject, how maybe uh, Grease Minnelli was slinging lead uh, when I was working for the FBI, taking care of all the criminal element, uh, <laughs> and then finishing up with a nice cold bone dry. Uh, <laughs> when all of a sudden I ended up at Peach Fried Chicken. Yes, Peach Fried Chicken at the corner of Main and Smith Street. <laughs> They'll get you a wonderful bucket of chicken for only seven ninety five. <laughs> so I continued down the street pulling out a machine gun. Yeah. I have to take care of the criminal element uh, and then wash it down with another bone dry. <laughs> but sometimes I want a little snack. Snickers. <laughs> Snickers satisfies. Uh, pick it up at your local convenience store. Uh. That's what he does. He's got to, like, do his own commercials. <laughs> he goes out and buys them. <laughs> and this ass was on CNN saying we'll never work in yeah, radio again. We're not going to work again. Thank you, Greaseman. Thank you, Greaseman. Greaseman Ellie. Thanks Sling for the support. Lady. Yeah. What did he do? I say, is there any solidarity between uh, people who have been fired? None yes. whatsoever. Every oh, well, job loves seeing uh, the other jocks get yeah, destroyed. You guys don't call them up. Hey, we've been there. Keep your head up. There's a strange <laughs> thing that goes on. When these DJs get fired, they email Anthony. Yeah, I've that's been going email. on for a while. I've gotten emails from a lot of them, and uh, even so, Bubba the Love Sponge yeah. now, yeah. even yeah. Bubba the Love Sponge now trashes us. Was uh, corresponding with Anthony there for a he while. Emailed and then I, I wrote back and was like, you know, what do we? What do you say? It's like hang in there. You know, things happen. You just got to wait for things to blow over. Sorry, and... not currently looking for a third chair. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, you get back on the air, and it's business as usual. This one sucks. This one's a jerk. This one... <laughs> Jocks just stink. <laughs> this is the worst job when it comes to, like, camaraderie in the business. Do you think any other job has as many backstabbers and phonies? And, you know, I know around the office place, you know, uh, that girl down at that cubicle, she's a real bitch, and she's gunning for that girl's job, and this one's pissed because there's a glass ceiling, and she can't pass it because... Radio? Forget about it. Your pals when you work at the same place, and then all of a sudden you're at competing station, and your pal is now the biggest jerk. Uh, you don't even want to uh, uh, see him on the street. I said a few months ago, in radio, your friends become your enemies, and your enemies become your friends. Yeah. It's ridiculous. All the people that we held close when we were at WNEW, we now openly hate. And all the people that did us wrong when we were at WNEW are now our friends. Yeah. How did that happen? I'm corresponding with Steve Kingston on a daily basis now. It's he like, was the, how the ultimate hell did this enemy. Happen? He was one of the ultimate enemies in our career, like during our entire radio career, on the same level, <laughs> even higher than Dave Douglas <laughs> at uh, it's AAF. It's like wrestling. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's a bad guy, the next week he's a good guy. Yeah, all, you know, all Opie and Steve Kingston are battling it out. And then uh, some guy uh, that, that uh, is on your side comes over to help you, and you turn around and hit him in the face with a chair, yeah. <laughs> and you and Steve Kingston walk off as a new team. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd sits there dumbfounded. The, but, but he hated him. <laughs> what happened? You know, we did the rack and ass business. Really fast. You know, we did the rack and tours thing. Uh, yeah. Where was it? The Hit Factory or something Hit like Factory. that? Uh, you know, it's uh, Jack White's little side project he's doing with a bunch of his pals from uh, Detroit. And they sound really good. And we got to interview them before they did a few songs for our XM listeners, right? Rolling Stone was there. It was a big deal. And uh, I don't know. It was a weird interview because Anthony and I had to stand uh, right, ne right in front of the band as they were holding their instruments, getting ready to play. It was just the worst atmosphere to do any type of interview. Yeah. We didn't feel too good about it. And uh, Steve Kingston wrote me and said, hey, the interview and the performance is ready to go. And I would love for you guys to play it on the first half of your show. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't know, Steve. You know, I don't know if we really uh, hit that one out of the park. You know, So we've been going back and forth. And he, he swears that we did a good job and they sound great, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you know the history with us and Steve Kingston, right? Oh, boy. So I write... Who used I to work here, by the way. You're going to laugh when you hear this. I mean, oh, I would just 
kill his wife. It was all personal stuff. Oh, it was just, really just bad. Just calling him a midget and, you know. Real highbrow stuff. Why are you wearing Abercrombie and Fitch clothes when you're like 50? Just just killing him on a regular basis. Do you, oh, do you have to bring them all up? Why not? It's, you have to it's list fun. them all. said that I used to, you know, uh, take care of myself as I was listening to his wife. Oh, just the most horrendous stuff, right? Now, it, uh, fast forward a few years, and this is what I write, Mr. Kingston. Let me check it out, speaking, you know, the Rack and Tour show. Let me check it out, and we'll see if we can squeeze it in before 9. And then I write, are you ready for this? Hope all is well. Yeah. I wrote that, and as I was hitting send, I'm like, what am I doing? This isn't me. What the hell happened to me? This Paul was, is well. This was Blackberry phony. All enemy territory. <laughs> this was all enemy territory right here. This everywhere we're sitting. It's now our show. We're sitting here and stuff. But this is like sitting in uh, Saddam's palace right now. Exactly. That's how the soldiers feel. Right. When they're swimming in Saddam's pool. Right. <laughs> let's, let, let's go to Alice in Philly. Alice, what's up? Squeezing one out on his nice golden uh, toilet. <laughs> You know, whatever. What's up, Ellis? You got to be fast, man. Let's go. I'm sorry. I didn't want to talk on top of Anthony. I knew you had okay. another relationship to go the other way with uh, Tim Sabian being your good friend and then going to work with the enemy, you know? Well, Tim Sabian believes in the Opie and Anthony show uh, more than almost anyone in, in uh, the radio business. He was uh, at WISP when we got syndicated down to Philly and, and just kicked just kicked royal ass thanks to Tim and the, and the crew down at YSP. And unfortunately... Uh, we tried to hire him uh, at XM, but he, I guess he got a better deal with the little doggy company. Yeah. So we went over so. there, and I, I held a major grudge, and I uh, I said some uh, some awful things on the air that I still stand by, uh, behind, by the way. But uh, when we made this <laughs> late... It really sounded like you were beginning to apologize. I like no. how you stuck to your guns there. <laughs> no, I, I have some issues with that, because uh, I know for a fact that he just can't stand Howard Stern, and uh, you know he he's always told us that you guys... Are way better than him, you know, funnier, more clever, more entertaining. So I was really surprised that he would take a job with Howard, you mm -hmm. know, and I was like, what are you doing? But, you know, he's getting paid well, and God bless him. So when we made this uh, deal to come back to terrestrial radio, one of the first people to call me on my cell phone was uh, Tim Sabian, wishing us nothing but the best, and, and said, look, no matter what's going on, where I'm at and you guys are at, I will always support you guys and, and wish you the best. He, he was just the, the biggest stand-up guy. I couldn't believe it. Hey, and we, we buried the hatchet. There's an update on that. He was unbelievable. He said this is one of the greatest moves in radio history. Ooh. And, and uh, you know, just go with it, man, and, and, he, and have a good time. He did. Absolutely, he did. Oh, what a guy. And, and then he said, this business is crazy, and I guarantee one day we'll work together again. Well... So. As the world turns, oh, it's it's this business is just bizarre. It's it's stupid. Yeah. Hey, uh, we got the star apology. You want to set it up really fast in case someone was living under a rock? <laughs> My God, oh, that's good. That means you in didn't case hear you the news. In you just woke up from a coma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Well, star. Uh, Here in New York City and yeah. eleven other stations. I didn't know he was syndicated uh, all over the place. Yes, star and Buck Wild. He's Buck Wild, and uh, a star. Well, he had a little. Had a little tiff with another on-air guy, and uh, I don't know. For some reason, uh, it just seems like black jocks handle things differently than white jocks. We we beat each other up and stuff, but it's not really threats that you absolutely feel are going to end in gunfire. <laughs> but uh, this one was like... Well, maybe a punch in the face, ooh. though. Yeah, you know. Maybe a, a good, good old white trash bar fight kind of thing. I could see a good old punch in the face. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time. Something like that. But... Uh, Star just went off on this guy and his wife and his four year old and, and, and the guy's four year old uh daughter and just started making extremely inappropriate comments about the guy's four year old daughter and uh got him in, in big trouble and boom they bounced him. Fired. Fired. And now all kinds of what? Like uh, uh, criminal charges might be. They're investigating if this is some kind of a race crime, hate, hate crime. crime. That I don't agree with. The New at York all. Times is all over it, saying will he be prosecuted for a hate crime now? That I don't agree with. No, you, it's, you, you, know, the... you know he's not going anything. He's, he's not going to do any of that. He just he just can't say what he said. There there are things that he said that are absolute FCC violations. 
We listen to the tape. We we you know we talk to uh, corporate lawyers that that have pawed over this stuff and know absolutely some of the things he said are FCC violations. They're going to get fined. Uh, again, Clear Channel, the company, has their own internal policy that you absolutely cannot say some of the stuff he said, and they fire him for that. But you can't take what you're saying on the air like this in this forum and turn it into the and put it in under the hate crime label because it uh, talks or makes light or goofs on race. You can't do that. Once you start doing that, it, it, you're really in trouble. Do not make me use the, the words slippery slope. <laughs> slippery slope. <laughs> because that, too, sounds like a racial epithet right. that I could get in trouble for. <laughs> well, but what I mean is, <laughs> if we start there, right. we can end up somewhere uh, uh, that is very bad. And I don't, I don't think those should be classified as hate crimes. Hate crimes are what they are. You, you, you go out, out there <laughs> as a guy, uh, a black guy or a white guy, and somebody of another race comes up to you and uh, attacks you based solely on your race, that's a hate crime. Right, at least that that, that should that could have been. I was headline. waiting for a, a, a hate crime to be on the back page of the New York Post today about Matsui. Matsui yeah. broke his wrist, and all they wrote was. Um, uh, wrist right. and shout, which is the, uh, one of the most awful headlines ever. He broke his wrist. He's gonna be out like three months. Really hurts the Yankees. But we were just uh, we were talking in the back that it's gonna be some kind of an awful race related headline yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Mugu guy, ouch! <laughs> you know, just something because <laughs> they just have a hard time steering away from it. Right. So Star, yeah, is uh, in trouble, and now they're talking about hate crime stuff, which is ridiculous. But uh, I guess through a lawyer, he's apologized now. Yeah, but we, he didn't apologize. Yeah. His lawyer. Did. We got the audio of the news story. You gotta check it out. Uh, and we love making fun of the media and exploiting them for being the losers they are. And uh, they ask uh, the weather guy what he thinks about the situation. Don't wait, let him ad lib. Wait till you hear his answer. Wait till you hear his answer. And the NYPD has launched a criminal investigation into the radio rant by former Power 105 DJ Star. His real name is Troy Terrain, and until Wednesday night, he was a member of the Star and Buck Wild morning show. But he was fired after making some threatening racial and sexual remarks about a rival DJ's wife and four-year-old daughter. He apologized in a statement issued by his attorney. Mr. Terrain offers his sincere apologies. Starr would like to assure DJ Envy's wife and family that they have no reason to feel threatened or insecure as Starr never intended to do them any harm. All right, 5.45 is the time right now. Mike Woods, any thought about that controversy? Well, I'll tell you what. Didn't sound like a smart move to me, but... No, out of a yeah. job, not a smart move. Don't insult yeah. someone's kids. All right, a lot of talk about weather, though. Threatened, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, threaten to, threaten to. You know when they yeah. went to commercial, he went, "Hey, bitch, yeah. you throw anything to me like that again without me being prepared, I'm gonna kill you." Yeah, right. you tell me how I'm supposed to segue into thunderstorms after that. Yeah, because he's standing by a map that shows the New York area and thunderstorms rolling over it. It's like, boy, um, he lost his job. Like, um, like people are losing limbs off trees in this high wind we're getting here. Uh, what, what the hell am I supposed to say? I'm a weatherman. <laughs> Looks like he made a severe mistake. Speaking of severe, we got severe thunderstorms in severe the New York City area. Speaking yeah, of just threatening a children goof. sexually, <laughs> <laughs> there's a cold front coming. I mean, where do you go with that? <laughs> yeah, but, you know. I just like that whole thing of apologizing through your lawyer. That would just be a great thing to have, you know, with your girl or anything like that. Any any situation. Yeah, just have him issue a statement. All right. Let's say you're out of it. Late for work. Listen, we really got to take our first break. We got to take our first break. Right. Damn it, I hate our first break. I'm seeing the suits. I know, because we're just getting warmed up, there. man. I was wondering why you were so eager when the suits come in. Well, they're peeking their head uh, through the door, and we do have a lot to do today. We haven't even introduced Bill Burr. Bill Burr sitting in for Jim Norton. Uh, Jimmy's up at the Orpheum Theater in uh, Boston this weekend, or tonight, actually, just I tonight. I worked with him last night at uh, Gotham. Right, and uh, I think Jimmy's going to be on WBCN this afternoon, yes. one of the stations we're being uh, heard on. Uh, so make sure you check out Jimmy on uh, WBCN later today, okay? Right. And I think there's some tickets still available for a show at the Orpheum Theater tonight with David Tell. Bill Burr sitting in, though. He does a great, great job when Norton's on the road. Oh, the pressure's on. <laughs> He's been funny already. <laughs> Screw course. that. No, just... Of course. It's the only virus spreading across America. We'll continue in just a bit. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show, 1-866-313-FREE. If you want to get a hold of us, 1-866-313-FREE. Uh, we got something a little... 
A little different happening today. By now, you know we do like two uh, radio shows every single day. The first half is heard on some fine terrestrial radio stations, and then the second half is exclusively on XM Satellite Radio. Well, the second half of the show today is going to be broadcast live from RCS Experience. That's at uh, 56th and Madison. Uh huh. So we're encouraging the people that are listening to us on uh, Free FM in New York City to stop by and say hi. Maybe Come some old faces down. we haven't seen in a while. We're going to have wow stickers and other things to give away, okay? Once again, RCS Experience today, 56th and Madison. The second half of the show will be broadcast live as we do it for XM Satellite Radio starting at 930. Bill Burr sitting in for Jim Norton. On the instant feedback, we got Bert in Philly. He writes, uh, you should be here. Uh, you should hear, excuse me, the 4 p.m. anchor on CBS in Philly. His improv stinks. I love watching it just to watch him uncomfortably add a few extra sentences to each broadcast. Love watching that. I think we're on to something here with the improv thing. They have no improv skills whatsoever. Once that uh, teleprompter isn't firing off what they're supposed to say. Uh, or, just or, panic in their eyes. They immediately yeah. start getting nervous. Well, the big thing to do recently, over the past couple of years, I guess, is for the anchor to throw it back to the guy on the street that just threw it back to the anchor. So, you know, and the trial here continues, Bill. Back to you in the studio. And then Bill goes, uh, uh, the jury, how long have they been deliberating? Uh, I, uh, He's I'm, like, dude, I was on my way to the van. I right. just said back to you. Done. This isn't ping pong. Back to you. Yeah, back to you, ass. I got a sandwich waiting Come for up. me. Yeah, he's got yeah. a, donut a hot in his cup hand. of coffee, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get them off the script, and they're like, I, uh, I, uh, if I knew, I'd have said it. I, uh, I don't know. Wow, can you give me three hours to write something? I, uh, the writers haven't gotten that to me yet. I, <laughs> I, I uh, mm, die, dar, die. Uh, so, uh. You know we're a very interactive radio show. We love the participation uh, of the listeners, and we love it because it's less work for us, let's be honest. Yeah. It's just less work for us. So we're looking for people to uh, watch their local news mm -hmm. and start uh, noticing the awful improv. Yeah. Tape that and send it in, please. 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 So we can play it and, and we don't have to talk. Yeah. Exactly. Less talking for us. We play it. You laugh at how stupid they sound. We haven't said a word. We get credit. <laughs> That's right. So you, you, it's your assignment. <laughs> we give you assignments if you're a listener to this program. Oh, there's homework here. Yeah, there's homework. Your assignment is to start watching the local news and start uh, taping the improv, the improv skills of your local anchors, and send them into the Opie and Anthony show. I think we're going to have people email Danny on this one. Uh-oh. Danny, what's your email address? They could contact me at uh, hello exactly at gmail.com or danny at foundrymusic.com. There you go. And we're looking for uh, improv from your local news anchors, okay? It's like funniest home videos, like no overhead. <laughs> right. <laughs> no cheapest show to produce ever. Right. Yeah, that's all you guys need. Hey, people, send in stuff we can play and take credit for. Thank you. Hey, speaking of this uh, RCS thing, when we broadcast live, the second half of the Open Anthony show, a lot of people are asking, are we going to be doing the walkover today? Uh, <laughs> I believe we are going to attempt to broadcast the uh, drive to RCS. From a, a van? Yeah, so what we're going to do is... Possible. Well, if it's not raining, I'm walking. I'm walking to RCS. But it's it, going to be raining. If it's raining, we got a van uh, waiting for us. So at the least, we'll, we'll do a few minutes in the lobby like we do every day. And then we'll jump in the van with the wireless mics, and we'll just broadcast until it just craps out. Yeah. So, yes, we will be broadcasting in the lobby for at least a few minutes today, okay? You guys done a Ghostbusters theme yet? Huh? You guys done, like, a Ghostbusters theme yet? You guys all put on, like, those uh, those flight suits? <laughs> and just, what, run down the street? Yeah, just some Like sort we're of on our way to somewhere important. movie. We really want to do a theme every day, and that's, uh, I don't know, not working out too well so far. Yesterday was scaring people. Right. We were, like, trying to scare people uh, because since we have a microphone and a camera, uh, people think you're somebody. So uh, yesterday, as people were walking into the uh, offices here, this the revolving door, I would just say as they're walking in, hidden danger, uh, hidden deadly danger in revolving doors, we'll tell you about it at 10. <laughs> and, and some people just didn't pay any attention, but others would look like, 
what? Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute, I'm getting in one of these. Yeah. He started with the revolving door, and then as he's walking down the sidewalk with the wireless mic, he's just doing it with everything he sees. iPods, incurable brain tumors. Right. Baby strollers. Baby strollers. Hear what yeah. experts are saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's always something good uh, to throw in. Hear what experts are saying. And then a lady trying to use a payphone. Yeah, we just actually get saw rid that of the yesterday. Payphones. It's like a, a Victrola. If you don't have There's a cell phone with a yet. Victrola. You know. you know what's funny? Back in the day before cell phones, you never just really thought about how disgusting using a payphone was until it was your such cell a phone dies and you just put that thing up to your ear. You're like, oh, my God. Anthony, you're like licking the pole in like the subway. Horrible. Anthony, uh, your line about what what these are used for now is classic. <laughs> yeah. They're not payphones. They're, well, they're sure. urinals for homeless people. For homeless people. <laughs> that's, that's where the, that's where they tuck in and it. do what they got to do. Where Superman once changed has now turned into just a place for uh, homeless people to relieve Any, themselves. Anytime I, I put one of those up to my ear, I think, remember that Star Trek movie where they would put that bug in the guy's helmet <laughs> and just stick it on oh, his head? Oh, Captain, yeah. they put creatures in our bodies. <laughs> well, they did, did they? <laughs> where did they put them? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even tell him. Wouldn't you have made it clear if you were Chekhov? Captain, they they can't put a bug in my ear and it wraps around my cortex and he just oh captain, they put creatures in our bodies. Yeah, well initially conjures up book. quite an image, Chekhov. Yeah, and the first orifice you're thinking is not the ear. No, of course it isn't. <laughs> oh that gun, what a cruel bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the instant feedback's uh, coming in like crazy today. Matt in New Jersey, I vote Ghostbusters Day. He wants Ghostbusters Day. Where we just uh, see, we don't do the silly radio stuff, or at least we try not to. Like you're tried. never going to see Opie and Anthony in, in a dumb Boy Scout uh, uniform. Who? No, we'll leave that to somebody hoo, else. Who? Who? Uh, Frank and East Islip, you guys have this one. Uh, effing O.J. Simpson is running a pay-per-view special next month. He's prank calling owners. Selling white Broncos, making references of it being a good getaway car. OJ, the comedian, and we have to pay to hear the goodness. Well, we do have a sample of uh, OJ Simpson doing his new reality show called Juiced. Juiced. We'll do that uh, in like 15, 20 minutes. I swear I thought this was a joke. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that in 15, 20 minutes. I was afraid to open my mouth like I was going to ruin another bit. I'm really yeah. just like, just shut up, Bill, because I was going to be like, Dude, is that real? I know. You see that look of disappointment on Opie's face. Oh. Like, God, Bill. Like, Bill. I really just want to reach over and slap you. <laughs> Bill. We like to save something for the listener's imagination. Don't ruin the bit. Anyway, uh, no, this isn't. This is real. Okay. Yeah. We got two quick clips from our walkover yesterday, as we broadcast on the street every day after this uh, particular show ends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's Ant with the news teases <sighs> as we're walking over to XM. Outside the Free FM studio here in New York City. I'm waiting for the more people. Uh, revolving door. To do the revolving door bit. Anthony's got a good bit. Yeah, people go in the revolving door, and I have a microphone, and I look very official, and there's a camera on me and everything. So when people go in the revolving door, I do like a news tease about how dangerous revolving doors are, and people look at me all scared. Here we go, here we go. Revolving doors, the deadly danger. We'll tell you about it at 10. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Do it to Iraq. Do it to Iraq. Revolving doors, the idiots coming out of it. <laughs> Revolving doors and E. coli, could it happen to you? <laughs> oh, the looks you get. The looks you get. I love it. There was complete, there was complete confusion because they were like, wait, is this real? And then they look and you go, ah. Oh, we put video guys. up on certain you know websites. Google our names. Yeah, or just join our MySpace account, Opie and Anthony, on yeah. MySpace, and then all the websites that uh, that uh, we work hard at. People get, get to. really horrified though when you do that. That that'd be a great, uh, obviously visual bit. You take a, you know a camera out with you and uh, look like a news guy and just stand somewhere where people are doing everyday ordinary things and talk about how completely dangerous it is. And people will freak out. They look like they're looking at you for an answer. Why is it dangerous? How? What can I do to protect myself? You know what we should do next week? We should bring back the fake news bit. Yeah. Where we just stand on a corner and just uh, just uh, report the most horrific thing. Oh, you interview people As on... serious um, newscasters. Yeah. Asbestos is always a good one to bring up. Oh, mesothelioma. Yeah, you just give people fake news. You say, uh, what's a good example? 
Uh, well, the last time we did it, uh, when OJ was really hot, we're like, did you hear that OJ got stabbed to death? Yeah. And these people were losing their minds. Like, oh, really? I didn't hear that. Yeah, it just happened. News just broke. Uh, what are your feelings about this? Well, he wasn't a very good person, <laughs> right. but just you know, you never like seeing anybody being stabbed to death. <laughs> and they go on and on, and you just give more yeah. fake news to comment on. <laughs> hey, here's another clip from yesterday's walkover. Uh, Rich Voss continued the Starbucks comedy tour. Oh, is he killing on this one? <laughs> he was a hit on Last Comic Standing for NBC, and now he's uh, performing at Starbucks for our enjoyment. This is the second Starbucks we have hit. All 72,000 locations. <laughs> yeah, see, he's got a lot to choose from. But he bombed the first time. This time, though, I think he picked it up. He did okay. He's feeling the crowd now. The the best part about this, you know, it's it's like any other Starbucks. You got the people behind the counter. They're just making the same damn drinks they've been making for years. They just don't want to be there. And everyone's in line just waiting for their first cup of coffee. They're not awake yet. No one's talking. All of a sudden, the door opens, and Club Soda Kenny, with that obnoxious voice, just starts in, coming to the stage, your next comedian. You might remember him. From last comic standing, it's Rich Voss. And everyone's like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and then Voss walks in like, thank you, thank you, thank you, and just, just, just starts doing his act. So we got audio of uh, yesterday when Rich Voss did the uh, Starbucks comedy tour. Listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, your next comic performing in Allentown this weekend. Put your hands together for the comedy stylings of Mr. Rich Voss. Let Rich, him hear it. Rich Voss. Rich Voss. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. A big hand for Kenny for bringing me up. Uh, I'm working in Allentown. I'm from New Jersey, the Garden State, and our ex-governor planted all the flowers. We had a gay governor, which was great because he fixed up all the rest areas. I'm rolling now, huh? <laughs> this is great. This is the best Starbucks I've ever done. Sir, turn around. I'm on stage. I'm sweating here. <laughs> Look at these two guys. Now, what are you, a bottom or a top? Huh? What's your name, sir? Let these guys in. Come on. It's a free show. We got two crowd. brothers outside. You can get in free. Let's I'm telling you. Joke. Listen, no. It's for everybody. Comedy. How are you girls doing? You from Hong Kong? Where? What, where are you from? New York. Guess again. Okay. A guy comes home from playing golf and he punches his wife in the face. She said, why did you do that? He said, I've been hitting everything fat today. <laughs> a little golf joke. A little golf one, folks. Hold on. Here we got some more people coming in. <laughs> Sir, how you doing with the tie? I like that haircut. Did it come with a pocketbook? Anyhow. Oh, look at that hottie with the necklace. Is that your girlfriend? How you doing, ma'am? Can I buy you a house? <laughs> I love to chase you through the woods with a hammer. Look how hot she is. Hi. She got a Louis Vuitton bag, but walks into coach. Anyhow, that's the back of the plane. Hey, I got a car. Oh, my God, she is fine. Anyhow, I'm back. How you doing, ma'am? You might recognize me from TV. My career seems like it's plummeting, but I'd rather do a Starbucks than NBC any day. Now, let me tell you this before I get out of here. I got a way to solve the illegal immigration. We let all the Mexicans in. They have to go into the military. Then we invade Mexico, and we don't have an exit strategy. <laughs> but I have one now. <laughs> Thank you, and good day. Rich Voss. Give him a hand, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Rich Voss, let him hear it. Thank you, and good night. Rich killed. <laughs> he killed in a Starbucks. He really did. He really did. That was like he textbook did. how to handle a hell gig. <laughs> Classic wow. Rich Voss, one joke right into the crowd. He won him over. He like when he first went in there, people. When you start doing comedy in a place where people aren't expecting it, right? That's a tough crowd, and uh, he was kind of winning them over at the end. He got some laughs. His uh, golf joke got some laughs. His uh, crowd work with the the hot girl that walked through got some laughs. That's like every college gig. When you yeah. first start out, they you send them all these posters and they don't hang them up anywhere, and they, they just stick you in the cafeteria. People like in the middle of eating. Oh no! And then just someone would just introduce you out of nowhere, and they would say your name first, which totally screws it up. Like your comedian Bill Burr, he's really funny, and people just looking up from grilled cheese sandwiches, and you're just sitting there going, "This is just going to be an hour of hell." And here he is, so um, enjoy him. Enjoy him. Instead of at the end. Bill Burr. Yeah, no clapping whatsoever, no. and you just walk up there. You literally, it's like 
You just look at your watch going, okay, in an hour it's all going to be over. It's going to be over. I'm going to be in my... Uh, it's my, like being abused. I'm going to be my Ford Wait. Focus. One of the worst gigs I had to do when I was at WBAB on Long Island, they they had this bright idea that their jocks should be all over the community. Yeah. Because th that was very important. They were trying to be like a, a radio station that was really into the community, of man. The people. So every week you had to do these really ridiculous gigs, really ridiculous, and 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 you had to do a certain amount a month, or you got you know suspended a day or lost pay, or it was just ridiculous. The worst one that I had to do, I had to go to a high school. I, I forget. I think it was Northport High School actually, and I had to spin tunes in the lunchroom Oof. while these idiots were eating lunch, and I, and they're coming up to asking you know asking for songs, and I had to take requests. And I'm like, but I thought I was a big time DJ. That's a bad gig, man. It was horrendous. Ugh. And then I, I had to do giveaways and stuff, so I have to do hacky trivia. As, as people like you just yeah. said are eating their grilled cheese sandwich, I'm like, what am I doing? Do you know what? Is, there's no way to even like totally describe that feeling. It's just from head to toe. You, you, it's like an out of body experience. Not only that, Shut I had up, a I'm eating. Not yeah. Not only <laughs> that, I had to set up all the uh, the quit the equipment. You didn't even have like a roadie. No, I had to set up the speakers and the whatever it was. I don't even remember. I guess it was a couple turntables or something. I'm As like, you're setting up, people I'm are like, already heckling. Stay away to heaven. Oh, I'm sitting there going, man. I wish I did better on my SATs, boy. I tell you. This radio thing isn't going too well. This might not take off. Right. Oh, I was just miserable. But we had to do these gigs like on a weekly basis. Go to office parks and hand out uh, pieces of an eight-foot hero to the workers. <laughs> oh, what was that called? You literally the play lunch? the song and just have to sit there? Yeah. As everyone's staring at me because they're like, oh, wow, that's uh, that's Opie from BAB. I had, a, I had a, a little thing going locally, you know? And I'm like, yeah, here I am. That's right. I'm a rock star. Look would, at me. Would people come up while the song was playing and request other songs? Yes. And then they're coming up and, and they're heckling me because I'm not playing their songs. And I'm thinking, Dude. well, if I'm going to do this gig, I should sh at least try to do it right and, and try to play songs that I think will work. And then you get the asses, you know, because they're the hip students that are requesting the ridiculous music that uh, obviously you, you shouldn't play. And then they're coming up and harassing you because you're not playing their song. And I'm like, what am I doing? I just want to do my radio show. Why do I have to do this community crap? Because uh, keeping it local, Opie, is it's what it's all important. about. Yeah, it's sure very it important. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to all the local radio in your city. We're going to beat local. them all. We're going to beat them all. I love reading that on the radio message boards. It's so important that we have local personalities here um, in radio. Radio is the only thing that thinks they need to be local anymore. We're worldwide with everything. The internet, TV news comes from, you know, the, Atlanta for CNN and, and uh, New York City for Fox News, things like that. It, it, radio, for some reason, you need some local sap that lives down the block from the station because that's going to make for better radio. Because <laughs> he knows when you talk about that corner that has that bad traffic light, I know what he's talking about. I've driven there. I guarantee the local that stations. That the yeah. local stations are having little meetings and conference rooms now. Look, Opie and Anthony have hit our market. This is how we're gonna, yep. you know, battle these guys. You got to stay local. Stay with the local news. One thing they can't do is be local. These guys don't even know the name of the mayor. Right. Who's the mayor? I don't know. Who I don't care. Oh, I know what it is in uh, Boston. Menino. By the way, holding the job like a pulp. By the way, uh, we're a bunch of dopes because remember we were just saying about we should bring the fake news bit back. And we're like, what was the one we did? Everyone is screaming on the instant feedback. The mayor is dead. The mayor wow. is dead. The mayor is dead. Not a good idea. Don't do fake news. Don't do fake news. Not it got you in trouble news. last time. I'm like, oh, yeah, that thing. Hey, Brian, Rhode Island, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Good. I was actually at that first Starbucks. Oh, the first boss uh, Starbucks appearance. Yeah, I just happened to be there. Although, I gotta mention, I don't like Starbucks coffee at all. It's disgusting. But the comedy. Right, yeah. Yet you were there. <laughs> I was there, and you know what? The people loved it. After he left, except for the people who got picked on, people were laughing their heads off. Yeah. We're running out of Starbucks, so we might have to change the Starbucks comedy tour to something else, because, uh, you know, we can only broadcast with these wireless mics within a block, maybe a block and a half. So we've already hit That's all the Starbucks. That's only 20 Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I think there might be a third one in there the There is area a third one. That we yeah. can hit. And then after that, it's over. I'm thinking Mick, uh, Mickey D's across the street. 
I don't mm-hmm. know. If you walk another 10 feet, you might find another Starbucks somewhere. Yeah, we'll find another one. That's but, uh, what we were getting at, sir. They are all over. But uh-huh. Voss doing comedy in uh, establishments, That's gonna. That's we're going to run with that it's for a funny, while. You're going to figure out which franchise is the most conducive to comedy? Yeah. Dude, Blimpies are the worst. <laughs> Hate a Blimpy's crowd. <laughs> they're all they're all standing up, ordering those sandwiches. You can't get their focus. It's too busy because they gotta pick everything they want on there. It's not like dumb ordering where you could just order a number off a you board. You know what I think's gonna be an A room if you find an Applebee's. Yeah. Or a Bennigan's. Everybody's sitting down. They're sitting. They're, they're being served. They don't have to look at a menu on a wall somewhere, ordering things. Yeah, I think you got a point. A diner would be rough. That'd be like doing a cruise ship. All those old people in there. You're just immediately bombing. Let's try to keep it clean in here, people. And you'd have to just do diner humor. Yeah. Because cruise ship guys do, like, <laughs> jokes about the boat. I know. What's that, up with the cabbage? It just doesn't translate at all to uh, the thing. How about last night? The way, boy, I was banging off the walls left and right going back to my uh, room. It doesn't translate when he's, <laughs> like, at any club anywhere. I got. I got to switch gears for a second. Think about that captain. I got to switch gears for a second because you're onto something with the Matsu- Matsui thing. What did, he broke his wrist, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And and the post is, uh, you know, known for their ridiculous headlines, and uh-huh. you guys sort of went down that road a little bit already, right? Yeah. What, what was your headline from? I just thought it was something ridiculous that makes no sense, but would be a post like staple. Mugu guy, ouch. Right. Well, Steve and Bayshore on the instant feedback, racist Matsui headline. Matsui headline. Oh, me so hurty. <laughs> <laughs> and then he writes, "How did the post miss that one?" All right, we got to step aside. Bill Burr sitting in. Are we uh, promoting anything today, Bill? Yeah, I'm doing the Comedy Central live tour Ooh. next week, uh, the 18th through the 20th. In, uh, it's Thursday through Saturday, uh, St. Louis at the pageant, and then Friday at the Electric Factory, and Saturday at the Egg in Albany with Greg Giraldo and Mike Berbiglia. MySpace.com slash Bill Burr for all the information. And there you I go. am a whore. Thank there you. you. Go. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. I love the conversations that go on in here during uh, break. Absolutely. We got a little uh, a little mention the, in the Daily News today. CBS vows big things for Opie and Anthony. Like uh, like last time, a boot. <laughs> in a that move, was a big thing. In a move clearly designed to blunt Howard Stern's dismissive comments about the viability of program simulcast on satellite and terrestrial radio. That's right. Howard called us uh, <laughs> failures. He said yeah. CBS hired us to be on some of their terrestrial radio stations because we failed at satellite radio. It shows that we were failures at satellite. Yeah. Well, we uh, we hope no. we continue to fail. Keep failing. Uh, CBS Radio CEO Joel Hollander yesterday said his company will soon expand that arrangement for Opie and Anthony. ONA currently are simulcast three hours every morning on XM Satellite and seven CBS stations, including WFNY 92.3 in New York City. Uh, they then do two hours exclusively on XM. And here's the Joel Hollander quote that made the paper today. Yeah. Like Mark Messier guaranteeing the Rangers would win the Stanley Cup in 1994, uh, Hollander told Opie and Anthony on the air yesterday, I guarantee you will be on more stations. He didn't specify markets or a timetable, but he said response to ONA is strong. And he added even better potential news for CBS Bottom Line. The duo may lure back some of advertisers who made Stern show a cash cow. Many of the sponsors left in, in mass when Stern was replaced this January by David Lee Roth and others. Yeah, I go. hear that the phone's ringing off the hook in the sales department. I know we got a lot of meetings. That's always nice. Right. We meet them. So that and, David uh, Lee Roth thing aboard. didn't go well? Uh, no. Yeah, you know. No, he's now doing country uh, Van Halen songs. And that's no no joke. It's It's a joke. But it's no joke. By the way, so. an, an update. We got a note from Joel Hollander. Ooh. It states, it was sitting for us when we got here this morning. When you are sitting in your studio looking at the Stanley Cup every day, it's the guarantee that you'll get more affiliate uh, affiliates, uh, just like Mark Messier guaranteed the Stanley Cup 10 years ago. And he sent a Stanley Cup. That's gay. <laughs> Don't say that's gay. That's a wonderful I'm with Bill gift. Burr. This is gay. That wonderful is gay. gift. The Stanley Cup that we're staring at is ten inches tall. It's symbolic. Yeah, why don't you go give that to a toddler so he can hold it over his head as he walks around right. in his crib? Right. This would be great <laughs> if I was three years old. You're right. And uh, <laughs> someone signed it. I don't even know who signed it. You can't even tell who signed you guys it. Why don't you tell me who signed money? the cup, Joel? 
It's symbolic. I'm with Bill. What I mean, you it's guys are money gay. in the bank, and then he puts a little piggy bank there. You gonna like that? Yeah. What is this? Andy? Yes. Now yeah, you tickle its stomach. It's and a wonderful a gift. Points. Ut ut shay up yay. It stinks. No, it's great. It's. I want to thank Joel. Can I see it? I I don't want to thank Joel. Anthony is thanking Joel Hollander for that wonderful sentiment because what it symbolizes is so much important. You are just looking at the object itself. I am looking at the dedication to this show and uh, that the company has shown you know and, and the like, symbolism. It sounds like a guy who bought his girl a cheap engagement ring. <laughs> well, well. You're looking at the quality <laughs> well, here. I do have a little experience you know. oh, in that. You do? Oh, okay. Anthony, stop kissing ass. We got the gig. That was a marriage that <laughs> You should open it up. Maybe if you took penny. a look at it, Opie, you, you might like it a little bit better. Hey, there you go. Crack it open. Not literally. Oh, uh, Martin know broke you. doors, signed it? Really? Or did his kid sign it? Because you can't tell. <laughs> listen, listen, you are being listen. nasty. Yes, I am being nasty. And we're all about challenges. We have challenged Howard Stern to name all these companies that want him back on terrestrial radio. Because we know for a fact that he lied. Yeah. He lied to his listeners. He lied to the entire radio industry. And they're all very suspicious right now. Uh, so we have that challenge out there. Name one of the companies that wants to uh, bring you back to terrestrial radio, Howard. Yeah, just name one. Go ahead. And I want to add a new challenge today. To who? I want to see... I want to see how powerful Joel Hollander really is. Why can this can ten inch just, Stanley Cup stinks? I love it. I'm embarrassed that I had to uh, make believe it, it was a good gift. I'm honored you sent it. That's something you buy at the airport when you remember you have a kid. Like, oh God, I got to get it some. You yeah. just run into the gift shop. Yeah. Yes. Don't you people understand you, what it represents? I went to New Jersey. He wants a... us to place this in the studio and and stare at it every day for inspiration. This don't. <laughs> you know something? I quit. <laughs> I just stop kissing ass. We got the gig. This is my challenge to Joel Hollander. You want us to stare at the Stanley Cup every morning to get inspiration? Uh -huh. Why don't you bring the real Stanley Cup here? Let's see how powerful you really are. I think it's somewhere. Get me the Stanley Cup! I think it has to. Aren't there a few Stanley Cups? No. Like there's the one, and then there's ones that kind of go no. around, and they. I want the somewhere. one. Yeah. I want the one I saw back in the uh, the early '80s when the Islanders were winning all those Stanley Cups. I was at the Huntington Crescent Club. Clark Gillies, who by the way is a regular at F.H. Riley's in Huntington, my brother's restaurant on 400 wow. New York Avenue. He's actually a regular there. Uh, Clark Gillies. Okay. Yeah. Clark Gillies had the Stanley Cup for the day. He brought it up to the Huntington Crescent Club where I was a, a, a lousy caddy. And it was on display all day, and we all got pictures and stuff with the Stanley Cup. We got to check it out, got to check out all the dents and stuff in it. Yeah, that's why it's the coolest trophy, because if you grow up, you're watching Wayne Gretzky, hold, you get to hold it's up the, the same, same one. one. It's yeah. the same one. Yeah. Joel Hollander, I do not accept your 10-inch Stanley Cup. I do not accept the autograph on it, because I'm, I do. A, because I'm a New York Islander fan, by the way. I, I love it. I want... The real Stanley Cup in this studio for one lousy day. One morning, three lousy hours, the Stanley Cup. Then we'll get the inspiration. Can you wait? Then we get the inspiration. Can you wait until we get some ratings numbers? No. And then? No. And then we will have some. No. Uh, first, <laughs> you get the power. Then you get the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. We can't be too cocky. We got to work our, our butts off. We uh, we get that. Not that small. We're up for the challenge. We love new challenges in our careers. Okay? Dan suggested give it to Big A so he could cover his junk. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big for that. I don't like the I don't like the gift. I uh, appreciate and it shows he doesn't really know us that well. Why? I'm a New York Islanders fan. I'm not happy when the Devils win the Stanley Cup. It's well, no one really is. <laughs> well, wait, he's got a gift for you, Anthony. I believe it's a Boston Red Sox uh, cap signed by David Ortiz. If it had some kind of like, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna knock it over the fence. I would, would accept, accept the, the Red symbolism. Sox I would the accept the symbolism. I would accept. Joel, the, are you listening? The symbol. Bring me the Stanley Cup. You hear me? He's. He's crazy. <laughs> Joel, I want to say that Ophi should be on some type of medication. He's not. And, and, and that is where this is coming from. 
I want to back wanna... him up. That, that Thank is a, you. That is a horrific gift. Yeah. You don't care. See, Bill doesn't have to kiss ass because he doesn't have. He doesn't have a, you know what, an, like... an official contractor gig with us. Bill, how awful is that? You know that what that gift? is? That's one of those stupid gifts. Like if you're in a new relationship, your girl gets you. Oh my like God. during the first three week, weeks, some cute little stupid thing to let you know that your life is about to be over. You're calling Joel Hollander a stupid girlfriend? I'm calling him a little broad <laughs> who shops at an airport gift shop. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. The challenge is out there. Bring us the Stanley Cup. Bring us the Stanley Cup. I, uh, I'll even I accept it. Just I'll even accept it. Peeking in the in the studio and then out. Is it plastic destroying the environment? Who would you like to bring uh, <laughs> over the Stanley Cup? Uh, preferably Messi is doing commercials and stuff. Maybe he could bring it over. No, I'm not a I'm not a Rangers fan. Everyone knows that. All right. Yeah, if I knew it like a... if I knew one of the Islanders these days, I'd mention his name. Maybe a Potvin could come over. He could show you the dents that he put allegedly with his wife's head. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, have Butch Goring, go, Butch Goring come over here. Sign Love that, Butch Goring. That toilet Love seat him. helmet he used to wear. Love Butch Goring. He's bossy. He I see him bring it over. I see him walking around the streets in uh, New York in my neighborhood, and I'm like, huh, that's Butch Goring, and no one knows or cares. Yeah. He's just a regular business guy now. All right, so. I put in Jerry Hart's swimming pool. By the way, now people are saying that Messier didn't even promise the cup. He didn't. So his big dramatic quote that made the uh -oh. New York Daily News is is not even a quote from Mark Messier. Yeah, he, he was playing the Devils. We will win tonight. <laughs> right. Can we? Can we? All right. <laughs> he didn't promise. <laughs> that's what. Uh, uh -oh. That's what Eric in New York is saying. Can we get confused with Joe Namath? Can we get a Joe Namath helmet? <laughs> Eric, what's up? Can we get it a number twelve jersey? <laughs> right. Eric. Yeah, he didn't even promise the Stanley Cup. He promised to win the game six against the Devils. You know, when they yeah. were down three to two. So yeah. I think Joe Hollander's uh, promise for what it's worth. Yeah, he's a little weird, Joel Hollander, because the the Stanley Cup that's 10 inches tall that I'm staring at that I'm supposed to get inspiration from. Get inspiration. It's cheap plastic, and it has the New Jersey Devils uh, logo on it, and it's signed by a New Jersey Devil, and then it comes with a quote from Mark Messier. He's I schizo. I say you pee in it. Huh? I say you pee in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Re <laughs> Reaper is pissing me off. Why? Because I have not... Oh. oh, yeah, we'll get into this. Uh, Reaper, go. Yeah, what's up, guys? I got to say, Opie, you're, and you always say how it is. Anthony, you've become such a hole over the last couple months. Oh, gosh, I have not. Let me explain what happened. I've become the hole? Let me explain what happened with Anthony. He's a homeowner. He's got a huge mortgage, so he's a little... He's a little frightful nowadays. No. He's a little yep. frightful. There's a, See? Quiver. There's a quiver in his voice. That's right. Oh, stop. There's I... no quiver in my voice. Oh, <laughs> oh Bill. I still have no responsibilities. <laughs> Obviously. See what happens when you buy a house? you got to start accepting these crappy gifts. Yeah, and See? You like I would be... You know what me... you should do? When's Watch... your birthday? Let's get him a bobblehead. It, it just passed. Bobble... Oh, it did? It a just passed. A bobblehead. <laughs> there you you could take the cheap Stanley Cup. I to your would be house happy display to display it. that on my mantle as a gift from Joel, uh, with his confidence in the program and what it symbolizes. I don't know. How about a gift that costs more than seven ninety eight? Yeah, like <laughs> like Freeman McNeil's cleat. Right. How about you get me? How about this? Another challenge. Huge Nirvana fan and and you know Kurt Cobain fan. Get me the sweater he wore in uh, the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. I have a statement. Yes. Uh, I would like to apologize for Opie's comments on the Stanley Cup gift. <laughs> Opie did not mean any harm by this, and uh, this it was Opie's not attorney. serious. It was a joke uh, when Opie said that he did not like Joel's Stanley Cup gift. <sighs> Is that through our agent? <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on. I will not thank oh, you for the gift. Oh, guys. Come on. Oh, stop. All right. Bill Burr sitting in today. You never open. By the way, what's going on with Bill Burr and, and him being an environmentalist all of a sudden? I don't know what happened. Bill, Bill, Bill's like you know priorities happened, Anthony, and personalities change. You what? I read, Anthony. You read. Yeah, I don't play video games like you do. What are you reading? They're very fun video games. What are you reading that has turned you into a faggot? Because <laughs> all I'm hearing, and, and look how this conversation got brought up. And then he kind of elaborated on it. We have a big screen TV that is like the the jumbotron out there in Times Square or whatever they call it these days. Uh, it's huge. 
and uh, they're going to be hooking it up, and we're going to have access to it. Wonderful, but it's giant. And and Bill goes, I don't think I could bring myself to buy one of those. I uh, spent four thousand dollars on a television. And it's like, well, you know, they they do make them cheaper, and the high definition's great, the widescreen's great. Why don't you go out and buy one? And then I, I'm thinking financially, uh, he doesn't have the room for it. The, any reason but <laughs> what he came up with, which was, uh, you know, the environment. How does a flat screen TV affect the environment? That's what you're going to do with the old one. They just tossed them out. They made of plastic and never biodegrades. I don't really need So you're watching an old Philco? An old Philco? I got a bubble TV and I'm sticking with it. Bubble ones, yeah. Just, just like an old lady. The channel changer on it? Well, first of all, Give me of... the clicker. Plus, Give me the <laughs> clicker. Anthony, there are polar bears drowning on the North Pole. That's what he said, too. He goes, there are polar bears drowning. And, and I'm like, what? And you could see it in high def on the nice TVs. You could watch the polar bears drown in all their glory on Discovery High Def. Yeah, the ice caps are melting. It's terrible. Who cares? But there was a day there was a lot more ice, and we had nothing to do with the melting, so. Of course not. But I just want to know what's wrong with throwing a TV away. I like how he just did that with absolutely away. no scientific background. You don't even have the decency to wear a He's laptop. got a mic in front of him. I oh. saw Ice Age. <laughs> there was a time. The cartoon. There was a time there were all, there was a lot more ice on this earth, and there was no humans. What the dinosaurs were, uh, you know, messing up the ozone. Well, let me tell you. And something. then there, th no, then there was the you meltdown. Know what freaked me out was I just found out that plastic never biodegrades because it's, uh, it's. It comes it, from the earth. Who cares? It's man-made. It's man-made. But it comes from the earth. It wasn't like we got these uh, materials from space. Right. Everything you see came from the earth. So Everything. It's, it, so it's not really pollution. Everything you see oh, came from this planet. And why do we take pollution and then move it to just an area? It's still on earth. A three-block area. Could it be near your house? I don't get the whole, like, you know, moving pollution this is what I'm somewhere saying. else. Cause, and then, then we tell each other, see, we're cleaning up the environment. We cleaned up. No, we're, we're not cleaning up the environment because it's still on Earth. It's just somewhere else. We just moved it. <laughs> we just moved put it. Put it on the ground. <laughs> we dig a hole and right. put some nuclear stuff down there. The reality is Earth Day stinks. We're not cleaning up anything. See? Oh. Yeah, you clean. When I was a kid, we had to clean up the what schoolyard. What you try to do is you try to reduce your environmental footprint. Oh, my God. What is he reading? By what? Just raking up garbage and then just placing you it somewhere what? else. You know what's going to kill We're us? We're just spending our lives you know moving garbage us? around. All these people going out buying, like, what women want on, like, DVD for some stupid reason. You're going to die in 10 million years. The, the cover with Mel Gibson's stupid face in pantyhose is still going to be there in the ground. But do you know that the plastic from, like, when they invented plastic, where is that? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, Bill. What do you mean, where is it? Do you know it's what the gone. sun, no, it never sun, wind, and water does to it? Never biodegrades. Where do you feet. hear that? Who cares? Oh, rocks, this, this rocks wacky don't. Scientist. Rocks don't break down really. Yeah, either. one of these crazy educated guys. Do Who you know cares? wind? Wait, wait. If wind, rain, and sun can wear down rocks. God, I wish there was a time boulders. machine. Boulders. Just fast forward you into the future to look at that cover to that DVD. I would love it because I'd look at you going, look, idiot, you could have been watching that flat screen TV the whole time because it, it does biodegrade. It doesn't. Where are those old televisions? How come you don't see them just lying around? Because we don't. We, we bury them in the ground. They're and they go there. away. They don't. How do you know? Has anyone dug them up? Out of sight, out of mind. There you go. All right, is this what, so, so what I'm supposed to do is I'm just supposed to listen to a radio DJ as opposed to a scientist. Excuse me. What do we have in front of us? Microphones. We Whatever are we experts. say into these. I think what you guys are doing truth. right now is irresponsible. If you have a microphone in front of you, Bill Burr, you're an expert. Do you know he wears now Anthony. a fag bag? Where's your fag bag? I don't wear a fag bag. <laughs> yes, you do. You have. I know. When, when I go, when I go to the grocery store, I try to bring one of those little. Uh... You're not. I am. So he doesn't have to paper or plastic. Old women do None that. for me, thanks. I'm not gonna grab what? any of uh, this. He, you got, he you got like, like plastic one of those bags. burlap, like Mary Poppins. burlap bags. I got an umbrella and I float right across the street. Dude, he's got his burlap burlap bag. sack. Bur yeah, burlap sack, and he's just throwing you. You just throw your. He's like in. Charles <laughs> Ingalls going to the mercantile. <laughs> He's just bringing things in burlap. Yeah, I would rather think we fast forward. I don't know. Let's let's give it ten thousand years, and the wind will just be blowing on Earth. <sighs> Nothing there. We'll be long, long gone. Long gone. There'll be just insects and stuff. And it'll be millions of years before anything even shows up that's worth and then, anything. And then there will be just on a, this planet. There will yeah, be a flat screen TV. Like a couple of drunks. 
halfway in the ground Thank you. with the wind blowing. Yeah. That's that's what's going to happen. Maybe a foundation somewhere None like like a, a pyramid any sort of research anything. You guys are just dude, you know what I think's going to happen? Are you saying save the planet or save us as humans? Because the planet's going to do whatever it wants to do. Yeah, I understand It doesn't that. matter if you carry around a little plastic bag. And what do you think? Bill Burr's making an impact. <laughs> Bill, does it make you feel better to sleep at night? That old Billy Burr is t taking a sack with him while 18 classic billion ignorant, tons classic of ignorant, plastic trying to belittle me. is being trying used by other me. people. No. Do you think you're going to make a difference? You know how many billions of people are using plastic, fossil fuels, and, and everything else that supposedly ruins this planet? And huh. Billy Burr, though, is the one. They're going to go, thank God. Not it's not going to be this watch. year. Listen it's this. not going to be this year because Billy Burr took no. a bag with him to the supermarket. Not on my watch. Listen to me for one second, Bill. I'll ask you to watch. Uh, you, you don't. <laughs> you don't need to stress about this, okay? Because it's human it. nature that there will always be a lot more irresponsible humans than responsible humans. Right. You're just going to drive yourself crazy. I know. You know what I should You're do? You're inconvenient. I should join a racist group. We're I should pee in uh, fresh water. I should just be a complete ignorant ass. There you go. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're right with you now. Now you're sounding reasonable. Hey, listen, uh, we got to take a break. Um, it's Mother's Day. Uh, wait Sunday. a minute. Are any well, of the your sponsors... Your mother's going to pass away anyways. You know? I mean, why give her well, anything? What's the deal? What's the deal with Mother's Day? Hey, man, you're right. Are you putting on a jerky voice impersonating us being stupid? That's you put exactly on an ignorant voice. It's one of the staples of comedy. If you can't write the joke, just say it in a dumb accent. Uh, I'm going to take my own bag with me to the supermarket. <laughs> it's going to save the world. Hey, that does work. Uh, Bob in Ohio has <laughs> that something. That sounds really stupid in that voice. Bob has something in Ohio for Bill Burr. Bob, go. Boys, what's up? Morning. Hey, Morning, Bob. So, you're working so hard on saving the environment as we speak now. I'm throwing garbage out the window, and then soon I'm going to go kill some whales. <laughs> yeah, in Ohio, you <laughs> jackass. You see whales. the ignorance you're dealing with? Hey, we have a sea world up here in Cleveland. Oh, he's yeah, you know who's in there? Everyone from Cleveland, you fat bastards. Go on a diet. <laughs> oh, that's right. great. Hey, oh. That's right. All right. Shut your face. <laughs> Listen, we really do have to take uh, another break. Dude, we really do got to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day is Sunday. Yes. My mom loved the flowers I sent, by the way, from proflowers.com. They're the good. Thoughtless. If, you're, if you're looking for a last-minute gift, proflowers.com. <laughs> gifts. Should be the thing to do. <laughs> yes. Moms love flowers. I'm going to do more for mom. Know what I, I did that. this year? Why don't you just I gave my mom a, a Mother's Day gift early so she had something to open up early instead of getting all the gifts on one day. So Ooh. it spreads out a little bit. You confused her then. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> then again, the flowers are free and I didn't want them to die. Oh, <laughs> oh does she listen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are just an ass. We met with Pro Flowers. They gave us both a dozen roses. And I'm sitting there with these beautiful dozen roses. I'm like, do I bring them home to, to Lindsay? Or do I give them to my mom and say, here's an early Mother's Day gift, Mom. I just saw Opie ripping labels <laughs> off and cards that said, thank you, Opie, for so supporting uh, Pro Flowers. And, and, and then he goes, could you ship this to my mom? <laughs> I had Tom Chiasano to ship flowers ship to my flowers mom. Ship flowers to his mother. Isn't it? This is Free the best flowers. part. flowers. <laughs> this is the best part. I forgot to tell you. Oh. My mom calls me to say how lovely the flowers were and stuff mm -hmm. because they weren't even open yet, you know? Yeah. So they're, they got to be blooming just in time for Mother's Day. Fresh, fresh. She goes, it says there's a card enclosed, but I, I couldn't find the, the card. You um, didn't write something and put it where the old card was? She goes, but I saw the wow stickers, but I, so I assumed it was from you. <laughs> Good idea. You sent wow stickers to your mom with free flowers and no card that Tom Chiasano wow. mailed out. His secretary, his fine secretary. His secretary <laughs> mailed <laughs> out. Like, can you take care of me and just mail this to my mom? There was a card in there. Lizzie uh, Borden was a better uh, child. No, no, it was, Aunt. There was a card in there. She hacked her parents up, remember? No? I imagine Anyone? she did something awful. Yeah. Really fast. There was a card in there that said, uh, hey, uh, Opie and Anthony, we're very happy you're back on regular radio, terrestrial radio, whatever. Uh, you know, enjoy the flowers. A little gift from us at proflowers.com. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That just <laughs> disappeared. 
You are something, man. And I go, Tom, can you throw in some of those new WOW stickers that Free FM is uh, handing out? Tom, hey, could you throw some hundreds in there, too, a little cash? <laughs> what do you I'm do to get something flowers. nice? My flowers I gave to Ben Sparks for doing such a good job. Yeah? Yeah, he actually did. And where, where did you... Uh, They're sitting in... Sitting Dump in my him. office with his uh, Vermont teddy bear. Yeah. Oh, I have my Vermont teddy bear that says Anthony across its little coveralls. Right. I actually bought some flowers and tried to replant them to uh, add more <laughs> oh, <laughs> to the environment to help <laughs> right. because they do breathe in carbon monoxide. Why can't I do something listen. positive, Anthony? All right, listen. I mean, you, come on. Bill, you're going to have to save that thought because I'm yeah, getting the please. panic eyes from uh, the dunking booth. Mark Turnoff is peeking his head, and that means, uh, <laughs> guys, when are you going to break? Go to break. Uh, in honor of uh, Mother's Day on uh, Sunday, we mm -hmm. have one of our classic high mom bits. This one was supposed to be on a little CD called Demented World that we did when we were in Boston. But uh, Dave uh, Douglas uh, thought it was too mean-spirited. And back then, unfortunately, we listened to people way too much. He sure got So here's a hi, Mom. Hi, Mom, I'm in jail. That went horribly wrong. Check it out as we go to break. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Over here? No, over here. Over here. Oh, All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work either. <laughs> Whose fault is this? That's this. This is... Whose this is, fault is it? This is great. Live it's radio at its best. Ben Sparks' fault, right? And, and just like, thing and just like the weather guy. <laughs> it's plastic. Just it's like just the weather guy, we have there. no improv skills. Why don't we both talk at the same time? Because that always works on radio. <laughs> Bill, can't you tell I'm sweating over here? Hold on a second. It's I'm enjoying karma. this. It's karma from All using right. so much plastic. Exactly. That whole thing is made out of plastic, and this is... <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up? i got to get the break. Hey, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show, 1-866-313-FREE. Bill Burr sitting in for Jim Norton, who's playing the Orpheum Theater in Boston tonight with David Tell. Tickets still remain. Uh, a few tickets are around, actually, and uh, Jimmy's going to be on WBCN this afternoon, it looks like. Also, pick up the Boston Globe and the Boston Herald. Some nice articles on Jim Norton today. And Bill's got a gig he wants to hype up a little bit here. Yeah, I'm doing a tour, uh, Comedy Central Comedy Central live tour with uh, Greg Giraldo and Mike Rabiglia. We're going to be at the pageant on May 18th in St. Louis. The Electric Factory on the 19th in Philly and The Egg in Albany, New York. Very nice. Go to uh, myspace.com slash Bill Burr, B-U-R-R, -R, okay. the info. Uh, we got another hour left in the first half of the Opie and Anthony show. Then something's going to happen today. We're going to do the second half uh, that we do just for XM. We're doing it live at RCS Experience. That's on 56th and Madison here in Manhattan, starting at 930. We'll be there until about noon. So, uh... If you want to stop on by and say hi? That would be great. We got the brand new Wow stickers that Free FM are, are uh, is getting out there. Excuse me, and we got all sorts of other things, uh, courtesy of XM. So come on by and say hi. All right. The weather's a little inclement. Yeah. But, uh, don't let that stop you. We also have Big A and Twitchell's going to do the weekend review in a few minutes here. Yep. And as we went to break, we got to see our first naked girl in the new studio. Yes. Not PG actually 13. in from the new studio. Uh, we have a huge window here, overlooks the uh, building. I gotta say, apartments. We're in Howard Stern's old studio, right? Mm -hmm. And th they have this huge window that that overlooks Midtown here in Manhattan. Yeah, it's a great view. There's there's got to be I don't know hundreds and hundreds of windows you could uh, look into. Yep. We're, all, we're all peeping toms by nature. We all like to take a look. We all are into the voyeuristic thing, right? And uh, sure. for some reason, Howard had this this window completely covered up because he was paranoid about things. We'll get into some other day. And uh, I'm like, you got to be kidding. Open this window up. Let's check it out, right? So they took the wall down. There's a big, huge window. And, you know, during the breaks, we're not show prepping. We're looking for naked girls in these apartment buildings. <laughs> and bingo, we found one. And we got one today, finally. She was, uh, she was, you know, lotioning up after her shower in her uh, bedroom. And and the guys that work behind the scenes, I'm so glad they're working hard because they go, wow, she's, uh, she's, she's putting lotion on. And then the guys had to come forward and go, well, before that she was exercising and she was eating cereal, she was this and that. They had her whole routine. Good lord. And then uh, we were able to look just in time for her to start uh, putting some clothes on. She's putting her clothes on. Yeah, I like the panic though that goes in. Uh, is is that a guy or a girl? Yeah. That's the first uh, question that comes out because you don't want to be like, well, oh, guys, come on over, come on yeah. over. Well, and then it's a guy and, hey, homo. Yeah, it was it was me. I'm like, naked, naked girl, naked girl. Or is that a guy? Uh, uh, I think naked girl. Yeah, definitely then, naked girl. She got like, closer to the window. And I had a sigh of relief like, whew, whew, whew. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's literally like 300 yards away. Right. 
Yeah, least. we're going to need some optics in this place. Yeah, definitely. A telescope bit. with some uh, night vision. Maybe we have a fan out there that wants to bring us some stuff so we yeah. can see these ladies a little closer. Some a little better. You know, because the raindrops on the window is a real buzzkill today. Why don't we just break in to her apartment and just <laughs> <laughs> look at her up close? But she was doing the old... Reenact death wish. Eh, why not? She was doing the old jean jiggle. Yeah, love the jean jiggle when uh, the girls are pulling up their uh, jeans and they get up to their... Uh, yeah, they're uh, 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 thighs, and then they have to do that little uh, shake thing, that little ding, ding, ding. Shake, shake, shake. A little shake, shake, shake as they pull them up. That's if you have a hot body. Yeah. The fat girls have to do the... Uh, tuck, tuck, tuck. The earthquake jump. <laughs> <laughs> the single jump. Hot and girls. The pull. Hot girls do the little jiggle to get it around their hips. Yeah, it's one hip fat at a time. Fat girls have to do the earthquake jump. <laughs> the hot chicks do the one hip at a time. It's kind of a like doink 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 right, right. thing as they're pulling uh, up on the, their jeans. And the fat girls one big leap and then they pound onto the ground as they pull up. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> one small step <laughs> for an aerobic chick. <laughs> one giant leap, giant leap for, for the a mother of four, four. <laughs> for a fatty, for a fatso, for the woman with the bunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the show's moving by way too fast here. We got uh, we got some great OJ audio, some great audio. OJ. Maybe it's uh, reach. No, no, no. What's the story? The bunt. I know. I think you'll love it. Right on, man. Uh, O.J. Simpson do nothing. Infamous freeway chase in a white Ford Bronco wasn't funny, but the disgraced football star jokes about it in a prank-filled DVD to be sold on the internet, according to a TV well, report. Well, the chase was funny. We're gonna have to get this DVD. This the is only thing hours was, of entertainment for our show. The only thing that wasn't funny about the whole O.J. thing is that O.J. killed and hacked up two people. Everything else hysterical funny. If he could have done that whole thing without two people being butchered by O.J.'s hands, it would have been hysterical. Anthony, yeah. the man was acquitted. Yes, he was. The murderer O.J. was acquitted. He, the man was acquitted. He rushed for over 2,000 yards in a 14-game season. Wow. Okay, let's not... Let's look at the good things O.J. did. Some of his stats. Let's look <laughs> at the good things O.J. did. Why is everyone focusing on the bad? Hey, uh, so the, the it, thrills that that man brought you <laughs> in the 70s. Well, listen to what he's doing. And Juiced, modeled after Ashton uh, Kutcher's hit MTV prank show, Punked, Simpson pretends to be selling his former getaway ride on a used car lot. Does he stab everyone at the end of the show? Is that like the joke? You've been juiced. And then he just, like, stabs them and, <laughs> <laughs> and then gets away with it somehow. Right. So he pretends to sell his uh, former getaway ride on a used car lot, uh, says a spokeswoman for Inside Edition, which will air the exclusive footage today. We got the uh, audio of that, by the way. In a mock sales pitch for a Bronco, a smiling Simpson says, it was good for me, it helped me get away, it's a car that I personally made famous. <sighs> the car has escape ability if you ever get into some trouble. So it's part of this DVD, it's going to be uh, 90 minutes long, selling, I don't know, on the internet. For Unbelievable. How, how, what, who, what was the name of Ron Goldman's dad, that Raleigh Fingers looking guy? Oh, uh, yeah, Ron Goldman's dad. Does he have a name? <laughs> uh, Fred, Fred Goldman. Fred Goldman. Tell him, Fred. He must be. He's, he's, got, he's got to do something. If I was him, I would get a white Bronco and drive over OJ. <laughs> that guy has more self restraint no than kidding. anyone else on the face of this earth. I think he's just waiting to get a disease. He's waiting for OJ to get some kind of. No, disease. I think he's waiting for himself to get Why? a disease, and then he's gonna finally, you know, kill OJ. <gasps> oh, then it's, I got then you. It doesn't matter. Like, hey, you got six months to live, yeah. plenty of time to plan. I think he's just one of these guys waiting for the disease to kick in, whatever it's gonna be. The big <laughs> he probably C gets a checkup like every two weeks. Come yeah. on, Doc. Come it's on. gotta be something. Yeah, give me something. It's gotta be the uh, the big casino. <laughs> give me give me the big casino. <laughs> the big C note. <laughs> something. So uh, something where I only have a few he, months. He talks on like two cell phones that are being charged at that moment to get like extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Satellite <laughs> beaming into his head. Just a big helmet made of <laughs> st cell phones stitched together. <laughs> As he's just eating Krispy Kreme donuts, <laughs> having unprotected sex no, with I'm Haitian just hookers, there sharpening a knife. <laughs> yeah, as he prepares. <laughs> OJ, I'm Ronnie, my kid. 
an old dead man. Just a dead just, man. Just eating lead paint like it's potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to wake up with blurred vision and headaches that won't go away. Because why hasn't he done it yet? I know. That is... OJ has disrespected you. Yeah, see? I know. You went the legal route. You tried to do the decent thing. Yeah. It's the Charlie Bronson moment. you you got to take yeah. matters into your own hands. Right. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Well, you're going to meet him <laughs> in that perfect Chuck Bronson delivery. And then uh, he doesn't, uh, he, he gets the civil case and wins that. And OJ doesn't give him money. No, because all his money's hidden. Because his money's hidden. He's got this pension thing from the NFL that they can't. Touch. That apparently, for some reason, they can't touch. Right. So OJ has decided not to work, so that Ron, uh, uh, Fred Goldman, and and the family can't get any money. Yes, but Anthony, you're overlooking his 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 work in the Naked Gun. I mean, come on. <laughs> all right. Two thousand yards in a season. The the hilarity that he brought again when he was folded up in the hospital bed, and then please. The wheelchair down the stairs at the Hilarious. stadium, Ejected. hysterical. Nordberg. So according Great to character, according to Inside Edition, Simpson also poses in uh, the pranks as a rapper, an elderly white man leading a bingo game for seniors, an Elvis impersonator, <laughs> <laughs> and finally, this is the one that made me laugh pretty hard today. A murderer, a pizza oh. delivery man. Oh, your <laughs> that's pizza's what, here. That's what you want. OJ showing up with your pizza. Would you like me to <laughs> slice it for you? <laughs> right. Uh, no, OJ, please. <laughs> so we got the audio that ran on Inside Edition. Listen to this. That's OJ Simpson actually using his infamous white Bronco chase for comedy. It's your first look at Simpson's latest oh, move to make money, starring in a shocking hidden camera prank DVD called Juice. Modeled after Ashton Kutcher's hit MTV show, Punked, the former football star draws on his notoriety to pull pranks on people as hidden cameras roll. Simpson even has his own catchphrase. You a bit juice. Look into the camera. <laughs> you know, when Alan Funt used to come out during Candid Camera, everyone smiled and went, oh, it's Alan Funt. Right. And they didn't care about the prank. When uh, Ashton Kutcher comes out, his friends are like, oh, man. I'm going to get you for this. OJ comes out. Everyone goes, ah! <laughs> and just run, and just runs away from him. Wait, you've been juiced. <laughs> you've been juiced. You've been oh, no. That's so good. Just horrified. <laughs> this murderer is putting out a, a, a DVD That will be pranks. in the environment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a DVD of pranks based on on things relating to him murdering people. God bless him. God bless him. All the success, uh, no, the that's Juice. Why this, is a, this is a great country. It certainly is. It certainly is. is. Why don't we you get can to the market next... anything. Let's get to the next clip here. In one prank, uh -oh. he pretends to be selling that infamous Bronco at a used car lot. Simpson plans on selling the show on DVD. But when he was found liable in the deaths of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman in his civil trial, he was ordered to pay the victim's families $33.5 million. I just don't have he it. He has never paid. So is the money he earns from the DVDs going to them? Attorney Gloria Allred has represented the Brown family. Any money that he makes, I hope, will go to satisfy the multi-million dollar judgment against him in the civil case. But exactly can't they, uh, Rick Marr told oh, hold on, Murray, can't Simpson. they just call him uh, the Simpson family? I, I, why the Brown family? Does color have to come into everything? <laughs> no. <laughs> million dollar judgment against him in the civil case. But executive producer Rick Marr told our Jim Murray Simpson wasn't paid for the project. He's not being paid for this at all? No. So he did this for free? <laughs> He did this because he wanted to do this. Ron Goldman's father, Fred, opened up about his reaction to oh, the boy. DVD. I find it morally reprehensible. Disgusting. Do you look at this as blood money? Oh, absolutely. In other pranks, Simpson simply tries to fool people. That's Simpson transforming himself into an elderly white man and leading a game of bingo for senior citizens. He also poses as a rapper, a windshield washer, one medium pizza, a pizza delivery man, and an Elvis impersonator. Thank you, thank you very much. And sometimes the joke is just waiting for people to realize the notorious Simpson is right beside them. <laughs> 
Should he receive any proceeds from this project, Simpson is not required to voluntarily hand them over, but the Goldman family attorneys tell us they are looking into forcing Simpson to turn over any money should he earn it. A real bombshell in American Idol is one of the favorite hits the dust, Ooh. leaving one judge in tears. Did O.J. kill somebody from American Idol? Speechless. American While it is the unexpected Justifiable that makes homicide. Like American Idol work, yeah, right. Chris Daughtry, you've been juiced. <laughs> It was just an update on Chris Daughtry. He's been offered the lead uh, to be the lead singer of Fuel, I guess. Fuel, yeah. And uh, Paul Abdul, they were just talking about how she couldn't even talk about what happened because she was crying too too much. No, they were all in shock. But, dude, how does OJ do How does he get anybody to back him on this? He's obviously not doing it for free. He's got to have some kind of a, you know, six degrees of separation to the money that he's getting. For, for this thing. And again, Ron, Gol, uh, Ron Goldman's father there, uh, Fred Goldman, just, it is morally reprehensible. And but Why isn't he just losing his mind? Yeah. I'd love to talk to you, but I'm trying to procure a laws rocket online so I could fire it into OJ's chest. <laughs> uh, a knife isn't even good enough. I need something that will just leave his shoes on the street. And where OJ was a second ago, nothing but a red mist think, coming down. You think he stays up real late at night on the computer just trying to find ways how, how, he, how he can kill Did him. you ever have someone piss you off so much that for like maybe an hour you just think about how nice it would be to really get back at them absolutely this happens sometimes when you're robbed i remember uh, uh I, I got into my truck once years ago uh, a big ford f-350 and i was so proud of my pioneer super tuner stereo system that was in there and it was on one of these locks slide locks it had the tape in it and everything and it was on the slide where you take it out and i took it out everywhere i went and uh one day i decide i'm just running into the deli i'm gonna leave it in here i locked the doors Went in, came out, window broke, Pioneer Super Tuner gone. And and I just fantasized about me coming out and catching him. And, and you know, in the words of John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, it would have been worth him doing it if I could have caught him doing it. <laughs> and, and, and I just fantasized about grabbing him and, and just like way overkill on what he did he's just stealing a stereo and i'm like choking him with the wires from the stereo and stuff like oh you have to beat them with whatever they stole whatever they stole you have to like bash their face in with it that was what i was thinking i cannot imagine your son is dead by this guy he's goofing on it and you're there it's uh, morally reprehensible he would not. He would probably think the rocket launcher is, is too easy a death. Too easy. I would think that he would want to like something uh, slow. Yeah, get like that. Uh, set it and forget it. Like rotisserie thing. <laughs> <laughs> just get like a like a Ron Propel <laughs> yeah, type just, of. You just stick him in that thing. Set it, it and, and forget, forget it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Or if you have a gun, you make him run. You take him out to a football field. Yeah, let's see how you can run there, Mr. Heisman Trophy. Yeah, let's see if, how those knees hold up to this one. <laughs> Just hobbling OJ as you're taking pot shots at him. <laughs> that is pretty fun. Uh, he's got he's got a few more years, I guess, to think up a good way to kill OJ. Because that's how the story's got to end. I'm sorry. Fred Goldman just has to do it. It would be the storybook ending. I don't know what he's nervous about it either. No one's going to rape him with that mustache. <laughs> with the Raleigh fingers? Yeah, that eye of hepatitis. He just looks. I have. Happened. He looks diseased. Well, he's, he's been through a lot. Of, he's been through a lot in his life. He has. You know. Yeah. Jesus. Do you think OJ still has Bob Costas's like cell phone? You think of one of those guys on the NFL Live just still, still getting it, and it rings, and you just see OJ. No. Or you said it yourself. Don't answer. <laughs> don't answer. Yeah. Can't you program in when a number comes in? Murderer. Right. <laughs> like, oh, who could this be? <laughs> Special ringtone when he calls. It could be OJ or uh, what's his name that uh, shot his wife there, or the pregnant wife. It's like uh, two people it could be. Scott Peterson. Uh, no, the uh, football player did that. Who was oh, that guy? Oh, shot. From, uh, the Panthers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, oh uh, Carruther? Uh, yeah. Carruthers? Something like that? Carruth. Yeah, like that. yeah, Ray. Ray Cruz. It's like one, one hey, of two murderers. You know, we do have to take a break, and uh, we weren't going to play it, but you guys segged right into it, so we should. The OJ uh, call montage. Oh, right. This is one of the funniest things that uh, another person has uh, given our show. Yes. His, his name is Kid Chris. He's on WISP. Mm -hmm. We're working with uh, Kid Chris, 
And he gave this to us years ago, and uh, we can't get enough of it. Apparently, they found OJ's cell phone number and would call him, and OJ just <laughs> OJ can't stop laughing and having a good time. Bill, you've never heard this? No. Wow, you've been working with us for a while now. We'd like to play this one a lot. Uh, so it's Kid Chris. We have nothing to do with this. Yeah. Kid Chris, uh, Kid, excuse me, Kid Chris does some good radio on WISP. Check him out. Uh, but here it is, the OJ, OJ uh, call montage. Yeah. Oh, Juice? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Who's this? This is AC. Let's go kill somebody tonight. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Juice? Yeah, hello. OJ. Who's this? It's Al Michaels. My wife's been acting like a real bitch. I was wondering if you could help me kill her. What do you say, champ? Do I know you? Hey. Juice, it's Chris Rock. <laughs> it's me, Chris Rock, Juice. What do you say you and I go kill the Spice Girls? Juice, every time I call you, I always be laughing. <laughs> Hello? Juice, you're late. We're supposed to go out and kill people tonight. What's going on? Uh, I, I really can't talk. I'm at dinner with a bunch of people, and uh, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> uh, I'm the real killer, OJ. Oh, well, hello? Yeah. Yeah, Juice. Juice, yeah. Juice what's up? Who is this? It's Dan Deodorf. You want to go uh, throw the ball around, you know, have some beers, maybe kill somebody? <laughs> yeah. Hi, hi, OJ. It's Kato. <laughs> well, well, I want to go pick up some young girls and kill them. <laughs> we we can hold them underwater or something. Gotta go. Can I move in with you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, OJ. Hey. Hey, it's Marcus Allen. Want to go get some bitches and kill them? Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Learn to play poker with the Opie and Anthony Show. No! Oh, God! I spilled my chip. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, Opie! Oh, oh, now clean it up! That's right. Be a poker player, just like your father. The Opie and Anthony Show. Are you happy now, Opie? Are you happy? <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Mornings. Yeah, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Bill Burr sitting in for Jim Norton, doing a great job for us today. He's hyping the uh, Comedy Central tour, right, Bill? Comedy Central live tour. MySpace.com slash Bill Burr for all the dates. Very, very good. You've been bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working at the Orange Julius. This is funny. Here it is. You've been juiced. <laughs> Literally. I'm running out of ideas. I can't believe he's making us buy something, but... I was saying, I don't. You always wonder who buys these things. Yeah, radio DJs. Like that's got to be the only thing they're marketing this to, is because they know every radio jock is going to pick this uh, up so they can have sound clips of OJ. Can we buy it already, or I don't know. Is Someone it on? find out. E Rock's great at that. I stuff. saw something on pay per view as I was going through last night that said juiced, and it was uh, something with OJ. So I don't know. Maybe it's even available on uh, pay per view. E Rock. Over the weekend? Cool. All right. Hey, on the instant feedback, John from Jersey. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, John. I, I meant to read Jordan, but it updated. Jordan from New Jersey. The Star and Buckwild billboard on the turnpike between exits 13 and 14 already covered with black tarp. Yeah. It's, uh, it's all it's Stalinism going on in radio. Once you're out, they want to just wipe you from the record. You never existed. You never worked here. We did never knew him. And uh, that's how it works. They're hosing down the studio as we speak to bring in the next guy. That's it. They play by Disney rules. All right. Hose it down and let oh, the that, ride run again. That's right. Stalin used to literally, they had people doctor the photos so the person wasn't. Oh, yeah. There. Never yeah. never even existed. Yeah. Wow. They go into the history books and rewrite history, all that stuff. And then wow. in a final irony, uh, Stalin was actually removed from some patriotic, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, some patriotic uh, Russian uh, film. They had some soldier superimposed in this film badly because it's you know so many years ago. Standing there where Stalin was <laughs> at some point, and all you see is the soldier's back, and then he steps out of the way, and it's so badly put in, like an old uh, an old dinosaur movie from the 30s. <laughs> Claymation. 
<laughs> hey, we got a uh, Russian model update. Yeah, it's not Russia. You were sort of explaining it to Bill, but you got to re-explain for maybe the people that haven't heard. Maybe the people that are waking up for from a... Well, I won't use it again. <laughs> Especially because I stumbled through it. Never mind. Yes, yeah, stuttering, muttering. I am stammering a yeah, lot today. Yes, stuttering. She, uh, yeah, this Russian model was uh, on a tour bus uh, on the Gowanus Expressway here in New York, doing about 40 miles an hour. She's going to the bathroom, and uh, apparently the bathroom door opens up. And then you have the option. Two doors. Door number one. Door number one. Door number two. two. Uh, door number one takes you back into the tour bus. Smart tour bus. To takes you back into luxury. Anthony. Luxury. And your supermodel career. Yes. And your supermodel career. And your supermodel this career. This just like, let's make a deal. <laughs> door number one takes you back to the luxurious tour bus where your supermodel career will continue. <laughs> And uh, living a life of luxury. Luxury drinking champagne. <laughs> <laughs> door number two, on the other hand, which is right next to door number one, takes you face first onto the hard pavement of the Gowanus. <laughs> Guess what door? Modeling career over. Over. Guess what door? Now they describe you as model with gauze on face. <laughs> <laughs> so so she, she walked out the wrong door. Ouch. And uh, I guess the bus driver was... Which door did she choose? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Well, you got to have the prices right. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, terrific. So, yeah, she, she chose the wrong door, and the bus driver was quoted as saying he looked at his side view mirror... To see the Russian model pretty much tumbling down the Gowanus oh. Expressway. Tuck and roll, sweetie. <laughs> She's lucky to be alive. Those big supermodel legs. It's one of the funniest like stories. Like a praying mantis just oh. flipping down the right? highway. Like a, a newborn fawn <laughs> just <laughs> flapping with legs. Nothing but legs and emaciated kneecaps. <laughs> and you know what, Anthony? We got into this yesterday. She still has that Russian attitude in the latest update. Does she? That Russian update. Uh, Russian, uh, excuse me, attitude. It is lucky that I am alive, model declares, according to the New York Daily News. Her million-dollar face covered in gauze. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. We... That's terrific. That's terrific. I have audio of uh, right when she was uh, stepping out of the bathroom. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Oh, my nose. That had to hurt. <laughs> uh, and here's the driver. Yeah. <laughs> I know when to cut it off. I think there's an F in there. Is there really? Yeah. So uh, the model, name I can't pronounce, uh, charged yesterday. There was no sign on the bus exit door she mistook for a bathroom, sending her tumbling onto a Brooklyn highway. Do you really need a sign that says exit when you open the door and wind is gusting at 40 miles an hour as you see pavement flying by? If you open a door and you see movement... Any lots movement. and lots of movement. You might want to step back. The rooms usually don't and move. Assess. As That's actually interesting. In. When is that all one motion? When you open the door, you're already making the step. Because that just seems right. right. Maybe you just. I, I, I never mean, really. When I walk through a door. I don't stop. Open it and now Bill, continue. Make sure it. it's not a street. Yes. Bill, she's a model. She's a dope. She's stupid. <laughs> uh, she goes on from her hospital bed. She says, "I'm not angry, but I would like that there are some changes made." That nothing like this can happen again. Mm. Well, this doesn't happen with anyone with an IQ over 10. Yeah, can't the first happen thing again. we can do is wrap you in padding and put a football <laughs> helmet on your head, you right. dope. Too bad she wasn't doing one of those fat suit pieces. Mm -hmm. She'd have all that padding, like Tyra. Oh, God, she continues. I am sure that the exit doors have to be locked and they have to be marked. There were no signs. Mm. Uh, some uh, founder of a model agency says, uh, I think that the doors are marked. I'm very confused as to how she could have done this. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to translate this in, into a second language and try to explain to her parents how dumb their kid is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Russian. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, door to the bus, door to the bus. No door to the street. No door to the street. Door to the, no street. Door to the bus, back to the bus. No door to the street. And stop. Stop on door to the street. Oh. <laughs> so the uh, the lady from the uh, the model agency, very confused at how this could have possibly happened, dressed in a hospital gown and surrounded by vases full of flowers, 
the Russian model recounted a quite different story, Anthony. Mm. I asked where the bathroom was, and I was told it's down the stairs. There's a door, she said. I opened the first door. I saw, and I don't remember anything after that. My friends told me the bus driver saw me fall. Everybody said, it is lucky that I am alive. Oh, so she what, hadn't gone yet? She was looking for the bathroom, and they said down the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing she had to go real bad. To yeah. That. I have to pee, run. And you just, you're right. And you're just running, fling the door open, run in. She suffered heavy bruising to her right arm, but miraculously no broken bones. Her face was covered in gauze yesterday with only her nose, lips, and heavily swollen right eye visible. Oof. She said her jaw was so beaten she had she has been unable to chew any food. Mm. Uh, I will get better, and I'm told there will be no scars, she said. She conceded her return to the fashion world could be a few months away because, and she says, for a great picture, I have to look perfect. <laughs> of course she does. Pompous Russian. I have to look perfect. So now she has a cause. Well, What we... is it, road rash? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what she got. A little road rash on the face. Hopefully that clears up for her. She did look kind of uh, yeah, hot. Yeah, she landed on a fact. medium strip? Hold on, we're getting a request. Right in, right in the middle of the road. Right in the middle of the road, yeah. like she could have gotten run over. Yeah, we're getting a request. We don't get many requests on the Opie and Anthony show. It's Jay in uh, Chocolate Cité. Jay, what's hey. up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, can y'all start the story over? I want to hear Anthony read it in the uh, Russian stripper voice. Oh, the obnoxious Russian stripper voice. They're yeah. so sexy. Let me make this sexy for you for the $20. Bring back the American whores. We miss them. We miss our American whores. Go to your local watering hole strip club, and it, they, even that's full of Russian chicks now. Yeah, they're too sure of themselves. Enough. We want the broken uh, girls. You like the for me homes. to make this sexy where I slap the butt? You like, don't you? Why did the pimps go like overseas now? They got like a sweatshop. They can. No, man, they, they, yeah, that seems to be what there. happened. They opened the doors in Russia, and they they you know they came into this country like everybody else, and they were like Anthony has a great thing on this. They were rocket scientists. They had these unbelievable jobs in Russia, but now in America, you got to start over. All had great jobs during Soviet Union, or uh, the, for the strippers, it had to be like their families, you know. Right. My father was a uh, work at uh, the missile plant for ICBM when we was on brink of destroying you. You remember, superior uh, USSR to your stupid America. They're not even humble that they're here. Your country's been broken up into a thousand pieces, and uh, still, we were so much better than you. I was scientist uh, back in the mother Russia, and now, even though I push hot dog cart, I'm still better than you. That was in L.A. Every cab driver I got would be Russian, and they used to be like a brain surgeon. They all oh, yeah. were great. No one had a, a no one crappy a job driver. in Russia. No. I had a cab driver here in New York City, heart surgeon in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Now, now driving a cab in New York City. They don't recognize my degree. <laughs> right. I could take your head apart and put it back together, but over here... <laughs> they don't work. recognize anything. That's why I sell watches on the corner now. I used to be brain surgeon. You have headache? I fix. Can you do no, the, can you do you the quotes from the news article? Where are the, Where's the news article? I threw mine away. Is no, it, well, no, that'll be... Highlighted? That'll be rough. Yeah. Here, it, it might be this piece of paper. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll try this one. That one. It's all crumpled up. That's how much we care about the story. Read it, roll it into a ball, throw away. I will get better, and I'm told there will be no scars. Thank God for humanity. Uh, for uh, She conceded her return to the fashion world. Uh, it could be a few months away. For a great picture, I have to look perfect. Ugh. I opened the first door I saw, and I don't remember anything after that. My friends told me the bus driver saw me fall. I believe it was Moose and Squirrel <laughs> gave me directions. <laughs> <laughs> that trick never, never works. <laughs> Oops, don't know where the bathroom is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rock, watch me throw the Russian out the bus. <laughs> Where is, where is Natasha gone? 
Uh, but she'll get better. That's right. I am not angry, but I would like that there be some changes made. Not like this can happen again, the Belarus-born beauty said. Always oh, got to go with alliteration, don't they? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go to Frank in Shut Chicago. Up and take your clothes off. Frank A. Yes, sir, boys. How What's you up, Frank? This morning? Good. You know, that Russian model's lucky she wasn't on an airplane. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no the, ba- kidding. the bathroom, it's uh, to the right. It's the door with the little window and the big pull handle on it, idiot. I know. She probably she'd think it was a washing machine. <laughs> hey, yeah, before we I take a my panties in here. They my laundry up here. Look. Everything you... looks fluffy like clouds. <laughs> Every bit of laundry. Uh, when I look in the washing machine, fluffy like cloud. <laughs> hey, before we take a break... The show is moving way too fast today. Uh, we got Big A and Twitchells making their way into the studio. We're going to end with uh, the weekend review with Big A and Twitchells. It seems to be a hit on this uh, half of the Opie and Anthony show. Then we'll continue at uh, RCS Experience 56 in Madison. We're broadcasting live exclusively for XM today starting at 930. So if you're in the area, stop by and say hi. we got lots of stuff to give away, okay? Do that. Uh, be- oh, and also we'll talk to Big A about his pal talk experience, and then we'll finally put that to bed. He got had. Uh, he got had. Oh my God. He he, he got caught having a little uh, phone slash video sex with a girl from and Australia. Everyone on the message boards are pissed off at us. Oh, at us. At 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 the people that at the girl that did it set him up. At, at the conspiracy of how many people were involved. Everybody's annoyed that we did this. That shut up. Shut up. We'll get into it next if you haven't heard. Okay. But first, head. Anthony, uh, Brother Joe, my yeah. God, we got to play this again this morning. Yeah. What is it called again? The Guitar Father. Guitar Father. Yeah, my brother, a uh, guitarist extraordinaire. He's in a band, uh, 2U, U2 tribute band. But uh, he threw this uh, together. It's uh, the theme to uh, The Godfather. Everyone knows that. But it's uh, it rocks. It's kind of like Eric Johnson, Joe Satriani. Yeah. Yeah, in that style. In that, in that style. vein. In that, in that vein. vein sure. In that genre. And Brother Joe's band is playing tonight at Tuxedo Junction in Danbury, Connecticut. Oh, tomorrow? I'm sorry, tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah. Tomorrow, Tuxedo Junction, Danbury, Connecticut with 2U, the U2 tribute band that's just been uh, pretty much traveling the world at this point. Yeah. Uh, 10 p.m. show tomorrow night, okay? But here's Brother Joe and the guitar father on the yeah. Opie and Anthony show. Man, this show flew by today. At least the first half of the Opie and Anthony show. We'll do the second half for XM, and uh, I don't know, I guess we start that in like 20 minutes from right now, and we're doing it live at RCS Experience, 56th and Madison, starting at 9.30, but we're going to broadcast us walking over there, so that should be a lot of fun. And we're encouraging the people that are listening to us on Free FM here in New York City to come on by and say hi, and kind of mix with the XMers, that that could be very interesting. Of course. And we'll we'll have a lot of wow stickers and other things to give away. Bill Burr sitting in for Jim Norton today, doing just a great job for us. Thank you, Bill. Once again, that uh, tour you're doing. Comedy Central Live Tour, yeah. Hitting St. Louis, Philly, and uh, Albany, New York. 18th, 19th, and 20th. All the information's on uh, uh, myspace.com slash Bill Burr, B-U-R-R. All right, very good. Uh, Two R's, yeah. In studio. People try to spell it B-I. It's easy. Like Raymond. I like the other guy that was um, Bill Blur. Some guy made a MySpace account, Bill Blur, and it was a whole copy of Bill's site, only a little blurry. Yeah. <laughs> Which I thought was so hysterical. <laughs> Went on there. Some creative idiots on there. By the way, a lot of people loving the Guitar Father. That is up on our website if you can find it. We're still negotiating that with the lawyers here. Yeah, working We on promote it. the hell out of it on the second half of the Opie and Anthony show. I guess if you join our MySpace account, Opie and Anthony on mm-hmm. MySpace, all those uh, websites are there. Since when is Don Rickles singing? <laughs> I haven't seen... I, I never knew he sang. Um, that's uh, Paul Simon. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> now it makes sense. Sorry. He finally I, let that toupee go. He really did. <laughs> He finally said, ah, fuck it. Hey, <laughs> watch your language. Watch your language. I just want to see if Al Dukes is awake down the hall. I hope he is. Ah, he said, F it. To the, the old hair getting, piece. Uh, you're getting fresh. Steve Gadd on drums. All right, hey. Sorry. Well, really? Oh, it's one of the greatest drummers ever. How do you For know what that? band? Because I'm a drum geek. Do what? you know cymbals don't biodegrade? 
Actually, they do, because they're made out of metal. Yeah, Bill. What about the what sticks? How many I, trees I have to die you, for you. drumsticks? Man. What's that? <laughs> How many trees have to die for drumsticks? Well, if you know how to hit the drums right, you don't break them. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what about the cymbals, though? They're going to last a lot longer no, than the, the flat screens, Bill. Plastic well, tips not, on I'm, the I'm drumsticks. Buying, you know, I'm not living in an MTV Cribs lifestyle. That's all I'm saying. Plastic tips on the drumsticks. They'll be I there forever. I don't have the plastic ones. Years from now, there'll be baby whatever is choking on those things. Baby whatever lives here hey, on this planet. Who did he used to drum for, by the way? Uh, he's, Billy Joel. He's, he's played with there. He's been no Paul idea. Simon's drummer forever. Uh, I don't know. He's he's just he's both a big time studio Boring. guy. Played with like uh, <laughs> what's, what's the other guy? You guys, there's a lot of noise in the background. I don't know what's going on. He used to play with uh, Boring. Was it the Brecker brother? Boring. No, was, no. Wait a minute. Boring. He used to play with. Uh, all right, all right. We're running out of sh what? We have seven minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're going a little late today. Uh, Big A and Twitchell's in studio. <laughs> they got to do the weekend review before we get out of here. We get a lot of hate mail. Environmental. I'm talking about drummers. No one cares. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a little difficult because we got to get this done quickly. And uh, Big A um, apparently can't get anything done quickly. <laughs> except, well. <laughs> yeah, this half of uh, the Opie and Anthony show, they don't know that Big A was pretty much set up by his fellow pal talkers. Yeah, pal talk is video conferencing. You have a camera. The other people have cameras. You get into rooms with uh, hundreds of people in them, look at each other and chat uh, with microphones. Or you can just go private, which is one-on-one -on -one in a private room, and do unspeakable things uh, on the cameras. Well, this girl got Big A into one of these private rooms. She didn't cam up, as they call it. Big A did. Uh, Big A didn't have any clothes on. He had focused the camera on a part of him that probably is the worst, the second worst part of him you could focus the camera on. <laughs> well, it was at the front of you. Yeah, yeah, he's known as Big A, but I think we should change his oh. name to Little C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was really, really hard to watch that. Uh, hard to watch. That was the only thing that was hard to do. Or, uh, <laughs> All right, enough already with the twitching. Yeah, enough. Oh, we get it. You're here. So, <laughs> so uh, Big A, how are you feeling about that whole situation? Yeah. Five minutes left. Yeah. Actually, much better now. Much better now. Do you have a good cry about it? You were pretty yeah. much the laughing stock of the world wow. the last couple of days. The world. Jesus. Well, you know, Pal Talk's all over the place. The show's on the Internet now. It's on DirecTV. It's on XM. It's on Terrestrial Radio. Yeah. Big audience uh, checking uh, Big A out. We played the audio on, on the, other, uh, the other show. Now, has the video been released? Has that gotten out? Uh, yes. Uh, By who? Because I assure you we did not release the video. No, we did not. I would sue. I would sue, sue everyone. Don't give him that idea. I would sue. We'd be named in it. Oh, really? Don't sue. Yeah, don't sue. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Sue. Look, what, what did we give you last week? $250 to be here? Yeah. yeah. yeah we take care of you, big He guy. looks like a retarded James Gandolfini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Big A, you going to take that from Bill Burr? I mean... I'm defending you on this one, dude. You, you just basically you got busted for, you know, that's like that Pat O'Brien on, on the E! Network. Of his. Pat Come on, man. Who hasn't made that phone call and tried to make a monogamy? Me, you, I Betsy. We'll go crazy. <laughs> I want you to coke. enjoy her. Yeah, you enjoy her. I want to... Well, yeah. Well, well, he's and a then, good and man. Then, he's a good man in my book. If, if your answer is yes, wink and twitch your nose like the bewitched girl when you walk past the table. <laughs> well, yeah. Big A, you going to take that from Bill Burr? That's a little rough what he said. It. Who's always backed you, Big A? Who's giving you the lines? It's about, it's about loyalty. Actually, I'll give him a fee pass this time. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Next time he'll smother you with a pillow. Oh. All right, so uh, do we have an update? I guess that's the update on what happened with Big A for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah. He was uh, a lot of embarrassment. embarrassed. A lot of uh, thoughts of suicide the last few days. You have a lot of lower body fat, by the way. Like, you can tell when you're dressed that you got a gut on you and stuff like that. and you're, you're a bit, But in that video that I saw, there's like, there's this triangle of, of fat that I think you, uh, you have to get rid of. I don't know what you do to work that out. Well, we could get Dr. Ian Smith to give him the fat smash diet. Yeah. You know? 
He's already a, had the junk smash diet, apparently. <laughs> Big A is shaped in such a way he looks like a cartoon character that came to life. Yeah. It's like a Homer Simpson, Fred Flintstone <laughs> looks thing. Like his stump oh, looks like he had like a chest avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> it just, and his belt stopped it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? I'm riffing on what you guys are saying. You are awful, Bill. I am not. I'm awful. How can you go there? Bill says some of the meanest stuff I've ever heard I, on this I show. Bill. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You know, have some we're, compassion, Yeah, Bill. we're just having a little Hey, look, everybody has fun. their one cause. Mine is the environment, okay? Bill, <laughs> you guys want to fucking... I knew he'd do it. I knew he'd do it. You cursed. I knew he'd do it. He got all worked up. <laughs> Look at my watch came mouth. off on that one. We were just having some yeah. good natured potty mouth. We Mick. were having good natured fun with our. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got, he calls Anthony with the gun collection. Right. He's got to make it racial on some level. <laughs> what is this? The 1920s? Do you call me a Mick? Why I oughta? Uh, anyone else can curse, but we don't want the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> we were having some good natured fun there. Right. You, a you had ribbing. to bring it to a whole nother level there, Bill. Chest avalanche, and he had to make it damn funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be honest. There was a, that was a couple of gems it, right there. It could be the line of the it day. It really was. Bill Burr, everybody, MySpace. <laughs> All right, hey, uh, we're running out of show, so why don't we get right? Oh, Twitchells, you got an announcement today? <laughs> oh, t- All right. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, a couple of days ago, MTV called me, and you know the show uh, True Life on uh, MTV? Yeah, I'm blah, blah, and I'm living with blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. True Life, I'm obese. True Life, yada, yada. True Life, I'm a teenage <laughs> prostitute. Exactly. Well, yeah, they're doing yeah, an upcoming episode one. on uh, Tourette's, and they're uh, going to profile me in that episode. They're going to be in the studio here on Friday, follow me around. So that means you're assuming that you're going to be back in the studio next Friday. <laughs> oh, according to Ben. Man, this, this guy has found a way to stretch out his appearances on our show. How do we say no to MTV? So I guess next week, uh, Twitchell's a big A in studio once again to do the news. Yeah, the Toretti's actually smart. And then I think it ends with MTV. Then we rest you guys for a little while. I mean, come on. I bet they film Herky Jerky Ben thinking he's the guy with the Rets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Herky Jerky producer. <laughs> yeah, we have to tell MTV no, it's, no, it's that him. guy. <laughs> Get the cameras on him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, they listen. do another bear is loose in our studios story when they look at Steve. They're going to kill us. Uh, the affiliates are going to kill us. Yeah. We're going to go a little late today because Big A and Twitchell's got to do the news before we get out of here, okay? Quickly. So why don't we start? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Week in Review with Big A and Twitchell's. Take it away, boys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. He has a problem with ST words, by the way. <laughs> Big A has I noticed that. By the way. He has problems with everything, but he's got problems he's gonna with He's going to pass the... out one of these times. <laughs> I know. His whole forehead is scrunched. Up the presses, folks. It's time for the news with Big With me, Big A. And me, Louis Twitchell Santani. The uh, CJ Star was fired this week for threatening arrival. Faster, faster. We, we, we're running out of time. And daughter on the air. The Hunt <laughs> was a new flow for DJ's star, <laughs> who was a rating standout for Power 105. Star's program syndicated, syndicated to 11 stations. <laughs> Opt airing on Wednesday. Chest avalanche. Har stupidly <laughs> stated that he wanted to stalk uh, uh, Envy's four-year-old daughter. Har's comments startled Envy's wife, who stood in front of the media demanding Star <laughs> face criminal charges. I like how he's doing the Elvis leg shake. Oh, I know. Star <laughs> apologized oh. yesterday, stating oh. that he never intended to hurt the members of DJ Envy's family. Oh, God, you can breathe. Isn't that fun how his oh. thumb twitching looks just like the video of Pal Talk that we saw? <laughs> <laughs> American Idol sent rocker Chris Doherty home Wednesday night, but Doherty's fans aren't quite ready to let him go. <laughs> oh. 
At least one petition with more than 16,000 names attached is calling for a recount of the American Idol votes. There are... <laughs> there are numerous emails and bulletin boards posted uh, posts claiming that the voters who dialed the first of Doherty's two phone numbers were greeted by a caller for voting for her. Uh, oh, wait, I totally skipped. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Graded by a recorded message, <laughs> message from a from idol singer Catherine Mc, uh, McPhee thanking the call the for voting. For her. <laughs> One fan said they had another voting mess up. When I called to vote for Chris, Catherine says thanks for voting for me. I thought I dialed the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> So I tried again to hear Catherine again. People were trying to vote for Chris, not Catherine. By the way, by the way, Chris from New Jersey, Big A looks like like Grimace from McDonald's. <laughs> All right, with that, go ahead, Big A. Hurry up, we really got to get out of here. Yeah, piss off a lot of people. As fast as you can, Big A. Let her rip. Let her rip. Oh, Told Lisa the place station three was finally set to the past week at the E three conference in LA. Hurry up. There was also Hurry, players. hurry, hurry, hurry. Echo of shock as five hundred and ninety nine dollars gets you a fully <laughs> PlayStation three with sixty gigs of storage and four hundred ninety nine get you a PlayStation three with twenty gigs of storage. Both are memory stick compatible. Does he have an Running echo now? Ten eighty. I resolution is a plus. I've uh, uh, yet uh, not a standard uh, for most games. Till launch. Tony plays all the questions for Stagger into stars on launch day. So some announced titles include Motor Storm and an untitled Fox. <laughs> Oh, project. You, you put Rockstar in there for the hell of it, you asses. <laughs> Revelations that the government collected the phone records of millions of Americans touch off, uh, touched off a political firestorm Thursday, Ugh. prompting calls for a con congressional investigation and fueling opposition to President Bush's choice for CIA <laughs> director. At last three companies, AT&T, Verizon, Please. and Bell... <laughs> <laughs> Bell South turned over call records for ten millions, uh, for tens of millions of their customers to the National Security Agency as part of the Bush administration's war on terrorism. Another company, Denver-based Quest, refused to cooperate because it's questioned the legit the legal the legality of the government program. Big A, right to it. Oh no. And now, time for the talk report. Inflation fears started a, a startling steep decline in the stock market on Thursday. A statement from the Federal Reserve stating that they would. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't have a mic. Of Mine on. course you don't. Mine is on. Well, uh, welcome to the second half of the ONA experience on XM Satellite Radio. We've just left the uh, broadcast facilities of Free FM in New York. like Marvin Hagler. Yes. He's got his uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. He's got his fight face on, and uh, we are walking to uh, where are we going? RCS. Well, this is what we do today. Hey, Opie's mic is back. This is what we we do today. We usually walk this way. Yeah. But today we walk this way. Now we go to look what we do now. Look at we keep them guessing. Now how uh, how do the mics work going this way? I know we're going further away from our antennae. We're just going to broadcast until the mics uh, cut out. Until the mics crap out. Right. Hey, Bill, by the way, you can say fuck now. Oh, I can? Oh, thank yeah. God. Hey, Opie, any, any of you guys fans in shape? 
This is just <laughs> no. We we brought that up before. Um, not a one. And they're not good about hiding. Look at this guy. You got to have a longer shirt, man. That's you Bam. A longer shirt. Yeah, it's Bam. You're right down slacks. to the shoes. <laughs> you're gonna have to add an uh, an X. Oh, onto yeah. your wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're about two X's shy on that. I guess that's right. Your navel is peeking out from underneath your Oxford. Oh. Bill, you bring up a good point, though, because uh, Jimmy and I were in Boston for the Dane Cook HBO taping. Uh-huh. And Jimmy and I are looking around I heard going, some people showed up for that. Yeah, just a few. Two sold-out shows at the, the Boston Garden in one Ooh, night. He did 38,000 people in one night. But we're looking around. It's all college kids in shape, hot chicks. We do this walk every day with... Uh, Quite frankly, uh, slobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got Horrid. the Paris Hilton crowd, man. Anyway. i got to start opening for him. What do you think of the, the show today, Bill? Isn't that weird? I, th- I thought it was lovely. Isn't you, it weird you, doing I, that? I didn't like how you tried to bait Big A into fucking strangling me to death. <laughs> that was really a nervous tension there. I had to bring up... I felt like, what's his face? Like, uh, what's, what's that guy's name in uh, Scarface? When would uh, Tony bust him? I'm the worst. You the are the worst. You don't remember that? Nice movie reference. Yeah, I remember hey, the movie. Remember the guy who was in <laughs> right. the thing and that fucking uh, just the worst. Remember the guy in Frank. Uh, that was pissed off in Scarface? Yeah. Oh, Frank. <laughs> the guy who said fuck in yeah. Scarface. I, hey, I Frank. felt like, uh, forget it. I'm not going to shoot you, Frank. Hey, Manny, shoot this piece of shit. Yeah, yeah that scene. That's that what guy. I felt like because I'm sitting there going, come on, big A. Isn't it all about just selling each other out on that show? It's great. I like how you dropped the F bomb. That was good. That's going to be on the dump sheet. We got to have a fine for that, man. I'm telling you. They're you telling us to have... slow down. Slow down? Why? Yeah, because the mics are going to cut out right up at uh, that next light, I guess. Oh. Uh, that right. stinks. Nothing's I thought we really... could get all the way to Madison. We can. We can? No? This kid with Where this dirty O and A shirt. Did you just have a tuna fish sub? What the fuck is on the front <laughs> that of that is thing? Filthy. Yeah, what's on the front of your shirt, sir? Looks like he's taking you a filming cum us. Shot. You filming us. Did you, did you just finish a basement? Is that cocking? What's up, bro? A bird shit on you. No, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> who shit all over your shirt? Ah, uh, it's paint. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure it is. Ah, uh, it's paint. Paint. I swear. All right, John Wayne paint. Casey. It's paint. It's still moving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for adding to the program. That was terrific. That was riveting hey, radio. Hey, Big I got, a, I got a nose for it. Big A, what do you think of your appearance today? <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse, but not too bad. I'm liking Big A with the scruff. He's got a little George Michael thing going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm liking it. George Michael. Twitchells is smoking a cigarette. Wow. And he's going to be on, uh, I guess MTV is going to be on the program Friday filming Twitchells. So, and, uh, of course, the ONA pest making Twitchells jump as he tries to smoke a cigarette. All right, let's continue. This is just so exciting today. We're heading yeah. to RCS. Uh, I think there's a lot more excitement when we walk the other way. For some way, this direction, not as exciting. Well, we confused everybody because we pick up uh, people on the way. Yeah. The other way. Yes. Did you steal those shoes from a lesbian? Oh, what's wrong with my shoes? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong? What did I do now you? Gotta look I, at I don't Bill's know. Shoes. Look at man. I, if, you, we, if we were walking the other way, if we took the short way to XM, that comment never would have happened. Sorry if, right. I, sorry if I can't wear black Reeboks from 1987. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These Air Force Ones. What Ooh, are you talking about? Snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, they look just oh, like Oh, hey, that. we're doing a little Yo Mama here. Yo Mama. <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh, damn. damn Opie just no, got me. Look at Stalker Patty just comes in out of nowhere. Patty's Hello. ass is Hi so there. fat. <laughs> Hi. You could put a billboard on the back like a motherfucking bus. Yeah. Oh, oh you can <laughs> What? Soccer Patty's pussy is still so tight. <laughs> How tight is it? <laughs> you know she has a tight pussy, sir? Oh, Jesus. Sir? All right. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, stop it. Patty, when are you just going to give it up? Yeah. You know what's funny? When you finally lose your virginity, it's going to be like right here, like on the sidewalk. It's just going to be some animalistic... A, a rape? Insane, yeah. I don't think so. I don't, Patty. I don't think so. I, I haven't seen you in the light. What's going on in your chin? What do you mean? Turn your head. Or lip. And no, no, don't move. Move your hand. Are move you trying hand. to grow a goatee like me? Are you growing a beard, <laughs> no, Patty? No, would you stop? 
You're good. going through menopause. I think those hormones are starting to screw up. You, you have a hair. Wow, a few of them, and they're very long. Patty, one is curling. No. Yes, you need to shave. Oh, excuse oh, me, so sir. So. Businessman coming through. Yeah, your life is so important. <laughs> Dick. Here they are. Right, sir. We are kind of Come on, man. You know, this is going to have like to tourists... see my gynecologist. What? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, let's see who will be the angriest person. That woman is really angry right there. That is an angry, angry woman. Lady. Angry lady. Angry lady. Angry. Ooh, ooh, I'm mad. I'm walking ooh. here. Ooh, I'm Isn't mad. Uh, she, we are really making it inconvenient for people. We've no, taken up like, the entire corner of the sidewalk. We're like a bunch of people from, like, Wisconsin who visit Times Square, and they all come out in a big group, start looking up at buildings. Just, and you got to get somewhere <laughs> wow. and walk through them. Right. We are really being pains in yeah. the asses. We're acting like tourists right we now. We stink. <laughs> yes, someone mouth off to this black guy. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus. Yeah. No, hey, where are we going go again? RCS is uh, uh, 56th or 55th? We got to walk another 56th block. 56th in uh, Madison. I know. They're telling us to stall and stay on this corner for a minute because they're checking mics at RCS. Fleet, uh -oh. yes, you want to talk. No, I wanted. I had a good line, but they wouldn't let me on. I, I was going to say for Patty, you could play a game of your pussy is so dead. Oh my God! Can so, can okay. vehicles Car just crash. crash somewhere? Can a cab yeah. hit a bus and skid before it so we can at least have the sound effect? I actually gave him that line because I knew it would bomb, and he got, we went and used it. Yeah, because you knew it would bomb. That's why it was all a plan, wasn't it? Let's cross the street and then we'll hang out on that corner right, for a minute or let's two. Let's mess up that corner. All right, let's uh, move on here. We're gonna cross the street now. Hey, Bill, how are you? You see that guy? That guy thinks the depression is still going. <laughs> you know, it's funny because we have mics. I'm not even concerned about, like, not jaywalking. Yeah, you don't have a, to adhere to any laws when you have a microphone for some reason. Exactly. You can just walk. Is that Orny Adams? Orny! Excuse me, sir. <laughs> That's a good visual, I by the way. I thought that was Orny Adams, right? <laughs> From uh, Comedian with uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Yes. I like doing uh, visual jokes on the radio. So what are we doing now? I don't know, Patty's... Pay somebody uh, 20 bucks to lick that uh, phone. Oh, oh uh. <laughs> Pull out the 20, man. We got people oh, here what, that'll the do The earpiece or the mouthpiece? Equally as disgusting. Do I really want to see that? I don't think so. The first guy to fuck Patty. Patty, Patty, let me in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to have to do some kind of waxing or something, Patty. Man. You're getting like uh, old lady pubes on your chin. What? But She's you're getting the again. pubes. What? Patty, have you looked? Have you seen you got a little beard thing going? Have you noticed? <laughs> have you? Well, uh, it's not my fault. Well, right, Patty, it's your I'm going to do you a favor. Stand still. You're going still. through menopause no, and you're here. a virgin. Come here. Stand still. I'm just going to pull the one that's pull really long. Pull the one out. Patty, let come her here, pull that here. hair out. Come here. I, I swear it won't hurt wall. you. Someone just punch her in the fucking face. I swear it won't hurt uh, you. Pin her this, against the wall. No, this... Patty, come here. Patty. We're doing... I swear to God. Oh, this is good. Right, this go is ahead, good to do in public. Patty, seriously. Let me just pull the one. Move your hand. Yeah, make sure you videotape it. Just the one. Just the one. This is called facial rape. Punch you in the stomach. This is facial rape live on FM. <laughs> this looks great for all the people in suits trying to go to work. Hey, come here, come here. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. It's just one. It's just one. It's just one. Nothing to see here. Patty, nothing to see here. Don't make me fucking kill you. Nothing to see here. I, I'm gonna be careful. Watch Stop out. Stop pointing that gun in my dad. All right, wait, wait. Ready? Ready? Wait, wait. It's really long. Stop, God, stop, stop, stop. Please stop. <laughs> Get it away! Oh, Get it away! God. Get it the fuck away from me! No, don't put it on me! <laughs> See, that didn't hurt, oh. did it? That's the closest she's ever gonna get to being raped. That didn't hurt, right? Unfortunately. No, but you're crazy. Well, you got a couple more too. You yeah, got Patty. You, gotta, you like, gotta get rid of the uh, get other ones you got there. Tweezers and uh, look in the mirror every once. You want us to rip some hair out of your snatch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we continue down. Uh, where are we? 57th Street. Yeah. Passing uh, good old Tiffany, one Ooh. of the places we did the Sex for Sam contest. Oh, that's right. Yes. Wow, we should do that again. Do, do the news tease. Hey, uh -huh. look at Jake and the fat man on the right. 
A bus to death? New York City buses. We'll tell you about it at 10. <laughs> the, driver, the driver didn't look too happy. He's laughing. <laughs> he's laughing. Look at him. He's laughing. Thumbs up, right, bro? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. He's not the uh, the fan. There's one guy that drives the city bus we see every day. He uh, Yeah, and but he goes it. the other way. Yeah. Oh, you know, they got uh, what they call a schedule. Is that why? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Hey, here's a store that uh, pretty much none of the people walking with us has have ever been in. Oh, Nike? The, the Nike town. <laughs> I think some of them are working in their sweatshops, though. <laughs> Good old Nike town. All there right. is a guy out just smoking a butt. Can't do that inside anymore. And... Uh, uh, we are here at Turno Corner. Oh, uh, yeah, this is where we make the right to get to RCS, I guess. Why does this jackass have his convertible top down? Because he's trying to be cool. Bill, go ask him. Yeah, why? Go ask him. Is it broken? Go ask him. You want me to ask that guy? All right. I got a microphone, which means he can't he's run me picking, over. He's picking Excuse his me, nose. Sir? <laughs> sir? Would you like to be interviewed? Why do you have your top down with this weather like this? It's cooler? You're not concerned about the rain at all? I don't see it coming yet. When was the last time you cheated on your wife? <laughs> he's, huh? He's talking back to you. Uh, What's that? The light screen. Wait, he's pissed. Listen. When was the last time you cheated on your girlfriend? Uh, week Tuesday. <laughs> uh, and he speeds off, hit, hit something, and die. Hey, Bill, he got you. He got he you, sure Bill. He sure showed you, Bill. Uh, Yes, he did. That's that's like how we left Vietnam. You just <laughs> declare victory and you leave. Bill, wasn't he a little too pissed at your question to not have cheated on his wife? Absolutely. I you think want me he's to say cheating his license on his wife. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. might as well. Tell him what his car was. I, I believe it was a blue Beamer convertible. <laughs> license plate. Ah, oh, we should have gone up and said we were from that show, Cheaters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well... I would be horrified if I was in a car seeing this mess walk down the street. Well, we are at Madison Avenue now and uh, 57th. What do we got to cut down to? Uh... Oh, look at this. Can you tell him to stop putting steroids into his cabs? <laughs> we got a guy with a sign. ONA, I will do anything for tool oh, tickets. Oh, wow. What's up, dude? Big fan, guys. I will do anything for tool tickets. Anything. All right. All right. Anything, oh, well, let's get him to do something right now. What? Huh? Like the payphone. How about, uh, well, we're going right over there. As soon as we turn the corner, we're going to lose the mics. How about, hey, Patty? Patty, you find him attractive? How about you make out with him? Would you have sex with No Filter Paul's wife? He's not the right color, man. He's not the right color. Anthony, we got a little something we could do here for tool tickets. I'm thinking, um, if. Lee, how about I'm thinking if Patty was into it. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What? You guys, you guys converted me. I was listening to well, the story. show of solidarity, I smash your serious. Can I smash that for tool tickets? Absolutely. All right. All right, there's his serious unit. He has an XM MiFi as well, by the okay. way. Okay. Wait, why did you have this? I never, I didn't know you guys were on XM, and then I stumbled out onto you guys on Direct TV, and I, I was like, like dude, so much better than Howard. <laughs> Way funnier. I was like, fuck Howard, dude. <laughs> I listen to him now to fucking laugh at him in his fucking hole. Well, you're not going to be li listening to him anymore. There it is. Watch yourselves. Move Watch out your of eyes. the way. He's sacrificing his serious satellite radio right now. Right sm straight down. Straight down into the ground. Here it is. There's a very... Oh! Holy shit. You ever see a fucking radio come apart like that? There's a... Uh, it almost hit a lady in the head. <laughs> it's so big. Uh, Anthony, you better watch out for Lee Marvin over here, the security. No. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Right, wow. No, no, not good. Oh, not good. Oh, holy not good. Well. He threw Walking it in the away. middle of 57. Walking seven. away. All right. All right, well. Hey, hey uh, Ben, where are you? Make sure he gets tool tickets. What's your name, buddy? Yeah. Dan from Jersey. Dan, you got tool tickets. Uh, yeah. Talk to Ben. He'll yeah, uh, Ben will hook you up. Yeah, they'll be in the mail. Ben? Just wait for Thanks him. Let's do Volcano <laughs> Records for the tickets. Hey, fuck serious. All right, well, 
And your unit's in the middle of the street getting run over like crazy. That's great. We're going to broadcast until we lose the signal, which will be any second. We're going to be at RCS Experience. It's right over there, 56th and Madison. If you want to stop on by, we'll do another hour, hour and a half of radio for everybody. And we'll say hi and all that crap, okay? Absolutely. So this was, this has been a pretty good walkover. We have fun. It started out over. a little slow, but it picked up. I like it. <laughs> all right. Uh, are we up there? Well, that she should... almost killed somebody with the yeah. uh, serious radio. That was radio. bad. That should hold those fuckers for a while. I don't know. Are we still on the air? Oh, you, you got the... Uh... Jeez. Are we on the air? We are. Hello. I hear We're things. Here. What's up? I hear things in my head. I hear they're playing the rage, but I, do you hear the rage against the machine in your headphones? I don't know if I'm hearing it in my headphones. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I'm hearing it in my headphones. We are live. Hi, everybody. Hi, RXM audience. Where's my volume control? Wow, that just got loud. Oh, God. Can you turn me up, Anthony. Hello, hello, hello. There you go. Welcome to the second half of the Opie and Anthony show, exclusively on XM Satellite Radio. Yes. Thank you. We are broadcasting live at uh, RCS 56th and Madison here in Manhattan. Bill uh, Burr is with us. Yes, thank so, God. Billy Burr is with us. I know what the problem Bill. is. I can only hear in one headphone. Is that it? Why? I don't know. Is it your plug? Let me try your jack. Let me jack you. What? Oh, wait. It says mono. Now Ooh. I can't hear anything. Now I hear Thanks. one headphone. No, uh, push it out. Uh, pull it out again. Yeah, pull, pull it out. Pull it out. I'm pulling it push out. Push it back in. Oh, I'll push it in for you, Opie. Pull it out. Pull it out. Push it in. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's great. Hold on. If you put it in halfway, it works perfectly. <laughs> How's Right there. Leave it right there. Now I can hear everybody. Hey, there you go. That's all you Beautiful. need. All right. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. All right. We're ready to broadcast now. Now you got to turn me up because it's tinny. I'm so glad they checked all this before we got here. But come on, man, with these Monday night football headsets they gave us. <laughs> How's that? Uh, it's really tinny. Turn me up a little more. All right, but now if you push it all the way in, I'm going to go deaf. This is beautiful. No surprise, though, to be honest. Got to take the things off whenever anybody adjusts it. My dream is to actually go to a live broadcast and everything works perfectly as soon as we start. Still don't have phones up, so we'll just wing it until the phones are ready to go. Yeah, we'll we'll make like nobody is uh, watching either. Oh yeah, that's my goal today is to not even acknowledge uh, anybody here. Yeah, I want to do our show like we were at the studio. It looks like Fight Club out here, doesn't it? <laughs> Fight Club. Because then First this is why. About Fight Club is we don't mention where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I don't acknowledge anybody. Yeah. Because the second you turn and look, watch. Watch. They're pointing and talking. Do you realize that we're trying to broadcast... What are you pointing at? Pat's van. Okay. Wow. A wireless mic. Is Holy here? Jesus, Pat's van. The second we look at the crowd, they start talking to you, pointing, but calling you over. Do you realize we're doing a show? Like, no one ever notices that. Right. You, sound, you sound like me at the DC Improv about just about yelling at your audience. Stuff. Chastising I'll them. talk to you after the show. Just after let me do show. my jokes. We're doing a show. <laughs> I don't care how lousy it is. It's ours. We're just trying to get through this dude it. looks like a Muppet. <laughs> hey, you uh, want Fraggle Rock? <laughs> it's, it's Flea. Hi, Flea. Why would the wireless mic work? Opie, of course it doesn't. Holy shit. It's not supposed right, to work. listen. The wireless mic's not working. Uh, we need phones to broadcast. Let me try this. Quiet. Ow! All right, don't use that at all. That is so loud in the headphones, the uh, instant replay. So you won't be hearing any of that. But no phones, no that. All right, welcome. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Watch Anthony Drink Club Soda Show. That's right. That's all we're going to do. 
Pat Fibonacci should be upstairs in a few minutes. Like I'm kidding. <laughs> Is the wireless mic working now? Yes. All right. Oh, I hope it's not too loud. Danny? Well, they said it worked, but I don't hear anything. I don't hear. But we can't tell what they're hearing. It's or, a good-looking crowd, though. I just tried that one. Yeah, they're not. Uh, I'm not sure what we're hearing through our headphones is what they're getting at the station. So he could very well be on the air, but who knows? Danny, was that a free T-shirt, or did you really find that funny? It's from Napoleon Dynamite. That mic's not working. So relevant. That one might. It's from Napoleon Dynamite. Do you have I saw a, that movie? And do you I have a vote for that. Pedro? Uh, no, I don't. Too? Those are hip to wear. You've noticed I only have about four T-shirts, so give I, me, I know. Give me some slack, would you? His other ones that keep on trucking. Okay. Tank top. Where are you? You should be giving uh, T-shirts to these guys. You kind of give your your hand-me-downs to the uh, interns and staff. <laughs> I do have some good. I know you gave you, you gave some pants to Travis during your anorexic phase of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis is now. I got an echo. Where's the echo coming from? Opie's gonna throw that down, and it won't work anymore. Yeah, we were we were getting an echo, but we're not anymore. I'm just gonna look out the window. Hey. It's the Opie and Anthony Opie look out the window. Anthony drink his club soda. Bill Burr sit there uncomfortable show. This is what it's like to do a nooner. Is it? In, yeah. A meeting. This is what it's like. Look at him. It must be the same as a stripper. Like we were talking about the daytime strippers at the strip clubs to oh, go yeah, in the worst. in the afternoon when it's still light out. This is the same thing. You get the same crowd. <laughs> And, you know what? That uh, reminds me really of a little works. story. Oh, okay. Considering Bill? we lost a third of the show. We lost our uh, first mic. Uh, I was up in Montreal mm -hmm. doing the Montreal Comedy Festival. It was like two other comedians. And, you know, we're on St. Catherine Street. It's about one in the afternoon. Sure. Why not go to a strip club? Why not? So we came walking in right as the place was opening. There was nobody on stage. And we were just, we just were the first people in there. And we go... Where, where are your dancers? And the guy just points over to this one out of shape nightmare sitting at the bar, and she just kind of waves her fingers <laughs> at us. you the toodaloo wave. Yeah, and we just went like, okay. And we just turned around and walked <laughs> out. Just That's added gotta, to her humiliation. It's got to make her feel good. Yeah. I've walked into bars, though, uh, uh, strip clubs, uh, very early like that. Check. Like that, Check. And they still Check. make you pay Check. like one, two, $8 three. for a bottle Check. of Bud Check. even before the girls start Check. dancing. One, two, three. Oh, and the girls so still actually like hot, Check. too. Yeah. Check. One, two, Just three. The, uh, Check. 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 One, two, three. Check. The check, check one two three two. Show. Uh oh. Two two I'm, I'm check. Get, I'm getting the feeling that these one, are going to start three, check back. Check check. I'm turning check. my headphones down. This is good. This is like a uh, mic check show. You never get that really. <laughs> Only on XM Satellite Radio will you get a show from beginning to end of people checking their equipment. Isn't that good? Big A should have checked his equipment before he put it on camera. You know, you can't do the whole show without a little humor and uh, degradation of people that have degraded themselves to the point of no return. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, see, everyone's got a Big A joke. I heard never let the little things bother you. All right, Big A. Um, Big A, man. I mean, like, there wasn't enough humiliation in the man's life. It's just like, this man is like, he's like a saint. There's like no, 50, he's not. There's like 50 people idiot. out there with no embarrassment because he took it off. Oh, he's like a... Uh, he balances the universe. You know what they call... Remember this... Uh, the Remember, like I was around during the time. Remember the Sin Eaters? <laughs> oh, <laughs> where you would, There were these people called Sin Eaters. And what they would do is cover uh, the dead person with food stuff. And the Sin Eater would come in and eat the food. And that would put the sins from that person into... The, the living person that's the sin eater and then the person can go to heaven sin free uh, that's that way that's back yeah you are it was one of the first talkies Bill you are a dignity <laughs> eater <laughs> he really is you, you're a dignity eater uh, where you you know you take other people's um, you know lack in, of dignity and embarrassment and put it into yourself and uh, it seems to be working well for you the uh now, now, you fell for that whole gag, and I don't know how you could have picked a girl from an ONA fan room not knowing that it could have been some kind of setup. If you met her in, you know, 
chicks who want to bang guys with no dick. Let's see that. It would have been fine. Like oh. then, then you would have gone. All right, all right. But, but you went in. It was an O and A fan room. You got to know everyone in there is looking to maybe get one over on somebody. Oh, she was a fat, ugly whore. That's where. Oh, she was a fat, ugly whore. So you. <laughs> that's why he couldn't get a ru- look at him. He's putting down the girl who never cammed up, <laughs> saying she was a fat, ugly whore, and that's why he couldn't get uh, a rod going. Wow. All right. Well, I, I just, I'm just warning you that you know there's danger like that. You don't know when you're in an O and A fan room that you're probably going to get screwed over. What was, what was going through your mind? That you just, were you just like, whoa, 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 why, why me? Or why, like, why again? <laughs> why, again? why still? <laughs> why? It's it just like, how many? How many times? Why does he continue to curse me? That God, God, you. St- I mean, I think you know when, when he when 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 this is all over, he goes to wherever the hell you go. I think he has the right to have a little bit of an attitude. Just a little. Yeah. 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 He You're gonna do that again? Walk, he could walk up to God no. and be like, "What? Yeah, what? 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 What do you want from me now?" I bet God when he make eye contact, be like, "Ah, sorry about that." I really did this guy yeah. over. Oh man! Here Tell he him comes. I'm not here. Here he comes. <laughs> Jesus, right. can you just take this one? <laughs> Handle this one because I can't even look at this guy. <laughs> Dad, you uh, always do this. <laughs> <laughs> you now you're not gonna do this again. What if you were in another room with a whole nother account? Let's see. Make a whole nother account where your name is like Big B. <laughs> and no one knows who you are. No, you, you pick a whole new name. You disguise you, your voice. You never go into the Opie and Anthony room. <laughs> yeah, disguise your voice. <laughs> your voice. <laughs> do like, you know what you do? Do like what Arnold did in uh, True Lies, where you have the tape recorder. Now, take off your clothes. Do it slowly. Remember that? He had that? Instead of, you know, I ah, take your clothes off. Well, he well, used the French guy. Do it slowly, sensually. Anthony, Bill's on to something. Let's hear uh, Big A try to disguise his voice. Yeah, go ahead. Disguise your voice. Do an imitation. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll close our eyes. Yeah. We'll close, you close your eyes. You think it's the real person. You know, I'd play the clip, but my ears would get blown out. Big A holds tension in his forehead. It Look certainly at it. does. The vein oh. starts coming out. Come on, man. Along with some pythons. Come on, Big A. Disguise your voice for everybody. Yeah, disguise your voice. Do your best job at disguising your voice. He really has a jugular right in the middle of his forehead. Oh, don't he? hit the instant replay. Oh, my God. It's going to... It's going to... Okay, try one. Try one. I'll take my headphones off. Go ahead. It's Friday! Friday! It's Friday! That is so distorted. Wow. I can't wait to do a live broadcast for CBS because I'm sure they'll have everything right. Oh for my us. God! There'll be a CBS truck outside, a big boom. They'll have satellite dishes. Everything will be working uh, perfectly. Um, big Age working. Yeah, on Big Age. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear an, an imp- it doesn't have to be an impression of anybody, but just something that you feel does not sound like your voice. I'm not criticizing you, but how about a Jackie Gleason? Yeah. Come on, Big A. And away my penis goes. Just ho- anything. I was hoping people were guessing that he was shaped like him. Right. He's trying to, he's trying to talk. He's, yeah, Big A, any, any voice but your own. Go ahead. I can't really think of anything on top of my head. But, <laughs> but just do, just voice. do an English accent. Uh, How about a deeper voice? Yeah, deep, uh, deep. Voice. Imitate like Frenchy, maybe. You stupid faggot. Yeah, do that. Uh, we instantly, know, we instantly know it's him. Oh my God! Wow, we instantly know because everything's. How about a, su- a southern accent? Ah, southern yeah, accent. Southern accent. There How about go. just say like, "Hey, y'all." How you doing? Come back yeah. Uh, y'all come back real soon now. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we wonder why there's 30 people here. <laughs> you conjured up a southern accent. That sounded nothing like a southern accent. That was... 
That was south of 56th Street. All right, can you pass That's about as south as you got, and I could see it right there. <laughs> <laughs> can we pass the mic to somebody? Uh, Pat, do you have anything to say? No filter Oh, call, Pat what? from Monaki is here, yes. Yeah. One of our uh, favorites. Oh! Looking shiny oh, as ever. How are you doing? He is the shiniest human being. You are you are shinier than uh, the uh, T2000. He seems to have road rash. Did you step out of a bus? Li- liquid blubber. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, liquid blubber. I gotta tell you, you're you're wearing my brother's brand new T-shirt. Why yes, I am. And the logo looks so great on a normal size shirt. It's so small on that. Doesn't it look tiny? It looks like just a tiny little. I did thing. throw it in the dryer. How many, how many XLs do you have to there, Pat? I believe it's uh. Quattro. Quattro. Four. Four XL? Yes. Yeah, the noise. Right. Oh, Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little twitch going to him, too. Well, he always, it's that whole. It's like a Tom Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like an Edward G. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> There's 20 different characters he could be with the same act. Hey. <laughs> 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 Great. Yeah, I see your uh, your van. Yeah. Uh, is that a legal parking spot? Uh, yes, it is. Are you I'm, kidding me? I uh, put money in the old uh, meter, and it's uh, good for an hour. <laughs> no standing, any time. Commercial vehicle. Uh, oh. God bless. I'm delivering myself. All right, listen. Uh, before we continue, we're broadcasting from RCS 56. Before we start. Yeah, before we start, uh, we got the dump report from the first half of the opening. Oh, show. okay. Dump we, report. <laughs> dump report. Only two, or is there more scrolling down? Only two today. Derek, hit the sweeper. Live from the Opie and Anthony Show studios, the Daily Dump Report. Oh, I can barely hear that in my headphones. All I right. Played on the air. There were uh, only two dumps today. That's all. One of them coming from Opie. Ooh. Uh, boy, this one's marginal. We got to start talking with people because uh, I, if we're going to be getting dumped out of for stuff like this, I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> 8:41 a.m. Opie, ah, fuck it. <laughs> and that was Opie commenting on Paul Simon's hairpiece. I believe that was what Paul said. Yeah. Um, and then we have, um, it, oh boy, that kind of hurt, didn't it? I hit any button because the light has to go out on every friggin' electronic device within 10 seconds. I've tried to read phone numbers off of my phone, and the light goes out uh, much too quickly. I can't see, goddammit. Uh, 8.47 a.m., Bill Burr, bad-mouthing Big A. It says, you guys want to fucking... And then I guess it continued. No, I stopped. Oh, you stopped because you uh, you, you realized, realized you right? cursed. So two dumps, one Opie, one Bill Burr. Again, uh, I skate uh, as a professional broadcaster. I know um, what uh, belongs on. Because you were too busy sucking up on that plastic Stanley Cup. Don't you badmouth uh, Joel Hollander and that Stanley Cup because that's... Oh, where is shoot. it? Shoot, it's in the garbage stuff. Did no way. <laughs> I was going to bring it home to my nephew. If you threw that away. I did throw it away, but I was going to actually take it out of the garbage. And uh, thanks for tearing down the eighth wall in front of everyone, E-Rock. I appreciate it. Jesus. What? E-Rock's like, no, no, I got it. I got it. I took it out of the garbage. Oh, and it was supposed See, to be like a big thing where everybody thought, oh. Yeah, I was supposed to get a ooh. E-Rock blew it. Were you taking Bill Burr lessons? I was going to say, yeah. You, that's my move. Bit ruining 101. See, I wanted people to think that it was still in the garbage because that, you know. Yeah, I know. It would have been dangerous. It would have been one of those things where Opie, whoa, he threw away the boss's gift, and now it's in the garbage. Someone go get it quickly. This could hurt us professionally. All right. Hey, where's Ben? Do we have stuff to give away today? Yeah, we sure hope so. We have great gifts. Well, Pat, why don't you hand the microphone to Ben Sparks? Ben there Sparks, everyone, who hates the limelight. Here ben, uh, Ben we is have uh, the new radios, the new uh, Enos. Uh, where are the new Enos? Eno. Eno. I thought it was just Eno. Eno. right behind it. How many there we got? Go. Eno. Three of them to give away. Three? What is, isn't it Eno? Yes. Eno. Did you say it? Eno? I don't know. Eno's. Eno, Mino, Mino, Mo. <laughs> hey, if we just hand them out, to... can we go home early? We just get on the air at 10. Wow, these <laughs> things rock. Look how lovely Ooh. and tiny. Ooh. Yes. No bigger than and Big A's penis. Big you A. can hear everything broadcast. Big A has asked for one due to the embarrassment he's taken this week. He's Could asked if he could get one. Uh, well, what does the crowd think? Uh, 
Oh. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna have to work for us. Yeah. How are we gonna give these away? Is that me? Is that you? Who's I, that? That might be you. No, it's not me. Everyone's so close. It could be anybody's phone. Is it? Oh, it's yours. It's Doug. Doug out. Doug is calling. Hi, Doug. Great. Doug can't be here today. Doug wants one of the radios. Oh, is that why he's calling? Of course. Why are we generals? How are we gonna get these away? I'm sorry, it's not the Are we on the back? Wait, what happened? Uh, Twitchell's uh, wants to say something. Twitchell's. I hope it's not a squawk. My ears hurt. What? I can't hear you. What? Uh, almost said. What? Almost says, what? Billy's in the barn and it's burning? Almost says, burning. Almost says, Almost says, Get the mic in. Almost says, Whoa, fight. He's choking no filter Paul as he jumps. Fight, fight. Tourette's guy in a racist limey. Almost he says, should sell bobbleheads of himself <laughs> at the end of his show. Danny, just Mike Twitchell. He, he can't hear us. Homo says, bring. Homo says, bring. Homo says, bring. Dick. Homo says, Dick Sucker goes, bring. Homo says, bring. <laughs> hey Twitchells. Y- yeah. Is that MySpace site uh, yours, really? Which one? The one that says that. Uh, oh, I only under, have one MySpace. Under account. sexuality, bye. Uh, yes. A couple yeah. of my friends. Yeah. yeah. A couple of my friends had my password, which is a big mistake. Fire. You should never do that. Yeah. Fire. Is it the password to your ass? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just wondering because uh, it says bye. You haven't changed the back though. What are you talking about? It shouldn't say bye. Check it. I think it does. Check it. Right, uh, he goes both ways, men and boys. What's it, what is this MySpace? Uh, it's MySpace.com forward slash. Forward. Louis Twitchells. I think the backslash is only used these days in like nuclear physics. It's myspace.com forward slash Lewis Twitchell, Zobi. Forward <laughs> slash. You just say slash. There it is. Slash, whatever. Slash. Does that work? Now what? Yeah, your mother. Ooh. Oh, wow. What does she do? <laughs> do any women listen to this show? Uh, no. No. This is a sausage fest again. Except, uh, oh, well, Patty. Patty's included in Sausage Fest now that she's been through menopause. She's got a bigger beard reasons. than half the guys here. One of the reasons you get into show business is for groupies. For the chicks? Yeah. There, Bill? I see your uh, MySpace site. you got a lot of girls on there. A lot of girls uh, like Bill Burr. And they uh, email you. They send you those uh, messages that you read. Comments. The uh, comments. That's it. And they, you see their pictures. A lot, of, a lot of broads. Us? There it is. There's my top eight. The front eight, the front eight right there looks just like my top eight. <laughs> they all have a, the same like look. Hey Twitchels, we can't get to your MySpace. It's being flooded right now, I'm sure. <laughs> looks like the bleachers at like a triple A game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Paw Tucket Red Sox. How do you spell Twitchels? Uh, T W. T W I T C H Twitch and then E L S Twitchels. T W I T C H E L S. All one word. Uh, Lewis Twitchels. Uh, Is that? <laughs> Let's see. You know we do these in stores because people do appreciate uh, with the store that if you uh, maybe you know some of the people here buy stuff. So if somebody wants to buy a cord and choke themselves with it, I'll pay. Please, Twitchels, anyone? You have an Ethernet cord and hang yourself with it? Where's the, uh, where is the... Uh, it's down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. Keep going. Yeah, where, did, where is it? Status. Ah, orientation. Straight. Oh, now it says straight. It didn't. Straight in the ass. Straight in the ass. All right. I told you. I told you. A lot of video. A lot of video of him and his buddy Big A. We made him buddies. Plugs. Blogs. Boy, you do too much work on that. And who's his friend? Wow, look at me. I'm top friend on his uh, list. Oh, you're only one of them. Please have that changed. Uh, Anthony's on the top eight. Cousin Ed from WISP is on the top eight. 
<laughs> Who's Scotty and Alex? Uh, Scotty and Alex is on a show uh, down near Atlantic City, New Jersey on 102.7. Uh-huh. Uh, who's Chris Shelko? Uh, Chris Shelko is on the Tonight Show with me. He's a magician. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, made, his, made his dick disappear in your ass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> call, call that a magician? That's an understatement. <laughs> no. right, nice. So we got to figure out how to give these things away. Anybody yeah. have an idea? Flea. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't have an idea. I was just I want one. I'll do anything. He doesn't have an idea. He just wants one. And then you get the I'll do anything, which we hate. Yeah. We hate We hate the I'll do anything. <laughs> well, give me something. you got to have No, we no, hate the we, give me something. We, don't have we like people that have original ideas. They come up and say, I'll do this. And we go, wow, that that is worthy. Right. They, it, well, why don't you do something across the street that everyone can see that will horrify people as they walk down the street? Wow. Why don't we start there? That is a great Great idea, Bill Burr. Uh, maybe even standing on top of uh, the old uh, transport van over there. What do you think? I'll do it. What? Uh, Philbin what Transport. Doing? Huh? What am I doing to it? You know what? you got to come up with something. I'll run. Shut up. <laughs> this is how it goes. You go out there and you do something, and we're going to be sitting here like fucking Caesar. And you look up here, when you get the thumbs up, that's when you did something worthy of it. But if you keep getting thumbs down, you don't get shit. You have to continue to humiliate yourself. You just got to stay there and humiliate yourselves in however you deem uh, necessary. Uh, yes. No shirt in, in my underwear. Wait, what? You want no shirt in your underwear, on his van. Right on the sidewalk. I Dance, no, no, no. no. You got to be on top of that blue van dancing. Jumping yes. up and down like a gorilla. No. Dancing, doing the hustle. Yeah, jumping up and down. I want you to do the hustle. Hey, and it's like American Idol. He's got to get two out of three thumbs right, up. Right, two out of three right. thumbs up. All right, we're on to something. You got to dance in your underwear above Pat from Minaki's, uh, on top of Pe uh, Pat from Minaki's van. Will the roof hold, uh, Pat? Uh, gee, I haven't tested that out. Yeah. Uh, It'll hold. Sure, I'll give it a shot. All right, who wants in? The best uh, dance in your underwear will win an inno. Wow. All right. All right, can uh, uh, Pat, is your van full right now? Uh, no, only when I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> so can they, can they get... That's a good line. He, he heckles himself. It really, he heckles himself. He really, he really does He's have no confidence. Fire with the new show, by can, the way. Can they uh, use the back of the van for their, you know, disrobing it to their undergarments? Uh, yeah, no homo. All right, no homo. He yeah. called no homo, so it's fine. Yeah. All right, who's going to go out there with them? Either Than or Danny? Because uh, I guess yeah, the, the wireless out. mic we will work. We need a wireless. All right, the wireless mic will work. This is what's going to happen. How many, how many people want in on this? We'll do this next. It's going to be a dance-off, people. All right, we got three contestants. Uh, follow Pat from Monaki outside. Ben's going to go outside with Danny. We're going to take a break. We're broadcasting live. RCS 56 in Madison. Oh, we'll be boy. here for at least another hour. We're giving away the innos. Yeah. Uh, people are buying the innos. And uh, when we get back, we got three or four contestants in their underwear dancing on top of Pat from Monaki's van. Which is parked right there, I mean right there. And we'll be able to see from our vantage point. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Your home for good, clean, wholesome family entertainment. Wow. <laughs> 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 that is such a long way to go just to say uh, it's the, uh, <laughs> it's the Opie, <laughs> and Anthony. <laughs> uh. What a God. I think we're back. Are we back? All right, we're back. It's Opie and Anthony. We are broadcasting live. RCS 56 in Madison. We'll be here for about another hour at least. You guys having a good time or what, huh? Yeah. All right. We're uh, checking out the new Innos from XM Satellite yes. Radio, the portable unit that's uh, much, much smaller than the MiFi. Yeah, and you get live satellite uh, broadcast, so you can walk around with it, listen to our show, listen to your favorite music. It's and actually smaller can... than the, the BlackBerry. Oh, hell yeah. And you can uh, record with it, too. Just throw out your other one. Right. Just toss it, just boot it. 
Right to the landfill. Boot your old one into the landfill. Make well, Bill mad because it's not environmentally sound. Tied around the sound. fucking neck of a polar bear. That way, in ten thousand years, <laughs> when aliens land, they can listen to our program on it because it'll still be in one piece, according to Bill. Right, Anthony, you're full of hate. You guys should shut down a little bit so the listeners can see. A, a uh, you know what I always say. Fuck, fuck the, the listeners. listeners. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. We have to what? All right. Well, here's the deal. We got Pat from Minocchi. I don't like outside turning my back on here. these people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, move all this. We're on the second floor. We got Ben on the corner. Ben, can we hear you yet? Do we have to plug down the phone? I don't know what we have Let's to do. Let's see if this any of this worked during that long break. All right, Ben? Yes. What's up, Ben? Oh, I can right, hear Ben. Uh, I can barely hear Ben in the headphones, by the way. We're out here on uh, we hear. Madison Avenue, lovely Madison Avenue for the Sony building, and we have Assman and Homer who are about to attempt to win the new radio. So. I thought we had three contestants. <laughs> Did we lose one of the contestants, Ben? We can get Harry. Uh, Danny, no. did we lose one of the contestants? I hear we have two. I thought we had three. All right, that's great. Uh, Danny? Danny? Yeah, we got Yeah, it. Danny, we hear you. Uh, we thought we had three contestants. Why only two now? One of them must have ran off somewhere. I thought we had three as well. Look at Danny smoking a butt. Just, it just looks like some guy that is answered a, a, a phone that just rang on the street and he picked it up. <laughs> Do we have anyone else that wants to join these guys? One, a last minute contestant, get out there. And last minute, think go. you're gonna shake your booty on Pat Fromunaki's van? Yeah, here's the deal. They gotta get in their underwear because uh, we're the gayest show on radio. Uh, well, I, this is funny, not gay. And just in case it dips into gay, no uh, we say no homo, no and then it's fine. We learned that. Just, just get uh, in their underwear and get on the. Danny looks like he's in Carlito's way. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have one girl that is willing to, you know, strip down to the, her bra and panties uh, and do uh. the exact same thing. Can you tell Pat to stop fucking dancing around, drawing attention to him? Uh, all right, here we go. gonna be down here in a minute so we got uh two more contestants heading out the uh the two contestants are in pat from Minaki's van yeah the creepy van by the way oh it doesn't like buy that 400 pound yeah. newborn all right we got the third all right the third, yeah, contestant. With the third guy all right get the third contestant in the van with the other homos the eagle has landed oh, they're, gonna go, they're gonna go in the van yeah your <laughs> idea his van just looks like something that the forensic squad should go over. Because you know there's oh, just fibers that would solve old crimes in there. Ben's asking that, that for is, IDs, by the way. Petri dish I was making sure he was, he was uh, over 18. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, that's Flea. Flea man wants to do this. Yeah. I right, get uh, it. We're ready to go? Fraggle Rock's going up there. Yeah, Ben, once you uh, introduce the first contestant, the first contestant's going to jump out of the van, jump on top of the van, and uh, he's going to dance in his underwear, and we got the crowd. It's going to be like American Idol here. The crowd will decide. And, and you okay. have does the best job. Our first contestant is, is Assman. Are you ready for the, your challenge here? Yes, I am. Tell I'm Assman. ready, willing, and able to do whatever I have to do to get the uh, heat up. Well, practice. all right, Ben, tell Assman that this uh, contest isn't just how stupid you look in your underwear. It is about dancing. He's going to have yes. to really dance uh, up there. You're going to have to really dance, groove. Went over the crowd. The crowd is judging. I'm going to shake time? my ass pretty, pretty. Okay. Shut down. I think we got okay. it. Are we ready to begin? Well, are we going to videotape this for the website? We got any uh, video or pictures or something out there? No. We got we, a band is out here filming it. Who is? General Bam is out here. He's got oh, okay. a camera. All right, here we go. All so, right, guys, uh, just to clarify, uh, he's gonna he's gonna get changed, so to speak, in the van and then pop out and hop on top, right? Right. You that's how been it's done. Already. Don't do it. They should have been in the van uh, having sex. This is the first time other. anybody's clothes have been removed willingly in that van. <laughs> oh my God! And he's just. He, he's a guy that shouldn't take his shirt off, you know. Freaking ass man jumped into that van. You see the mess. van drop to the freaking pavement. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> oh, and he's got tidy whiteys on. He has right. tidy whiteys on. This is going to be fucking Wow. Up. All right. This is for the brand new, you know. The portable oh. XM yeah. unit. This is what Tom Cruise is going to look like in 50 years. How long is it taking On top of the vehicle. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Well, yeah, good. Uh, How are you thinking uh, your van getting fouled here? Uh, I think I'm going to have to go to the nearest race crisis center. <laughs> Indoors or outdoors? Right, I think he's ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here goes Ass Man. How long does it take right. to get uh, down to your underwear? Ben's about ready to open the back of the van. No, no T-shirt either. It's Madison just got to be New York City. underwear. We present the Ass Man. Oh, oh, oh no! Wow, 
and TMS. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the horror on those people's faces. <laughs> oh, this oh, poor my lady God. just stepped out of a curtain. Oh, oh this. my oh, God. Look at this. Oh, my up. God. Dude, look at oh, those oh, man pits. Dude, we're oh. going to get arrested, man. Those look like girl oh, boobs. Those right. are girl oh, boobs that he's Holy crap. Yes, man. Oh, oh, my God. God. Look at the roof of the van. It's turning to King. He's King. He's in his ass. He's rubbing his belly. He's rubbing his nipples. Oh, my goodness. This is a horrific thing. Look at the cellulite on his leg oh, jiggling please. around. This is horrible. God, you ever see, like, fat jiggle on someone's thighs before like that? Sir, do you know what's going on here? Wow. Look at the roof. Please, the van moved. The shock absorbers can't take all his weight. Please, someone take that van out of park so it starts rolling. Wow. Oh, he's fucking up past van. Now he's jumping up and down. All right, Ben. the van. Come on, come on. What's the crowd think so far? Uh, what does the crowd think so far? Thumbs up. What do you think? Thumbs up. Yeah, they're giving him a thumbs up. The judge is here giving him three thumbs up. Get that fat piece of shit off that van. Oh, All right, I've, ben, I've seen enough. Ben, he's done. Right, he's yes. done. Yes. All right, stop, stop, stop. Now he's surfing. Who's taking pictures? Just some people, not tourists. Oh, really? Are taking pictures. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at the top of the van. It's caved in. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is cold. Look at the top of the van. He's Pat. Don't worry, that made hundreds of dollars of improvement on your van, Pat. Oh, They'll be able to pop it. Wait, wait, Pat's trying to say Less something. Less room for uh, freight now. Less room for freight. Pat's van is completely in. in. Ass man is a fucking disgrace. All right, Ass man is uh, like heading back into the van. Uh, ben, who's our next contestant? Our next contestant will be Young Flea Man here. Ready young Flea Man. Yep, a little, ready to go. A little Let's too go. skinny to be funny. Go, move this is just going to be sad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Flea Man is entering okay, the on, van. He doesn't have a hair on his, on his chest yeah. there. Not a we're we're, a we're going to get arrested for child porn. <laughs> no kidding, man. No guy, kidding. Uh, he's got his see. boxers on. Yeah, no, his underwear is clean, unlike the Ass Man. <laughs> Wait, what was wrong with Ass Man's underwear? There was just like little brown dots on certain spots oh. on the back of it. Oh, like It looked like a splatter, you know what I mean? Right, right. That's direct contact. All right. So, Yikes. Here comes our next contestant. It's going to be right, Flea for the Inno. Up. I can barely hear you, Bill. There we go. New... Contestant number two. You've been talking? Yes. I haven't heard you in 15 go? minutes. Oh, Bill, up. There we go. I swear to God, I haven't heard you in 15 minutes, Bill. You guys hear me? Oh, now no, I can hear you. What's going on here today? Ah, oh, now he's doing All right. All right. He's, uh... Yeah. Here he is. Here's Ass Man. By the, cr right, by the way, the Ready? crowd is uh, growing as we do this. Oh, he's got oh some over God. his leg. No. What has he got? Uh, oh, he's got brown. Oh, he's got brown. Oh, the crowd is he's got a, he's got doing a river dance type thing. The crowd is no. not liking this. No. 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 Wow. Wow, they don't, the crowd doesn't like him at all. That is a ridiculous dance. He looks silly. And as we speak, there's an amber alert out for him. <laughs> I think he's getting heckled. He's getting heckled. He's getting black heckled. Man's yeah. telling him he can't he's dance. One of the black guys uh, on the other side. Of the oh, he took his pants. Oh. All right, that might have turned the crowd around. He just wow. mooned everybody up here. Oh, he did it again. All right, he mooned the crowd. Jesus not good. Christ. Not good. All right, he's he went for he oh went for the desperate God. move to the try to win the you know Connor Peterson had more hair on his ass. Dance. Right. All right. Exploded river dance. All right, the crowd is growing. I gotta tell you. Not only that, the uh, Dash, Dahash. What is that? There's a museum of art right next door, and people are now watching. There's quite a crowd. Oh, collection. that's gonna be our alibi. This is a filth of art. It's art. Yeah, there's about 20. How many people? About a dozen people on the second floor across the street now, staring down at uh, Flea. Time for the judging. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Thumbs down. Ass man is in the lead. Yeah. All right. Maybe he could get a job in a gay, almost legal uh, magazine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, the crowd is really growing, man. This is never good. All right, who's, who's next? Ben, who's next? Iraq. Iraq has just stolen uh, Flea's clothes. Flea's clothes. He is now in his underwear and has no clothes. E-Rock. Business, man. 
Huh? On the streets of Madison, on the streets of New York. Wait a minute, you did terrible. The crowd thinks you suck. That's eh, normal. I'm used to it. Yeah, tell him to get dressed because he doesn't have his clothes. They were stolen. All right. No, is he, go, right, is he going for his clothes? Look, he's going to get his clothes. He's looking in the van. Wait a minute. And he's finding nothing. Okay. Oh, oh no. Mr. Palmer coming to the stage. Look, now he's walking out going. Dancer number three, Homer. This is Homer? Oh. <laughs> what? <is it? laughs> All right. As far as ridiculous goes, he's almost in the lead. What? He's doing uh, oh, the salt and pepper. Oh, man. Oh, guys. Uh, he's doing the sprinkler dance. He's doing the track. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Breaking news for Ben. What, Ben? He's doing the work. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. There's two huge in Pat's windshield. Huge cracks going up both sides. Oh, my God. Pat's windshield is cracked. <laughs> I, I, I see another fundraiser coming up. <laughs> oh, 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 now we have cops. All right, now oh, the NYPD, oh, yeah. New York's finest. We might want to sit down. We might want to sit down. Oh, my God. Does this guy know that there's a cop watching him? <laughs> there's a cop watching this. Oh, my God. Hey, leave him holding the bag. This is the Oswald moment. <laughs> yeah, he's got us a patsy. We got a patsy. A boy. My van's never going to pass inspection now. He is just talking. The, the vent in the van is now. The they don't know what the they're cops doing. are horrified and don't know how to handle this. Really, the cops the are going to their cell phones. Continuing on the front of Pat's All right, the cracks on uh, Pat from Monarchy's windshield are growing. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a fundraiser and get uh, Pat. All right, tell him, tell him to get out of there. Get, get, get yeah, Pat. Uh, judges, judges, what do you think? No. Well, I'm gonna give him a thumbs up. I'm, I'm giving a thumbs up. I think Ass Man. What do you think? Right, get off, get I'll off, give him a side, side. Ass Man, I think, still in the lead. All right, off get, the off, get off, off the van. Hey, by the way, this, what is he I know doing? Every Wait. single window Wait. in this building has heads in it, staring at ben, the ben. map. Ben, Wait, you guys, listen, listen for a second. Hold on, Danny's got something. What, Danny? I was just saying that uh, in the in the building that RCS is located in, you can see heads in every window looking down upon this map. <laughs> Everybody is staring at this atrocity. And there they go. And also, yeah. Flea Man stole Homer's clothes and ran off, so now Homer has no clothes. And here comes <laughs> the NYPD. Oh, and here come the the way. Here comes uh -oh. the NYPD. Let's uh, oh, no. let's do the play-by-play -play of uh, the arrest. Oh, this this is never good. Uh-oh, Ben. Oh, no, this is never good. <laughs> Martini Steve slipping away. Oh, uh, Ben? Fucking stunt, man. Officers aren't very happy. This is, this is legal, isn't it? <laughs> Can you hear me, Ant? Can you hear me? He's pointing up here. What's up? No, no, he's he's right. Hey, hide, hide, hide. Uh, hide everyone duck. Everyone duck. duck. Everyone duck. <laughs> Listen, you can't have this guy dancing on a van like this. <laughs> The NYPD is going to talk to us for hiding. Hi, hi officer. Hi, yeah, officer. You know Dude, your logo is right on the side of the van. Fuckhead that he is. Officer, there's cocaine in the in the uh, spare tire. The, co the spare tire is full of coke. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh, my God. Look, uh -oh. someone's explaining. Keith, the cop, is now trying to explain to the officer. There's another cop over there, by the way. Yeah. All right, get them all dressed, and uh, we had a lot of fun with that. But let's let's do something new, Opie. Let's not stretch this out until we lose our jobs. Why? This is just starting to get fun. Natalie Halloway is in the van. Natalie Halloway is in the van. She probably is. Uh, ben, what happened? Oh, uh, they're, they're uh, just, they were uh, upset with what was going on, and uh, they want us to stop immediately. They've got the complaints. Some people in the area, probably that fag with the flowers. The walk by, so. Yeah, probably. But, but Pat's van, the amount of damage to poor, poor Pat's van here, the whole windshield is completely, there's two cracks from the bottom of the windshield that chew up and go to the top on both sides. And We've ruined if you look van. in, you, see, you can see that the roof is caved in as you look in through the windshield. So it's, Pat's got some serious damage to his, uh, his hunk of shit. <laughs> I, uh, I see another fundraiser to replace Pat's windshield. Uh, I'm sure he's got glass insurance. By the way, the yeah. cops are gone. Game on. They're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the cops are uh, oh wait they're, they're pulling over with their oh, no. car oh no oh no this might not be over alright this might not be over yet they're talking to Ben Ben what are they saying Ben what are they saying Ben uh, yeah it's that guy's over there they just want to know whose van it is 
and they're determining if it's drivable at this point because of the windshield cracks. Yeah. What are they saying? Oh, Keith, yeah, he's a homo. Do you see those naked pictures of him around the place? Yeah. The cops are calling him a homo. Remember when he had a, uh, there was a picture of a thong and him in it? Oh, they're, they're the calling boy. Keith the yeah. cop a homo. There you go, straight from another officer's mouth. Keith is a kid toucher. So there you go. So, and they're going uh, and they and, and, Thank you, MIPD. And contact them is fucked up because the antenna is all out of whack now. Oh, they've stepped so. all over his antenna. They've destroyed oh, Pat's van. Oh, Who Pat. would think a couple of fat men dancing nude on a van would ruin it? Pat's uh, checking out the van. He's not happy. <laughs> My antenna's wrecked. <laughs> hey, Ben, give, uh, give Pat the phone. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk to Pat from Minaki. Uh, pa- Pat? <laughs> Pat, how's your van, man? Uh, uh... It's not going to pass inspection anytime soon. I got a giant crack to my windshield and a giant dimple on the roof. But how's your uh, uh, XM? Fix that. How's your XM antenna? Uh, it's the magnet bounced off. <laughs> so it's busted. Yeah, yeah look at all the people taking pictures of it. As long as I have my XM. You guys got to have priorities, you know. <laughs> hey, where's Keith? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Keith the cop. Keith the cop, man. Ben, hold on one second. We want to talk to Keith the cop. What's up, bro? Keith, what'd you say to the cops? Uh, it took a little schmoozy. It's gonna take a couple shots, but everything everything worked out. Yeah. Can we go with the fourth contestant? Go right ahead. Are you serious? Yeah. Right, four- ben, Ben, Ben. Uh, p- give the phone back to Ben. Are you kidding? Oh, we're pushing it. All right, uh, screw it. Ben. Ben, game yeah. on. Game on. Get our fourth right. contestant. We fourth got one contestant. This is round two here. So let's go. Wait, how many contestants we got left for the inno? Well, uh, we don't know where Flea went. He ran off with Homer's clothes. Well, he got a thumbs down. We still got anyway. Batman and Homer. Oh, wait! You took Homer's clothes, Flea. Here's your clothes, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He, he, we do round he, he stole someone else's clothes. Wait, no. How many contestants we got left? Just two. Oh, that's it. There are two guys. There, should we have a dance off and just yeah, we 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 two of them. Okay. All right, I think to decide, we need both of them to have a dance off on the roof. At the same time? Yes. Yeah, it's up to these guys. So it's up to what? Yeah. Ass man and who? My voice is. Ass man and Homer. Get track. And Homer or Homo? <laughs> homo. Ass man and Homo. Oh, yeah, it is Homo. Get ready. Let's go. Let's go. Where, where All right, this here? is for the Inno. We're broadcasting live RCS 56 in Madison. Mm, yeah, woo. Celebrating the fact that the Innos are now available. Could you tell these guys to move quickly? Like, Look just do this body. fast. Look at their bodies. They come on. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Jesus Christ. The guys are so goddamn slow. He hangs out over his fucking belt. Yeah, there you go. Ass crack. Now get, up, now get up there quick and have What's a dance off. Look at that big on your belly. It's my surgery. He got his stomach staple. Oh, that's right. I remember ass, man. He used to weigh, like, what, right, here we go. or something like that? Well, so we get round two. We dance off. And right, the end of the the hand completely. All right. All right. This is Homer. Homer is up there. Ass man's crawling up now. Uh, the weight the weight of these two should really screw up his van. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, to the people uh, the people that run Whack Bag, start the fundraiser immediately for Pat's van. Yeah, Pat's van uh, needs money. Pat's van up there is just cave. Wow. It's fucking cave. Wow. Uh, here we got some, uh, some more. Look at poor Pat. Look at this fucking unit. Jesus and Christ, he's going to kill somebody. Wow. He looks like Saddam yeah. Hussein. Apparently, he's got big nuts because they're just swaying in there. No, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I, I, Wait, I, Ben I is talking so much. I think they're gay, you know. What is Pat's well, van made of? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh my God. This man is now slapping homo's uh, ass. No homo. No homo. They're interacting with each other. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrific. Ass man and uh, Homer on top of Pat from Monaco's van. What a crowd. In just their underwear, dancing like crazy. Oh, they're doing the bump now with their butt. Uh, all right, I've seen enough. What do you think, guys? I've seen enough. Who, who gets? Let's let's let, let's let these guys decide. What do you think, guys? Uh, let's hear it for Ass Man. All right, and let's hear it for Homo. Homo doesn't really get. Uh, you guys want Ass Man? Yeah. Right. want Ass Man. Ass, ass Man is our winner. All right, try a little harder there. Uh, ben, we're done. Ass Man wins the. You know. Ass Man wins. Ass Man wins. <laughs>
Now take his clothes. Someone get his clothes. Oh my God, the roof is completely. Get the clothes. The roof is completely collapsed. They are now stealing Ass Man's clothing and running back here. Ass Man is chasing Bam around a truck. He is completely. He is in his underwear, running in circles down Madison Avenue. Who's gonna have a heart attack first? <laughs> oh, the humanity! <laughs> Where do they and go? Bam is cutting away with their clothes. So. Bam is now running toward uh, the store here. Ass Man, some, some with Ass Man's clothing. I love O and A and X M. All right, Ass Man right. loves O and A. Get your disgusting bodies in here. All I right. love you guys. Before we all get arrested. All right, there's Ass Man. Wow. Very wow. good. God. Wow. Here we go. Bravo. Wow. wow. Unbelievable competition. That was amazing. Hey, uh, I just wish they could, we, we, we need a compilation DVD of that with some sad music. Oh, absolutely it. sad music. Guys, let me go to the phones really fast here. We got uh, Russ from Autoglass Place. Russ, what's up? Hey, O and A, long time listener, first time caller. Hey, I hear your buddy needs a windshield for his uh, van there before he gets a ticket, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we destroyed yeah. the windshield. It looks like. Yeah, tell him I'll donate one to him if he wants me to. Auto oh, hey, wow. Russ, uh, where's Auto Glass? Uh, it's Ace Auto Glass out of Vernon, New Jersey. Ace Auto Glass, Vernon, New Jersey. Uh, well, yeah, get it, write that right. down. Hold on. I'm going to take the info for Pat right now. Ace Auto Glass. Vernon, New Jersey. Don't forget to get a camera phone. Vernon, we'll get the, uh, New info. Jersey. And uh, what's the number over there, bro? Yeah, I give him my cell phone number. It's nine. No, 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 because no, 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 because the <laughs> ONA pass will call like crazy. Is there a work number? Uh, they will. Uh, that's my work number. Oh, really? All right, hold yeah. on the line. Uh, one, one of our guys will uh, take the number from you. Thank Beautiful. you so much. It's Ace Auto Glass, Vernon, New Jersey. They're gonna give Pat from Monaki a new uh, windshield, so that's very nice. Yeah. Thank you, Russ. Nice hold on the line. All right, thank you. Hold on the line. All right, and we need a fundraiser. Oh, my God, this is awful. What happened? There is a class trip of what I would say are about fourth graders <laughs> on the sidewalk, and they just oh, had no. to watch that fat ass run by in his underwear. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does, does anyone have a phone down there? The teacher just uh, put both her hands up to her mouth. They're she doesn't horrified. know what to do. Oh, look at all the kids high-fiving, man. <laughs> They're laughing at watching that fat ass run across the street and now the, nothing but his and underwear. And now the teacher's trying to explain what that was, and please don't tell your mom yeah. and dad. Very funny. All right, they're they're off now. A couple so. of kids crying because of what it was jiggling in the front of his underwear. <laughs> Jesus. Here's Ass Man back up ass here. Ass Man, do you realize you just ran past children? Cool. Yeah, that's not cool. Even Ass Man has limits. Ben, grab the wireless. Ben, back up here. The best part of. Uh, is that working? I turn it up a little bit. The best part of, of uh, Ass Man just now with the kids is I'm just in there screaming, what the hell is going on? And then the, the, the chaperone say, cover your eyes, cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> cover your eyes. It never works. I was like, ew. Ass Man. Good morning. Do you have XM yet? Yes, I do. All right. Well, you're going to upgrade to an Inno, man. There you go, Ooh. my man. You the portable... Uh, Portable you XM. Won the, you know. I, I got one. It's it's just amazing. It has replaced my MiFi, to be honest with you. So there you go, Ass Man, uh, posing for the camera thighs. and his brand new Inno, huh? Look wow. Those lumpy thighs. What else happened yeah. down there, Ben? Oh, we just mortified everyone. I mean, that poor grandmother. Like, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And what the hell like, is going on? In the Sony building, there was all sorts of people looking out. And then in this building, and just now, the reaction of Ass Man yelling, taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Some black guy in a taxi went about 60 past him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> and uh, Pat's van, I mean, is really it's messed destroyed. up. It's destroyed. It's in bad shape. <laughs> look at him looking at the cracks out there. Oh, look how bad he feels. Oh. Does he know? Does he know yet that uh, a windshield is? No, he has no idea. Is he walking off to Where kill himself? Where's he walking? He's just walking aimlessly. He's shaking his head. Look at him. Oh, my Pat. I feel bad. Somebody tell him he's got a windshield. Pat. It's pretty bad. Look at that guy looking at it. I don't know what he's doing. All right. Well, someone tell Pat we got him a we, we got him a new windshield, courtesy of Ace Auto Glass, Vernon, New Poor Jersey. Pat. Don't want him to cry. And some other guy wants to give Pat a brand new XM radio. 
Ooh. All right, we'll we'll take care of his. Yeah, van. we we hook up, Pat. Actually, the van's not bad. He's a good egg. Know, it's just the wind. It's the windshield, though. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more bent. Is that screen. microphone on? Did the braces inside bend? <laughs> this is just like. I, I, it, are we I going college radio? I for an hour. But freaking Bill Burr was talking for 15 minutes, and I didn't. Yeah, I couldn't even. We hear. had no idea. <laughs> I was like, God, I'm throwing out gems here. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> right. I'm getting nothing. Back to WERS. Yeah, this is college radio at its best. Oh yeah. All right. I'm sure when we do our first broadcast for CBS, it'll be a much different story. <laughs> Hitting the parents against Absolutely. each other. Absolutely, that's again. what you have to do now. Yeah. Then maybe. Tom showed up, you said. Yeah, Tom Chusano yeah. Uh, showed up. From... All right, Pat's coming up here. We want to talk to him before we take a break. He's making his way across the street back into RCS. Yeah, we gotta let Pat know. Fifty six in Madison. Here. Get him in here. Yeah, get Pat immediately. We, we can't melt this more. Make him feel shitty. Uh, oh, well. the poor guy. All right. Shitty enough, doesn't he? Hey Keith, do you want to comment by the way, about the uh, cop saying your kids are shirt? No. Yeah. No comment. He had a cop. What did that picture? Did that picture make it all the way uh, through uh, every precincts. precinct? Which one? The one. The famous one of your party that day. <laughs> Me in the thong. In the thong. That circulated a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure it did. <laughs> they said to me as they pulled away, it hit like eight precincts in the. Uh, <laughs> so, the hey, where's Homer, by the way? Homer. There he is. We're going to give you an N.O. too, bro. Yeah, hold on. Right. Valiant effort. You made a valiant effort there, and uh, it can't go unrewarded. And who was the third contestant again? Play. Play. You get nothing. Nice and mean. When the cops came, he ran away in my pants, and I'm sitting there with my jacket, like a skirt, in front of the cops, and they're like, you know, you should be dancing with your underwear, in your underwear. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be. I'm trying to win something, damn it. All right. Where is Pat? Where's Pat? Oh, there he is. Where's Pat? Uh, Check your eyes. <laughs> Pat, you all right? What's wrong with the van? Uh, I'm fine. My van... Not so good. Uh, well, Pat, we got some good news for you. Yeah. We got a phone call from Ace Auto Glass in Vernon, New Jersey, Ooh. and they are going to donate a brand new windshield for you. Ooh. So your windshield is fixed. Yeah, someone call, the, uh, call back to Dirk and get the phone and number. And if for everyone Pat. checks under their seats, we all have windshields, everybody! Yeah. Trying to Oprah moment there. <laughs> um, no, you, you get a windshield. Oh, thank you. And now, uh, I don't know how bad is, is that the my damage car? on the roof. Uh, some kind of well, I'm going to have to uh, duck whenever I go under a bridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the complete lack of confidence. No, is it, it's not going to come down on your driving or anything, right? Uh, well, I'll find that out when I drive it. It could. Maybe an auto body place can uh, also uh, come across and have well, one of those struts. down in the back. It one time, and then they got on it again. <laughs> Nothing better than having metal bent back and forth and back and forth yeah. a few times. It doesn't eventually break on it. Yeah. Do we give oh, of course you give them the goddamn, you know. The guy sacrificed his van. Yeah, but he got a windshield. Yeah, you got a windshield. Oh, <laughs> Pat Bromonaki gets an in. Pat Bromonaki gets an in as well, yes. Pat's been a good soldier for the show for so long. Wow. All right. Shut up. Shut up. He's killing. He's killing. He is killing. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrific. I hey, tell you. are we allowed to add up bonus show we've done and subtract it from today's? I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. We got two more inos to give away. Anybody else want have something they think might be interesting for the radio flea again? What is this? A like fucking he special totally Olympics? Wait, yes. wait, why do you think why do you think he deserves that? Are you friends with him? I have no idea who this See, is. You don't understand. I'm just Flea. Flea. from Hot Springs, Arkansas. I have no All idea right. who Hot you Springs. are. Hot Springs. Hot Springs, Arkansas. I represent. There we go. A uh, Pat. Look, look, here it is. This isn't the Special Olympics. Not everyone wins. That's there has right. to be one person that loses. Even though. You're all fucking retarded. Well, we'll give him we another chance, please. Else, what is what's wrong with What do you want to try? I'll Anybody suck on Patty's up? hairy chin. No. I don't know. Uh, I can't think. <laughs> no, I, ask, ask Patty why I deserve one. If you can get Patty, if you can get Patty to French kiss you, make out Ew. with you, uh, I'll puke. How about we give one to you? 
<laughs> you guys can't even hear me. This is just turn up, Bill. How Burr. long? How what, long? Bill, yeah. what did you say? I said, how about we just give him one if he leaves? <laughs> <laughs> that would work. Uh, I'll do that. You want it? I'll leave. You are just like a whore negotiating a five dollar blowjob. You're gonna have to. I'll leave. I'll do whatever. Whatever. Have to come up with something else. Got some crap. My mama never lets me spend more than five dollars. All right, listen. We're gonna take a break. We'll figure it out. If anyone else has something they want to do for Nino, step forward and talk to Danny or one of the guys, and we'll figure it out next. We're broadcasting live from RCS for at least another half hour or so. It's uh, 56th and Madison. This sounds good to me. But I don't want to hold the headphone uh, to my uh, the mic in my mouth all the time. So make it sound like that, like this. There you go. My headphone Turn it up a little. It sounds tinny. Yeah. All right, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. It's uh, it's us. We're live in front of uh, God. It has to be, I don't know, uh, hundreds eight. of fans. <laughs> that are eight. It's uh, RCS 56 in Madison. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Yes. We greatly appreciate it, especially the guy that has no idea who we are, but he's hanging out and checking Just it out. Just decided to drop in. We have two more innos to give away, the brand-new uh, portable units from XM Satellite Radio. These things are uh, magical. They're so small and so handy, and I'm going to get blasted with feedback any minute now. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move don't your move. head. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, better. All right, good. <laughs> Uh, Big A has That's something scary. he wants to say. <laughs> Big A. Oh, I think I, uh, I should get it. Tap. 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 <laughs> yeah, you, tap, tap. Bill came up with something that's very it's absurd like he, today. He, he's got week, the Elvis shape. Got the Elvis. I'll find a new place to do it. Uh, what, what, what's wrong? What's Big A? What? Everybody, repeat after Big A. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, What's that, uh, Big A? What were you saying? Um, I thought I gave a good week of radio, and I think I should get... Uh, oh, you know, oh, really? Based on past performance? Wow. What, what, no filter, Paul? This should be good. I was saying that you guys did the week of radio, not him. We, we all volunteer because we love the show. Oh. Give him an inno anyway. I got an idea. If he can actually c- climb on top of that van. Oh, no. <laughs> My mic works. Uh, I thought my career was over. <laughs> um, I don't know. It might seem like you did a lot of work, but to me, you were just sitting around jerking off. <laughs> uh, Come on, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What, what have what you do done you for us lately? I mean, <laughs> lately, you know. Pat? Yes, uh, Pat from Monaki? The center square. My van. Look how they massacred my van. <laughs> Pat is killing today. Ah, you got to love the Pat. <laughs> uh, I hear that uh, somebody's contributing body work also to Pat's. Uh, Pat. Very good. Oh, I thought they were. Get over there. I thought they were contributing that to Pat himself. To Pat himself. <laughs> That's a lost cause. Hi. Hi. Oh, my brother owns Hi, what's your name? Stuff. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hello. I'm you the one who whore. the car. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> black. Oh, black. She All right. Loves, well, anyway, she my lo- brother she owns the She loves the black auto. cock, by the way. The, the guy that's never heard of Here, give him the mic. She likes she likes sucking on black cock, and she's married to him. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah, quite work. How would you handle black. that in your state? I'm oh, yes, kind of was. a brownish, smallish <laughs> chin, I would assume. No, big guy's a small one. Car <laughs> crash. <laughs> as she was saying. All right, sorry, um, Denise. Anyway, as was I was saying, ah. that thing go anywhere. My I'm brother sorry. owns an auto body shop in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. It's called. Finesse. <laughs> 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 it's, called it's called Finesse Auto Body in Saddlebrook, New Jersey, and he said that he will donate and fix his roof for him. Yeah. Oh, look at that, Pat. Look, it's black. What did he say? I'm black Irish. (laughs) Throwing a blow shot and he got a deal. (laughs) Wow, the generosity that comes out for Pat is just amazing. Pat, the third mic. We have two more inos. Yeah, now we got to figure out how to give him away. Look, everybody wants one. What? Give one to the glass guy and give one to the body shop. How about one for Roberto Duran? <laughs> no moss. Good visual. No moss. 
Hello, so, man. How you doing, sir? Well, good, Very good. good to Dude, have you here. Did you steal that outfit? That none of that matches. <laughs> it's my <laughs> that on it's my suit pants with a fucking. It's my work uniform. That's why. Oh, I'm a security oh. guard. Oh. Yeah, well, and the I'm denim. supposed to be at work, but I'm here. No, yeah. <laughs> What's getting robbed then? Where you're I'll trade to work? mine for Edo. How about that? Ah, uh, yeah. the old model. Yes, yeah. we remember them well. No. It was good. It's worth his time. Wait a minute. Yeah. He's got a spike coming out of the front of his face. That got looks two. kind of sharp. That's a what? Yeah, I got two spikes. Yeah. Oh, he's got yeah. another one to the side. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I thought it was a hole. So somebody slaps him, and then you got a double. Somebody pokes their fucking hand. That'll work. I'll take it for that. Uh, no. No? Yeah. no. I tried. Well, well he, I don't know. Can we turn Bill's mic back off again? You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like I'm on network pitching a show idea. Okay, we're both plumbers. Here's <laughs> <laughs> how it's going to work. Uh, yes, Big A? It, it makes no? boring radio if we just hand it over to I you. I know. It, like, we just... We about, understand if you would have if you would have said, "Hey, I'll jack on online for an inno," you'd have gotten one. Right. But you know. How about you do a sit up for an inno? Oh wow. Yeah. That's rough. All right. One. Ten. Ten. Four. <laughs> wow. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pat yelled. You better just keep a mic on Pat. He's on fire today. Yeah, Pat's on fire. He says that would be Mission Impossible Four. Yes. Mike look like. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're out of st- we're out of stance. You think here, uh, you think he could do a few sit ups now? I could try. Uh, but sit ups, man. What if he can? How about jumping Dull. jacks? Huh? Jumping jacks? I don't know if the video has been posted. Has it? No, it's fake. I can't believe what this think tank. Whoa. Fell on his ass. I stepped on my cord. Is that all it takes to entertain you, fuck? <laughs> Bill's ready to take on the whole crowd. I love it. That's why we love this guy. <laughs> all right. I don't know. I don't know what the uh, what the hell to to do as far as any more of this. Nah. There's only so many things you could do for it. We kind of really blew the load with the underwear of fucking... Just give Big A the inno. All right, Big A, you got an inno. Can you start smiling again? The sad, that was, that was really the sad desperate look was killing me. Now we can sit. Up. All right, we have one more inno to give away. Anybody else? I got an idea. All right, someone's got an idea. Please, Thank God. God. I'll trash my iPod for that. I live by Well, no. How about you smash his glasses with the iPod? All right, I'll smash his glasses with my iPod. I'll put my head under Big A's armpit for a minute. Oh. oh. That's going to that's gonna be pretty tough. Face first. Yeah. Face first, hyperventilating. Got to be worse. It's got to be worse. Yeah. I, we could use uh, Stalker Patty's snatch for something. Where's Stalker Patty? Is she still here? She left. I had to go to work, oh, she said. She had to work at Starbucks. Hey, by the way, we still are in a store, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just one matter of fact. <laughs> Denise said she'll touch Big A's cock for an inno. She just said that to me. All right, hold on. All right. Hold on. We're going to go to the phones when all else fails. Wow. We got, we got, work? We're going to go to South Carolina and say hi to uh, Candyman. Candyman. Good morning, boys. Good morning, hey, Candyman. Huh? Uh, if they want something bad enough, uh, so they got to start sucking on ass man's man boobs. If there's two of them, the one that lasts the longest can get it. Oh, now we're on to oh. something really disturbing. Gay or I, funny? I call no homo fire. Yeah, we'll call right, no homo. No homo. We'll call no homo, and we'll also say it's funny, not gay. <laughs> oh, Wait, Flea, God. are you up for the challenge? I didn't hear it. What it's is it? disgusting. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Uh, where's Ass Man? Right here. Ass Man, step forward. And where's someone else that really wants an inno, aside from uh, old hairless ass over there? Ass Man. Yes. You're, we remember you from the old days. I, I, I forgot that you were the guy that was really big. You got your stomach stapled, and you lost, what, 400 pounds, something like that? Uh, close to 300 pounds. 300 pounds. All right. Wow. I, I knew I knew you, and I was like, I, we haven't seen you in a, a very long time. Uh, we need to use your man boobs for a bit. <laughs> what, what do you want me to do? All you have to do what is... What do you want me to do? All you have to do is uh, sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Let's do it. I know there's like a couch to the left here. Can someone bring that couch over? No homo. No homo. Yeah, no homo. And, and also we're saying funny, not gay. 
All right, so we got we got to ask, man. You're you're willing to let uh, uh, two guys suckle on your man boobs? <laughs> ah, ah, look at now the reaction. Wait, wait, I got my inner already. They have to get theirs. Yeah, that's what it would be. The the one that can stay there the longest. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That is. I have a. Oh. <laughs> Who what is that? Third they nipple. Oh, he's got a third nipple. But so it's on his other right. nipple. They're going to have to do odd even for that one. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just get a third contestant. <laughs> it's like a pig. All right, here we go. We got the lounge chair. Guys, right, back up. We're rolling. Ask are you willing to help us out today? Is that from the set of Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the oldest. Yeah, it's a round orange uh, All right, guys. ottoman. Guys, this is definitely going to be a photo op. Uh, we don't have video. But have they agreed to it? Well, Flea. Flea? Wait, what? I don't know what you want me to do. Flea, would you agree to this? I don't know what it is. Uh, and Shut I know, up. I know. We're we're gonna I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Uh, who else wants to be a contestant? How about nobody? I, no. no. You still have to do, though. No, nobody else. No. Look at him. He's like, nobody else. He doesn't want because there's a potential. Yeah, the loss. potential that he might lose. Right. Two guys. Huh? You have this, two guys this, is, this is whoever can last the longest. All right. And, well, actually, because this could go on for a really long time. We have to put like a 90 second time limit on it. Uh huh. 90 seconds, and if they they last 90 seconds, then it's up to like, <laughs> then it's up to S Man to decide who did it best. Who did it better? So you can't just sit there with your mouth on it. I can't you gotta no work home. it. No homo. This no is homo. so gay. No homo. No homo. Oh. No homo. All right. What do you say, boys? What do you say? Guys, I'm back. All right, we got two guys that'll do it. All right. right. Once again, for your viewing pleasure, <laughs> Ass Man and his man boots. This is so I bad. Remember, he had his stomach stapled. He lost 300 pounds, so you can just imagine. But he's got, like, uh, breasts. It's, it's kind of better for the guys because it's almost like a woman's breast. <laughs> he looks like Johnny Weissmiller. And when you didn't have to be in shape in the 30s. He just needed that just, barrel thing going. He just sucked in your stomach. He has, like, he has boobs like Peter Griffin from Family Guy. It's going to be like that, that Stewie scene <laughs> where Stewie was sucking on. <laughs> All right. Really, really he has a bad. a nine-foot scar and no navel. Ah. He's able to uh, lick All right. his own. All right. Why don't we oh. set this up? Okay. Everybody with a camera might want to step forward. Now, uh, 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 take a seat there, uh, ass man. Now, uh, gentlemen, if you would get on, uh, next to him on either side. On your knees. Wow. Flea don't look too good. He's, he's, he's oh. kind of <laughs> turning red and Thanks looking a little nauseous. That Wait, who's, who's that again? We see him all the time. Rich, what's your name on Whackbag? Or? Uh, the Solipsist. Oh, the Solipsist. Down. <laughs> Very good. Can I just put, like, my jacket? This is just slowly developing into one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. <laughs> this is horrid. Do right. you have any horrid music to be played as a music <laughs> bit? Now, okay, on your knees now. Now, remember the, <laughs> remember the rules now. It's going to be 90 seconds of, of uh, nipple mouth contact. <laughs> now... <laughs> Whoever whoever bows out first loses, and the other person will win the inno. If you both last 90 seconds, it will be up to Ass Man who did yeah. the best job of stimulating. What? Yeah. All right. Everyone is saying they want Ass Man to be on his back. All right. Lay down, Wait, Ass Man. Ass Man has the boobs of like an 80 year old woman that they, used to be well endowed. They're gonna be under his arms. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna. Oh they go. God. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have Rich and Flea. This is awful. <laughs> All right, by the way, you know, someone is, someone's got a great idea on the phones. If Ass Man gets hard, we take his inno away. Because <laughs> he volunteered way too easily, by the way. Certainly did. If, you're, if you're popping a 10 at the end of this bit, we take your inno away. And All I right. imagine this okay. hasn't been done to him for quite some time. So oh, he's probably very hard. sensitive. Derek, if you could uh, mix in some oh. music for us. Don't misca mistake the skin <laughs> tags <laughs> under his armpit for his nipples, uh, sir, <laughs> gentlemen. Uh, All right. All right, here we go. Listen, it looks uh, like a mushroom. Oh, Derek needs to play some music. Maybe some right said Fred. I'm too sexy or something. Something, uh, yeah, that's uh, appropriate. Uh, which, the, the audience which fun do I have? How are they going to decide who gets the, uh, the dual nipple? Uh, right well. Right. I think that's been decided. 
He does. Uh, why don't you do rock, paper, scissors? No. Ma- no. You're all set? Yeah, I'm set. Yeah. All right. No, I just don't want to get that one. He Remember. Didn't want to get that one. <laughs> Remember, ass man, you guys decide who, does, who right, did it best. Who gets the third nipple? Right. I'm sure this will be in all the XM brochures all over the uh, country. Oh, yeah. No, you have to decide if they both last 90 seconds who did a better job of, of giving you the nipple lick. Look at those little boss thumbs. All right, you guys ready? This is gross. You guys ready? Horrific. You guys ready out there? Oh, I'm look at all the cameras. I'm really going to have a hard time here. I'm having a flashback to the first time I worked with you guys. Hey, where's yeah, it was that really girl fast. sucked on the, that part of Pat's toe. Pat's toe that, that was there. chopped off. Hold on. Is that mic working? Oh, sorry. What was that, uh, ass man? Where's which Ross? Yeah, can we turn up the the, the uh, wirelesses a little bit, please? The stomach looks like a water bed. <laughs> <laughs> it really is moving around a lot. Yeah. Wow. All right, here we go. It's like skin full of mercury. Here it is for the N.O., everybody. Here we go. Uh, who's the timekeeper? I got the time, I guess. Why don't you start him up, Happy Anthony? Happy place. Happy place. Happy this, place. Uh, okay. Bobbing for nipples? Bobbing for nipples. Now, remember, people, it's not only how long you stay on there, but you got to work it. As uh, you got to satisfy him, or else if you both last uh, 90 seconds, you know, the, the one that didn't do a good job is going to lose. All right, ready? Proceed. Uh, set and go. Oh, no. Ah, no oh, teeth, no, no teeth, bitch. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, he died. He's biting. Oh. Who's biting? Who's the oh. one that's oh. Right hand is biting. Rich is, ah. Rich is grabbing onto the boobs. Is that a raspberry? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. No, no taking, no taking your mouth home. off. Hey, yes, man, who's in the lead? Who's in the lead? Uh, this guy on my right is really doing a good. Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, come on. Please. Fuck it. You're not out of it, Flea. You just got to work harder. Work harder. Oh, Flea, God, you can't do this and ruin it. If you're going to oh, do it, you got to win. Oh, Come it. on, Flea. Who's checking ass for package to make sure he's not getting hard? Oh, All right. Yeah, They're staring at his package to make sure there's no movement there. <laughs> this is oh. the record. The people listening to him. Hey, 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 hey. This I is one of the worst you. moments. Of my career. Uh, we got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Hey, wait. Oh, he's rubbing his belly. Is he rubbing his stomach? Lee is now rubbing his belly. I think ah. for extra points. All right, we got... Uh, oh, my hey, God. His face. Oh, my God. Uh, this is horrible. Uh, the fucking... Uh, here we go. Horror. Ten. Hey, hey, hey. Eight. Oh, my God. Flea went to grab for his balls. Oh my god, he's grabbing his nuts. Contest over! Contest All right, over! There it is. Alright. Alright, ass man, don't say anything. Wow, wh- oh, this guy's throwing up. Oh my god, one of the contestants is throwing up. One of the contestants is, uh, I think, vomiting. Rich, you alright? Rich. You throwing up? I'm alright. Alright. All right. <laughs> ass man, don't say a word. Don't say anything yet, ass man. Don't say uh, a word. Wow, Flea, uh, you, you weren't very confident at the beginning, and then at the end you started stroking his belly, uh, and then, uh, his cheek on his, on his, uh, face. Then what made you grab for his cock? <laughs> Just knowing that. I'm going to win an Inno. Just uh, the thought that that, well, that would help out a little bit. And, uh, Rich, what was your technique that you had? Uh, you were the early favorite. I, uh, I, I was in another place. <laughs> yeah. But I noticed you were, you were holding his breast like you would a woman's, and you were working it. Um, it looked to me like you have a little more experience with a, a woman's breast than you do for some reason. Yeah. But that's, that's okay. the thing I've ever seen. Who was given the teeth, ass man? Red? Wow, you were. Wait, 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 wait. He started. Did he uh, chimed in with the teeth? Really? Yeah. No By the teeth. Way, huh? I, I want to point out. Remember the days when we used to have really hot chicks doing really hot things? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, those wow. Those were the days. Long time ago. <laughs> those, uh, those, those are, are hell. Can you have one of those when <laughs> I come in next time? Yeah, we need. Can something I put in like a request? That. We have to oh, get some really hot girls so that was to do some really hot thing. things a- ASAP. This is horrid, horrid radio. We can't even defend ourselves. I, I don't even want to look oh, at no, the, the phone. Oh, no, the phone calls. Go the ahead. phones. Who wants to congratulate us on what? All right, well, let's go to the phones first. But ask man, don't tell the us who won yet. show ever. Let's, uh, let's say hi to Struff in Boston. Struff, what's up? 
Hey, since Cindy Mike can't call today, I wanted to call and welcome to everybody to the bonus time, and thank you all for staying on past 11 o'clock. Well, well, I don't it think, is a minute after. I don't think many people are thanking us today, but no. all right. Let's say hi to Jimmy in Oklahoma. Uh, well, yeah. Faggots. Jimmy. Jimmy. Faggots. <laughs> there you go. There's, there's a million of these. All uh, I wanted to say. All right. I can't get the phones really... Uh, Hard to get them working. Uh, let's see. All right. They just keep going. Oh, yeah. Here's a good one. Let's go to Greg in Oklahoma. A lot of calls from Oklahoma today for some reason. Greg. Yes, sir. I just wanted to say, is this, do you think this is what Marconi had in mind whenever he invented this medium? <laughs> yeah. When he invented uh, radio, I don't think this even passed his mind that this would uh, happen at some point. All right. We're, we're, gonna to, we're, we're definitely going to have to redeem ourselves in the coming uh, Please. weeks. All right. Ass Man has uh, calmed down. Ass Man, you have time. You've had time to think about it. Do we have a drum roll or anything? We got to no, make this very dramatic. Not. Nothing. No, don't hit any of those. I don't know how loud it'll be. Now, Ass Man, you got to you got to be kind of like uh, Ryan Seacrest and all that. You got to kind of discuss each contestant before you tell uh, everyone who won. Well, this gentleman over here Rich. started started off with uh, teeth and then really got it, got some good suction going. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the youngster over here this was was uh, giving me r what they call raspberries. He was uh, blowing farts on my on my boobies. Very inexperienced, right? In inexperienced at its best. He has oh. no idea to do what to do with a woman's breast. Yes. Oh, oh my wow. God! How do you, how do you with, spin with, that? Or a man's breast, whatever makes you uh, happy. I think I, I think I think he was th thinking about Fezzy the whole time. I don't know. Maybe he was thinking about Fezzy the whole oh. time. I don't know. Flea comment. How'd you feel? How'd you feel in there? Really right. disgusted, but you know what? The joy of knowing that I'll win it in O and get a bunch of MySpace friends helps it out. Wow. Okay. What's your MySpace He's account, Flea? MySpace.com. <laughs> uh, Rich, let's, uh, let's talk to the other contestant. Rich, oh, comment. You know, uh, I do a lot for the show. I run the Pelco <laughs> No, you don't. Room. don't. I run the fan room all you the time, 24-7. I do a Still lot. I do yes, I do, motherfucker. Well, what about the experience? We understand all that, but what about the experience of sucking on ass man's I danced my underwear, and I did Yeah, but he was sucking on two nipples. You only sucked on one. What about that? But I, but I grabbed his balls. <laughs> yeah, that counts. Oh, okay. No homo. No homo. Oh, yeah, well, no he homo. said no homo. Of course, he said no homo. He said no homo, homo right. so it's okay. All That's right. where this this bit is right now, that the good thing to say is, but I grabbed his balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how is that the good thing? <laughs> well, <laughs> anything else, Rich, you want to add? I had two nipples, he had one. There, that's right. Yeah, uh, and I had a cock in my hand, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I guess you made your point. <laughs> well, what do you got to say about there that? You go. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I had a dick in my ass, so you got anything you want to say? So what bring the it. Fuck. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Uh, well, uh, well. I made Anthony laugh. I deserve it. That was very funny, uh, sir. Um, well, uh, it's up to Ass Man. We've right? heard. We, yeah, we've heard from the contestants. We, we've heard from Ass Man. Uh, it's now time to make the decision. Ass Man, who gave better Fat Man tit? It's Rich. Has wow. lost again. Flea loses again. God lost damn again. it. <laughs> oh, poor Flea. I don't know if I should be proud of it. Poor Flea. This is a <laughs> devastating day. I almost feel like I did when Chris uh, Daughtry lost. I'm shocked and stunned. There you go. I am a wow sticker. Are you, uh, are you okay? Flea, are you okay? Flea? You got a t-shirt. You're not gonna hey, there's no crying in man tit sucking. <laughs> <laughs> we understand you had a cock in your hand, and oh no, don't, oh he's crying. Danny, don't put the mic by your dick and put it in his face. That's please, not right. Please, what's please, wrong? Are you okay? I know it's a stunning defeat, but you lost a lot of soul today, son. Yes. Yeah. Play, comment. You got heart, though. You got spirit. Uh, that's going to go far. And uh, you know something? Uh, don't don't walk away from this thinking this is the end. This is just the beginning of mancock grabbing, <laughs> I think. <laughs> what happened? What? Huh? You want Poe to take him out of here. Why? No, why? The guy has done nothing but contribute to this program, yeah, Iraq. Can't and you want to wanna, you wanna lambast him and blindside him and have him removed? Are you insane?
Are you insane? Flea, comment. <laughs> we're, we're, in the lo- we're in the losing locker room right now. you got to talk. Yeah. It was a tough you know, loss today, wasn't it, son? Oh! What? What? What was that? Hey, uh, he didn't win an inno, but at least he's out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Pat is tearing Phil, up. Phil, you need an opener or what? I'm, He's I'm telling you. He's on fire. He's the center square today. <laughs> he really is. He's on fire, and as I look out the window, so is this van. Someone called the a horror chair. Like a protesting monk, I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, God. Flea, what do you got? I think he's writing material. I don't know. You, are, you, are, you, are you surprised at this defeat? Did you think you were going to win? Yeah. You did a good enough job, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did. That's, that usually happens with head-to-head competition. Did you have problems with the officials today? Yeah, do you think uh, you were cheated? Actually, yeah. Opie doesn't like me, so... Wow. wow. You're like the Simon Cowell of homo things. <laughs> <laughs> Opie doesn't like you, and you figured that might have played into it. Yeah. The Don Koharski Absolutely. of this. Because I think it was, um, I, uh, uh, I don't think we had any part in the yeah. judging. Yeah. But it's influence. Oh, like you say, influence. it's like, like it's I don't, a, no, it's like American Idol. It's where not you know, that I the don't like don't vote, but they influence. But they influence, the, influence. Uh, uh, the crowd. It's wow. not that I, 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 it's not that I don't like you. It's just yeah, a little it's, aggressive you don't at like times. Me. It's, it's just you're a little aggressive at times. Wow. That's all. Did you try sucking his kid? Maybe you're like, oh <laughs> no, no more. Ah, uh, Pat. Uh, Flea feels like the Chris Doherty of uh, male Daughtry kid sucking. <laughs> I, yeah. Pat, uh, yeah, Pat, one too many, maybe. I, maybe one too he many. He just turned I, into I, a pump at that. Yeah, well. What time is it? He just turned into a hack again. Yeah, it's after yeah. 11. That's what happens with him. Bonus show, he Bonus turns show. back into a hack. Yeah, show, whatever, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Rich, congratulations. Rich, Here's uh, an Congrats inno. on your inno. Thank you very much. Uh, you want to hand this to the winner? No. <laughs> Don't make Flea. Poor Flea. I feel bad. Do we have anything we can give Flea today? Anything good. Anything better good. Than just a stick. All up. right. That's good. One of our XM leftover cup. Mardi Gras cups from last year's the broadcast. Mardi Gras cup. Oh, right. A little baby tea. A little baby tea. Very a baby nice. tea. Uh, wow. Opie and Anthony shirt. Anything else. Come yeah. on. And got to be something good. Water bottle. A water bottle. Not you. What else? What else? Nothing. Uh, right there, she's got an inno. Huh? Oh, yes, she does. Uh-oh. What? what? <laughs> she's, she's got going. an inno? You think she's going into the box for an inno? What's in the yeah. box? Oh, oh, a bag. <laughs> a bag to put your shit in. <laughs> wow. Oh, was that cool. <laughs> All right. Well, this poor yeah, there is bastard. one more inno left. I gotta yeah. tell you, you see it, right, Flea? Yes. See, wow. Flea sees it. Uh, ben, why don't you uh, grab the mic? We have one more inno. Wow. One left. Yes, and who is that from XM, by the way? Anastasia. It's Anastasia. And or Stasia, sorry. Well, uh, we have one left. One inno left. Now he did do a lot for the show today. Right. Flea. There's somebody. Wait, I just want to say something. Right. There is somebody here, and and it's true. He did a lot for the show today, mm-hmm. made the show very entertaining. Yes. And, by the way, uh, isn't selfish, doesn't ask for anything. Uh, and I think he did enough today, enough work, hard work, and made the show entertaining today where he should get an Thumbs in Thumbs up, right, Flay? You agree with that, right? Yeah. Bill Burr, we'd like to give you an in Yeah, Bill Burr, everybody! Yeah. Man, it's got a bad enough job on this program. The guy never disappoints. He never disappoints, Bill Burr. <laughs> It's insane, you know. It's like my mic went out. Mic went out for a half hour. I wasn't getting my jokes in. I really thought it was over for me. So I just want to wow. thank all no. you guys. Bill Burr! Uh, even even Flea agreed that I you love, did a terrific job thank today you. Thank for, uh, thank you. I for the show. <laughs> thank you. And he also wants to plug the Comedy Central oh, tour, Oh, Comedy right? Central Live. The 18th through the 20th, I'll be at the pageant in St. Louis. I've never seen a The Electric Factory in Philly and the Egg in Albany. I'm touring with Greg Giraldo and Mike Robiglia. Right. Two funny guys from Comedy Central. Of Center. course. Have you ever seen... I can't look at him. The look of disappointment on Lee's face. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. MySpace.com slash I don't doubt it. it. Yeah. He's really mad. I'm suicide watch. He's gonna fly into a uh, windshield. <laughs> wow. Crying yeah, but really the thing is, is the it longer was... we get after 11, the worse your fucking jokes get, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Pat. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, shut up. You don't get your windshield. Oh. oh. Let's say hi to Chris in Jersey. Chris, Sweet. what's up? Yeah, I just heard uh, XM had a press release. They just they're changing the name of the inno to the gayo. Punch it out. Uh, you like, can't wow. you're in a crater full of jet fuel. Everyone make their own sound effect today. We're 
Uh, well, yeah, this is uh, Bitwrecker. Bitwrecker. Yo. What's up? Is this a hint about your new syndicated market, San Francisco? Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, we got to redeem ourselves. I can't believe. I, I can't look. I at promise this, you this. Disappointment. I promise face. you this. We will redeem ourselves. Hmm. Really? That's interesting news that just oh, came in on that piece of paper. <laughs> very, very interesting, interesting news. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> This is just too cruel. <laughs> I feel very bad. Flea has done a, a great job for the show today, hasn't he? Yes. Everybody. <laughs> uh, let's go to Craig. Oh! Oh! He's ripping up a wow sticker in front of Opie. Are you going to take that? You What's this world that? coming to? You might want to... You might want to do the puzzle that's on the floor in front of you. Hey, uh, busting his balls. He, he's getting fucking fresh. Uh, Craig, what's up? Hey, I don't want to be for listening to this. Or now, go get your fat guy tip. No, I, we no, already called uh, funny, not gay. Yeah. This is this was funny, not gay, right, everybody? Yeah. You're with us, huh? It was funny in a gay kind of way, wasn't it? It was the, the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeesh. I looked out the window for most of it. My mother's listening. No, you <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Martin in Minnesota. Martin? Yeah. What's up? I got one for Flea. He's got to redeem himself somehow or another. And, uh, you know, there's not a fat man in the world who doesn't have a big old ball of belly button lint stuck inside his belly button. So I was thinking, oh, he can dig in there and dig himself out a big one and Flea oh. can eat it. Jay, not funny. Is that, is that David Lee Roth? All right. Jay, not Punch funny. Out, David Lee Roth. Yeah. Well, Ain't we, not funny. Well, this is very hard. It's like broke back inno for this poor guy. Uh, I don't know how to win you. <laughs> I got to tell you something. We're in a very tough spot here, and I'll tell you yeah, why. Yeah. The note that I, I ripped up said that we do have one more inno. Yeah. And we were going to give it to Flea, yep. but then he decides to rip up the wow sticker. To rip up the wow sticker. Uh, sticker right? now, we, now we look like assholes if we just hand over, hand over the inno. So. You, you know what? You can't do that because, you know, the respect of the show. That's what I'm thinking. If you would have read, yeah. I mean. If you would have read that ripped up paper, I it says we have one more inno. Well, and, ask it then. He gave me the note. And instead, That's you correct. instead <laughs> you decided to rip up a wow sticker, which was kind of. give the know, finger in front of all our fans. Getting fresh. Yeah. We're in a tough spot now. We're in a very tough spot. What do we do? Now we have one. What, I he, never dug a fucking hole before? Kinda, yeah, he kind of, you know, you're kind of uh, disrespectful with ripping up the sticker. Now, you know, to give you an inno, it's kind of... Yeah. Eh. No, I deserve... I completely deserve. Yeah. It's the lack of humility. Still, you know, like you ripped it off and I'm just sitting here and it's just not even an apology. Nah, he's, that's why we're ripping up the sticker. The kid does really bother me. Yeah. I can't hide it. I feel bad. I feel bad. What? What? What happened? Give him a serious unit. Oh. What? Wait. What? 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 She's the guy out. Why? Why are you all laughing? Because she should get the, uh, the last inno. Yeah, no, she shouldn't. Why? Why not? Uh, problem? No. She did get uh, oh. no. auto body work. No. No. Uh. Don't do it. Yes. Don't do it. Oh, no. a little wow. Wow. Wow, that took the gay right out of the room. <laughs> it's going to take a you bus full. by the reaction it did. It's going to take a bus full of Russian models falling out of a bus to sexy this show up <laughs> with all the gay shit that's that happened. That was a death. You're all real. <laughs> Desperately needed hetero fucking air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to yeah, I we got to get out of here. So, why don't we just uh, 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 uh random I, number to 10. Uh if someone's you know, nice What? Ninth caller. Why you you you, you need one, Ben? The fuck you want. Oh. 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 Shit, just, I don't get too mad at that. Shut up, please. I like him. He's got balls in his hand, and they're fat. <laughs> <laughs> they're ass man's ass man's. For our next contestant. <laughs> What do you think? No. What do you think? They're all, right. all going to say no because they're OP influencing them. All right, but but I now Most let me people think. hate me on this show. I I, uh, I I feel bad for you. But now I'm not giving this, I, or I wouldn't give it to you for for what you did or anything like that. Just for the sheer pity I'm feeling for you, I would like vote to give it to you. 
uh, Opie does not like you because you're too forward and 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 brash about the whole thing. Uh, and Bill, Bill, I don't know. How do you feel about him actually getting one? Do you no, care? Do you? No, no. I don't know. No. You don't know, dog. <laughs> Well, he's got a very angry guy. To, at the least, he's got to do something for it. I you can't hand it. You just can't hand it. To, and what I went to your show last night. Oh well. well. I mean, that was for a kid who had cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. uh, well, that is true, by the way. That's not yeah. a Bill Bird joke. That's right now, the, before yeah. Bill was doing something very nice yeah. with, with Jim Norton and everybody yeah. else last night. Right now, before anything is done or said or anything, do you, does the crowd think he should get this? They're all gonna say no. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Wow. No. Wow. All right, who's, say, who's saying yes? Three people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the guy made the show entertaining today. First time coming to watch you guys right, in person. Shut up. <laughs> the guy, he, he, thought, uh, he thought we really wanted a serious answer. Bit wrecker. Well, He'll be back. But show some loyalty to the guy. Come on. Hey, I'm fan. Hey, how much it'll mean to him. It'll this actually guy, mean uh, something. Yeah, the guy pulled, <laughs> he pulled a Fredo with the ow. fucking bumper sticker. The wow sticker now says ow. Ow. That says a lot. You can get $50 off right now at RCS for the Inno. No. Oh. Not you. No. no. <laughs> they're, they're running a special today, really? It's a special for everybody. On your way out, if you want an Inno, it's $50 it's off buying. today at RCS. It's not you. We're making an announcement that anybody oh. out there that wants to buy... You, <laughs> you're losing me. You're, I'm your only fucking supporter here right now, and you're losing me. That anybody that wants to buy an Inno can get one for $50 off right. here at RCS. That is why and we're and here. That's why we're here. We're promoting it. Not to bring our gay show here. It was to, to maybe sell some stuff. It's not about you, fat guy tit sucker. <laughs> <laughs> now, I I would vote to, to, to give it to you. Because, uh, Thank you. you know, you've, you've been, you've been through you, a lot. Anthony. You've been through a lot today. Opie, on the other hand, I'll, really doesn't like uh, I'll turn your attitude. I'll turn around. You can hand it to him, and, and by the time I turn back around, could he be gone? I don't know where it is. All right, if, all right that's a good deal, because I kind of want you to have it. Opie doesn't want to even see you with it. What if we give it to you, and Poe removes you from the, the, the establishment? Is that okay? You, you, you're, you're cool with that? Does it have the inno in it? Yes. yes, it's brand new. It's actually uh, there. So here, here it is. Don't let Opie see. Uh, hand it to him and then have him removed. There he goes. He's being removed. He's being <laughs> carried out of the place. <laughs> Throw him out like a cartoon character right on his ass and stay out. There he goes. We don't have to deal. Oh, you took it from him? They took it back from him, and he's still being thrown out of the place. <laughs> that, <laughs> that kid has endured that more humiliation than the Oh, my God. Two hours. How did you get it from him? He wasn't really holding it. He wasn't really holding on tight to it that badly. Oh, that poor son of a bitch. <sighs> just, 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 ugh. yeah. Just do what you have to do. Go ahead. All right. That's uh, that's great. They well, this was a lot of fun. Them. We want to thank RCS for having us today. If you give it to him, he doesn't learn. He doesn't learn to stop I, humiliating him. So we won't give it to him. <laughs> He's got to to take a stand. <laughs> Did you notice how Ope said, ah, you know, whatever you got to do, you got to do. No one translated that out in the audience to, hey, they're giving they it to him. again? Yeah. What? what are they doing? Throwing him in the trash can. Oh, my God. Are they throwing him in the garbage pail? Look, they put him in the garbage pail on the corner. He is sitting in the, the a garbage pail with nothing but the, there they go, nothing but the ONA cup in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, victory. He's sitting in a garbage pail. <laughs> and there he goes. Wow. Flea, everybody. What a tough day for Flea. Wow. What a he, tough did day. Have a, he did have a tough day. show. All right. I'm well, I'm um, my I'm mouth glad. shut to the last minute, and then I, I fucking ruined another one. That's all, all right. right. <laughs> I'm getting out of here, by the way. Yeah, let's get out of here. Just because I want to get out of here. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Very good uh, job removing him. All right, well, light, right? You guys, thanks for showing up today. We greatly appreciate it. I want to thank RCS as well, 56th and uh, Madison.
yep. for having us, and uh, I guess that's it for today. Thank uh, Ace Auto Glass in Vernon, New Jersey, for helping out Pat from Monaco with his windshield. Pat. Denise's uh, brother-in-law, cousin, whatever it is. Yeah, what's the plug again, uh, Denise? Finesse Auto in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Yeah. Going to hook up his uh, van. Well, we'll take care. Make sure everything's uh, good with your van there. Uh, look at that giant dent in my van. Who put a serious unit on top of it? <laughs> we heard you said that joke oh, before. Oh, wow. Right. It is getting after 11. <laughs> Can we take this here? unit back? Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We saw a lot of things today. <laughs> yeah. A lot we don't want everyone to see again. Let's not forget Jim Norton is in um, Boston tonight, Orpheum Theater. Some tickets still remain. Mm-hmm. And if you're in that area, uh, he'll be on BCN later on today. All right. It's with David Tell and uh, Keith Robinson. It's going to be a great show. Dick? Wow ride. Uh, oh, the uh, wow run. Oh, my God. That's horrible penmanship, yeah. uh, Keith the Cop. You want to give Keith a... Uh, yeah, give him a mic. Mic? So yeah, we got plug. an announcement for one of our thanks. Yeah, just real quick. The annual uh, WOW Motorcycle Run will be going to Boston this year, June 21st. Details are to follow. Want to see all the girls from Pal Talk? Come on out and support it. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the same. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys. This is how we end, I guess. Yeah, this is it. All right, That's how we end until uh, Monday uh, morning on our CBS affiliate. CBS. Have a good weekend. Uh, Get us out of here. Yeah.